Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna be eating on stream because I made myself an omelet and then didn't have time to eat it. <laughs> happy, happy Easter! Happy, happy Easter! I don't, I don't have any, any fancy Easter stuff to put on my head today. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. Good morning. What kind of omelet? Uh, I just, I just cracked some eggs, threw some garlic, pepper, and parsley in there. Uh, covered it with some, uh, sharp white Vermont cheddar cheese and then wrapped it in a low-carb burrito bread. 
Check out Bit Bitcoin Dad. He updated a new video. Ooh. Ooh, that could be something I look at. Well, that could be Bit Bitcoin Dad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember his name, dude. <laughs> Uh, searching Bitcoin Dad was the wrong thing to do because it is not the right not person the that comes up. <laughs> Unlucky. Keck McKeckerson, thank you for the two dollary doodles. Happy Agood! Help, Agood Day. I also opened a root beer, so I'm sorry for being unladylike with my hiccups ending in a tiny burp. Uh. About his time in jail. I don't know. I mean, if you guys have a link, because uh, searching Bitcoin Dad doesn't work. Matthew G, they give the two month member. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello, new viewer here. Hello, new viewer! Uh, usually before stream, uh, I like, uh, get, get my gamer subs. I square away my Azure lane from the night before. Uh, and then I just do stream stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time to do any of that today. So while I'm doing thank yous, we're gonna, we're gonna have Azure lane in the background. <laughs> Eggs is solid breakfast, plus burps are cute sometimes. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that, but I was like, man, you know, you know how some dudes are just like, I'm so stressed, I need a beer. I'm just like, give me the root beer. Give me the give me the root beer instead. I got a I got a link here. I got I see I see the link. I'm trying to copy the link. I'm trying my best. Anyang. Anyang. A pickled cucumber. Thank you for the two dollars. Burp unladylike. Let it rip. No. No! Oh my god, this is a fucking 50 minute video! Many are asking for an update and more details on what's happening between me and my daughter. My hope is that this video helps dads who are going through divorce, might be divorced, or are heading toward divorce. I hope this video helps dads avoid the many mistakes I made. This is a 50 minute video! Oh my god. I had no idea this video or several videos would strike such a chord with folks. Many of you have been abused by the system much worse than I have. The only difference between me and you is I'm telling the story or some of it in public. Most just suffer in silence and are beaten down. Maybe I'll host a gathering sometime soon Cheap in salad. some central Your location and we can all just hang dollars. out for a few days and get to know each other. Aw, what a, what a nice fucking dad. Oh my god. The ex is a piece of shit. The daughter's following in her footsteps. What are the what are the odds that this mom was trying to like take this dad to the absolute fucking cleaners more so than was let on in the first video? Al Run, thank you for the one ninety nine root beer, Dr Pepper root beer. I am I'm one of the the rare people who actually doesn't like Dr Pepper. It ta it tastes kind of like medical supplies to me when I drink it. Article not shown on stream. It's not an article. I was reading. I was reading the video description. I'm just reading a video description. It's, it's a 50 minute video. I don't big ad video. And Gecko 74 you. Thank you for the six month resub, my guy. Thank you. Hit. Help. A lot of people will say the same thing about root beer. I love root beer. It is a very polarizing drink. Happy Os Ostara. I, uh, what language is Easter Ostara? Since I'm still in the South, I might be able to get some Uncle Scott's root beer. It's the best you've ever had. I'm not sure if it's in Georgia. I've never heard of it. I like IBC since it's made with real cane sugar. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Try it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Yeah, I've had root beer floats. I've, ha I've had root beer floats. They're pretty all right. I'm more partial to, uh, to, uh, sorbet floats though. Where you get like, you get like a, a punch bowl and you either put like some sort of juice in it. Like a like a cranberry mocktail or like uh, some fruit punch or Sprite, you know, you can go with the Sprite or Seven Up, and then you put a whole bunch of you put a whole bunch of uh, shorebird in it, some lime shorebird, some orange, some raspberry. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. You're not a big fan of sugar drinks. Your dad's diabetic. So you pretty much drink diet stuff since you were a kid. You're not a big fan of diet root beer. I've never had diet root beer. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be real. Feliz Pascua! Hui hui! Thank, thank you! Happy Easter, Cookie! Drink a free sample of root beer when you were a kid? You threw up! <laughs> Music and fiction! Thank you for the fiver! Kirsha thinks Dr. Pepper tastes like medicine. We now have confirmed Kirsha is Korean. They say the exact same thing. Oh man, I've been mistaken for Japanese in real life before. And I've just looked at that person like they have actual brain damage. Cause I'm just like, fucking... Fucking how? <laughs> Like, maybe, maybe if the way that you see Japanese people in real life is the way you see the anime people in your, in your Chinese cartoons, but like, what? 
Did I hear about the Trans Visibility Day? Yeah, I already made the, the invisibility joke yesterday. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty much all you can do with that besides call the administration absolute fucking mongoloids, you know? That's bizarre. It's very bizarre. One of the local bars used to make root beer floats with not your father's alcoholic root beer. They were delicious in the summer. Ooh, not your father's is pretty fucking good. Oh, I don't know if those are louder for you, but those are louder for me because I crankled my volume yesterday for some reason. You like using root beer keef soda for floats now? Like root beer with like with with weed in it? Question mark? Another day? They're collecting days of the year like fucking Pokemon! Yeah, it's been pretty bad. Salka Alpaca, thank you for the thousand yen. Have I seen the Shadow the Hedgehog model that got made? You put it in suggestions because you thought it was funny? I don't think so. I don't think I've seen it. Isn't it not your dad's? I don't- not your dad, not your father. It's like, it's the same word, basically. Who cares? <laughs> you know, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> I tried not your father's. It tasted awful, but you're also not fond of alcohol. I, I am fond of some kinds of alcohol, not many kinds, but some kinds. How are you supposed to know it's comedy without a laugh track? I know. Ah, 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 oh yeah, ah, give me that alliteration, ah, baby. Ah, Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. My, my stupid, my stupid thingy got squimped. Eager, ebullient, eclectic, edifying, educable, effervescent, efficacious, <laughs> effulgent, elaborate, elastic, elated, delectable, electrifying, elegant, eloquent, elevating, elucidative, enchanting, encyclopedic, endearing, enduring, energetic, enlivening, Easter with the fox. <gasps> enlivening Easter! I can't be an eox though, that doesn't make any sense. They have not your grandmother's apple pie drink? Oh, that sounds cute too. I have not seen that one. The first time drinking not your father's was good, then afterwards you couldn't drink it? It's, uh, it's similar with some hard ciders I've had before. Some hard ciders, really fucking good. Other hard ciders, eh. And sometimes I'll drink it and I'll be like, yeah, damn, this is good. And then I'll buy it myself later and I'll be like, oh. Oh, not really. Also, man, I was so tired last night. I forgot to set one of the commissions. My brain. My brain is made of fucking juice. Help me. Did I see the Azure Lane devs are making a monster collector RPG now? Yeah, I uh, pre-registered two hours after they announced it. And I was like, I hope Manju continues being free to play friendly because I'll be really disappointed if the new game comes out. You know, all, all of my money spent on skins, they make a new game. It better be free to play friendly. Little Red Hunter, thank you for the tier three, 18 Mon 3 sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Evictus, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. Happy Easter to the best foxu. Happy, happy Easter to you. Happy Easter, monster waifu collector. Oh god, oh god. Um, uh, what's it called? What's the name of it? I can't. I'm bad with names. Chat. I can't remember names. They better include some spoiler girls in that game. Happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter. Your brain's currently cotton and fog. After four vodka tonics, we had a barbecue yesterday. God damn. Azure Promilia. All right, let me let me fucking Azure Promilia trailer. When a when a new game comes out, I pre-register and then I promptly forget it exists until I get an email. <laughs> I promptly forget until email time. Um where is my browser? Browser, here we go. Here we go. We're just gonna stack on stack on stack things on my screen today. This is the English trailer, so I guess it's about as English as it gets. Oh, 
Panda girl Generic white fox woman in video game must be me! <laughs> No, not Hoyoverse. It's new Azure Lane shit. And by that, I mean it's by Manji who makes Azure Lane. Azure Promelia! Le Voyage. I like I like how they have the the classic like JP title card. I'm I'm gonna be real with you guys. I missed when Final Fantasy had their logo all like sort of swishy, spectrified with like the the sketch art. I like that shit. You're hoping for more monster girls? No, it's monster like catcher kind of thing. So yeah, it it looks like you know it's got the typical Genshin Impact kind of style, but uh, it's a monster catching game. So I'm I'm curious how they're gonna. We're gonna meld that together. I'm interested. I pre-registered. I hope it's gonna be free to play friendly. <laughs> Help. I feel 20 years younger. <laughs> right, dude? They technically still make a mono art for every Final Fantasy title. Technically. So Pal World. Well, Pal World is also a survival game. This one doesn't seem to have any survival to it. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's more like what a traditional Pokemon game would be, right? Instead of having to like build shit. Pokemon with animal girls? Yeah, that's kind of kind of what it feels like. Pokemon with animal girls in like a Genshin Impact universe. An unsurvivable game. Use Lana, thank you for the 20 dollar doodles. I hope you and chat are having a blessed and comfy Easter. Yeah! I miss I miss having uh Easter dinners with my family. So I just I'm eating an omelet and drinking a root beer with you guys. <laughs> How long before Nintendo Cucks start crying about it like they did Pal World? Well, it's in pre-register right now, so I doubt Nintendo Cucks will even notice it exists until it actually releases. Right? Because, like, they don't actually play video games, they just, like, play Animal Crossing, so... Can you customize your avatar? I don't know. I don't- I don't imagine why you wouldn't be able to, but I guess we'll have to see when it comes out. <laughs> They're crying right now! Good afternoon! Thanks you for reminding you yesterday about Jim's stream. Yeah, I'm glad- I'm glad I could end somewhat on time to see the stream. It'll be the Genshin fans complaining this time. Maybe they'll band together. The Genshin fans and the Nintendo Soy Boys will band together to complain about this game. This is Azure Prometheus? No, Promilia. Promilia. Demos out? Stella- Stella- Stellar Blade? Yeah, Stel Stellar Blade is out. It's not on PC. Which is a tragedy, honestly, because I'm not I'm not buying a PS5 to play that game. I would love to play it, but I'm not buying a PS5, so I have to wait until it comes to PC. Your family stopped doing holiday stuff after your grandma died. She was the matriarch that held everything together. In many such cases. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Is it a gotcha? I don't know. I have no I have no idea. I have I have just as much information as you guys do at this point. So as more as more information comes across my desk, I might I might share it if I remember. If I remember. And demo's out, full game is out at the end of April. Yeah, yeah, full game isn't out until the end of April, but again, it's it's console, it's it's a PS5 exclusive for some reason. That was not meant to have a link. <laughs> Finally, three years later, PS5 has a game. I know, right? I hate I hate console exclusivity. I've always hated console exclusivity. And I hate how Epic Games tries to bring exclusivity to PC. That make that makes me unhappy. Unhappy. 
one game! I don't know why. <laughs> when they have to have some excuse for the existence of the console. I, considering cell phones are like the price of a laptop now, I feel like at what point do you just say console's not worth it? I'm just gonna get like a mid gaming PC, you know? Like, Maybe that's just me though. <laughs> What are you looking at? Oh, uh, this is Azure Lane. I usually I usually do my Azure Lane flipping before I start stream, but I had to deal with stuff before stream today, so I wasn't able to. So now you guys get to look at anime women while I while I do thank yous. PS5 exclusive because Sony is dying and they decided to pump money into shift up when they saw how well Nikkei was doing. What a strange world we live in. Where, like, Sony went through the life cycle of having all the booba women, then censoring all the booba women, and now is coming back to booba women, please save my console. <laughs> 16 is pretty great, but it will eventually come to PC. I still never beat 15. <laughs> my, uh, my Final Fantasy 15 journey got cut short. I, I remember getting a quest to, like, go to some lighthouse thing to fix a boat or whatever. But instead of going to the lighthouse to fix the boat, I got giga distracted. And I was like, man, I just want to run around the world and collect ingredients and make delicious food. So that's all I did. Like, I I was really high level, but I never advanced the story past that point. And then at some point, I just, like, stopped playing. So I've never, I've never finished the story. It's, uh, labs that I have to look at. You thought the giant monster fights in 16 looked pretty cool, but Stranger Paradise is better. I don't know what Stranger Paradise is, if that's like a DLC or something. 16 was so mid, you couldn't finish it. I have literally no idea what 16 even is. Like, I, I couldn't name you a single character or a single thing. Like, I, I don't think I've even seen a trailer about 16. <laughs> Help. 15 is the Backstreet Boys, right? Yeah. Yeah, 15, 15 is uh, hot boys doing hot boy things. Uh, it's like it's like white boy summer the game. <laughs> the Stranger of Paradise is hilarious. You haven't played 15 or 16. You just want to play Rebirth. Oh. You grinded the hell out of Death Stranding, built a Chad infrastructure on every map, and when you finish the story, you just never went back. I don't I don't know how I am going to play Death Stranding because I have the autistic need to like max out every single one of the delivery places which uh you know that doesn't advance the story if i do that if it doesn't have tifa then i don't care tifa tifa good but i'm gonna tell you right now yuffie was my favorite woman in final fantasy 7. yuffie yuffie was best woman for me i, lo I love that little ninja Wish you had such friends to go on a frat boy summer trip. <laughs> Almost everybody here is waiting for Stellar Blade to come to Steam. Yeah, pretty much. I would be surprised if I could find someone that's not waiting for Stellar Blade. Happy Easter. Thought about doing a collab with Smugalana and or Everant says Desu. I have a feeling you guys could have a really fun stream together. Yeah, yeah, I do. Too. I think I, I think I mentioned something to Alana last time I raided her. Maybe I don't remember. I, I have a vague recollection of some conversation where we like briefly mentioned it. I was like, not, not both of both of us are submissive women apparently, because neither of us reach out. <laughs> Yuffie is the girl that's obviously there to be the loser at the end of the harem manga. What? That's rude. But also, are you really a loser at the end of the harem manga if instead of being part of the harem, you can actually get your own man to yourself? I'd call that a win. <sighs> Is Stellar Blade coming to PC? There's no word on it coming to PC. Right, there's no, there's no word on it coming to PC at this point. I mean, hopefully it will, but they haven't announced anything. Al Rounding in 999, have I heard of the channel Anamarky History? He uses Azure Lane as a framework to tell the history of ships in the game. Fairly long, so it's nice to watch and listen to while playing the game. I have not. I've not heard of that. I, that would be interesting, because I know literally nothing about the history of the majority of these ships. I'm for creativity, they give the five dollars. Your customers want to play games with beautiful women. They hated him because he told the truth. Christ has risen and may Stellar Blade come to PC. That is that is a beautiful Easter wish, honestly. A coppa? Kappa, hopefully the medal and not the police. Thank you for the member. Thank you. Thank you for the, the member. Thank you. 
Imagine being denied into the harem at the end of a harem manga, something that is literally open to any chick that's slightly interested. No, that's worse on that level of denial. I don't know. I I don't I don't think I'd want to be part of a harem. I want I want m to me. <laughs> Tifa is for tits man, Yuffie's for ass man, Aries is the stab fetish. I've actually never never liked Aries. I was always like happy when she died. I don't know. She her personality was really fucking grating when I was when I was younger. Happy Easter! I fucked it up! Hello, fucked it up! <laughs> What if you're the number one concubine? Oh my god. You want manamani? Manamanamani! Happy Easter. Happy Easter, chat! Happy Easter, chat! Jesus, Kirsha, yeah, too one soon. Come, two comes, five comes, ten comes, fifteen comes, twenty comes, twenty-five comes, thirty comes. You like you like thirty comes on, on Easter Day? No, Christ hasn't risen. This man has. Thank you! Thank you for the, the 30 gift subs! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> that's, the, that's the fucking magnesium at work. Buy, buy AFK gamer subs with code Kirsha for 10% off. You too can have good sleep and big gums. <laughs> Final Fantasy X had best big booba women. Lulu, my beloved. I think, I think Lulu probably was my favorite aesthetic for any Final Fantasy character, I'm gonna be real with you. Lulu, Lulu aesthetically, best character? Riku! Riku, I love that spunky little fuck. <laughs> Lulu's so peak, yeah. Yeah, I, remem I remember when I was younger being upset that her and Waka had kids together. Maybe when I replay it, I'll like Waka more. I don't know, I'll have to see. Too bad she's married to Waka. Yeah, I didn't like Waka when I was younger. Didn't, didn't like, because like his entire personality was just Blitzball and hating the Albed. Walk as a beach, bro. Lulu for goth mommy, Riku for tomboy, Yuna for the innocent girl next door. Final Fantasy X was very much an awakening experience. <laughs> Help. Lulu was great for the fact that they legitimately refused to show her below the waist for the single reason that Nomura had put too many belts on her torso. I... I remember her being shown below the waist many times. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like even even in combat, like her victory pose showed her entire dress. <laughs> Goth chick hooked up with the sports ball guy. Dude, I wish I could have her dress in real life. Nomura, Nomura is my spirit animal. He looks at a design and he's like, not enough belts, not enough zippers. We need more of that shit. <laughs> Dress, it's just belts! <laughs> hey, she's got fur around her collar. Cheeseburger. Happy Easter, Eish and chat. Easter lunch slash dinner got moved up, so I need to head out now. Hope everyone has a good Sunday and enjoys the Foxu rants. Enjoy your Sunday Easter you dinner! Tomorrow, but work may get in way. Oh no. Eish, love. Karsaban, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Hope you enjoy your Easter. Thank you. Walk as a himbo. Yeah, but when I was a young girl, before I got jaded by the reality of the world we live in, I was just like, surely, surely I can have men like the ones in my family. They're the majority of men, right? They're all smart and strong and intelligent and want to care about women. Oh boy. Oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts playthrough when? I need to do that too. I need to revisit more of my like childhood games. No, Titus. Titus! Titus was my archetypical himbo. All right, okay. I fucking loved Titus. I fucking loved Titus and I like him to this day. <gasps> you poor girl, the world did not have that plan for you. Yeah, I've talked about it before, but I was like video games probably warped my perspective on dudes. Because I was just like, I had really good men in my family as as role models, as opposed to what my mom dated. And then I saw men in video games who were just like, you know, peak, peak male personality. And I'm just like, God damn, I love these men. I want, I like, if I want to get a man like that, I need, I need to act like a good woman too. And the good women in the video games who get the men are, de are like decent people. That's what I need to be. No, if you're that, you just get taken advantage of. <laughs> huh? And Titus is a twink? No, he's not. No, he's not. That's that's Coombrain talking to you. Titus isn't a twink. He's not gay. 
The same with your desire for women to be good like the women in your video games. I know, it sucks. You forgot the details with Lulu's outfit. Belts? What belts? It was a dress with fur. Good grief, it's all belts! <laughs> Man was too busy distracted by the booba spilling out of a fur top. Walk is your favorite racist. I remember learning to actually speak Al Bed out loud with some sentences when I was younger. Fucking loved Final Fantasy X, dude. Can't stand Kingdom Hearts, a world ending, serious situation, stern looks on faces, and fucking goofy standing there. I mean, like, as a kid, you you like JRPG, you like Disney, so the worlds colliding was just like, oh my god. Am am a good did didn't didn't Germany bring your game? <laughs> Forgive me, a hyperborean sky father, dear Kalis, for I have wronged. I spent Steam money on in-game currency in Snowbreak Containment Zone. Well, I don't know what that is, but I mean, hopefully it wasn't a lot of money. <laughs> Nothing on his mind but sports and racism. <laughs> oh my god. Mickey Mouse approving of Ansem's suicide in the second game. <sighs> Best part about 10 was the graphics. Even newer games like Elden Ring can't beat it. Oh my god. Oh my god. You just love quoting me out of context. 10 is unironically peak. Yeah, apparently there's been uh, there's been people talking on Twitter about how old game reviewers in like the 2000s would basically just shit all over all JRPGs. And like... <clears throat> How tons of people just thought Final Fantasy X was like a shitty cringe fest that wasn't worth playing because reviewers were the ones who said that. I never read video game reviews when I was growing up, so I had no idea there was this like collective hostile attitude from game journalists in the West towards JRPG games because they were like the only fucking thing I played. X-Play hated Japanese games. I don't understand why. Like, it's so weird. Like, I, I get it if you don't want to read, like, copious amounts of text, but also... I don't think I would have been as advanced in English as I was, especially in comparison to my peers, if I wasn't playing JRPGs. Like, I started with Gran Turismo when I was, like, six or so, and then, and then branched out to JRPG games, which is a fuck ton of text reading. And even, even if there were some words that were far beyond my capabilities for understanding, like me when I was little thinking that malevolent was male violence, right? Like, <laughs> I still feel like those helped me have a larger vocabulary and be ahead of my, my schoolmates when I was doing English. Every Final Fantasy is someone's favorite JRPG, no exceptions, right though? Why do Pigu go home? Your ESL JRPG is how you started to learn English? Meh. You're sorry you weren't able to get in line for the meet and greet? Had to take your dog to the vet? Oh god, don't apologize. I hope your dog is alright. I hope that went fine. I'm scary to have to take a vet to- uh, take a pet to the vet. Cleonas! They give the $2. She's right! Titus is not a twink, he's an otter. Okay, well... Otter as far as, like, body goes, but if that's some other gay terminology, he's not gay. Japanese were so insular, didn't understand that there was a western market at all. And it would be unfortunate, right, if, like, they try to branch out into the Western market and all of the journalists are just like, yeah, there's no point in trying to come to the Western market. No one likes you. No one likes your games. Your games are cheap and cringe. Get the fuck out. Right? Like, if, if that's all you saw in the media as, like, Japanese developers, I can understand why they have such a, like, hands-off policy when it comes to the Western market. And then they just trust people like the localizers who work in the Western market to do the right thing with the video games and instead they're just butchering them. What are the chances of another meet and greet? I mean, I'll, I'll have to see what other what other cons are available this year. You're attracted to him. Sorry to inform you, he is gay. Fuck you, Skooky! <clears throat> X has 92 on Metacritic. Good. It deserves it. 10 is, 10 is literally peak. Peak Final Fantasy. I think the X-Play era anti-JP reviews may be a consequence of the journos growing up in an era that JP was the economic powerhouse competitor, not China. Can we go back to the days where JP was an economic powerhouse competitor instead of China? I feel like I'd like that better. Japan needs to stay Japan. The West is an asshole. True. <clears throat> 10 had good word of mouth. 10, 10 was amazing. Literally amazing. Titus, Levi, Kronk, FMK. I don't know what FMK is, but all, all three of those previous ones are beautiful men. 
Levi, Levi's not really a himbo though. He's like, he's, he's not a himbo. He's like, he's short. I guess he's strong, but he's not muscular. And he definitely, he's not dumb. <laughs> Localizer hate, my blood boils the heat of a thousand suns. True, true and real. And what's also true, what's also true is I need to start these women doing something instead of just looking at my dangling lady. My dangling lady. Levi looks like a hobo. Maybe I'm a hobo sexual for the ones who aren't on drugs, question mark. <laughs> Dragon Quest IX has a special place in your heart. It was the one of the first games you ever played. And you only found out that the Dragon Ball artist did the character designs when everyone was commiserating his death. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What game is this? This is Azure Lane. It is a gotcha game. It's very free to play friendly, which is why I play it. So there's a there's a little TLDR on what this is. Call of Dragons looking different right now. Yeah. <laughs> Titus was just kind of cringe with his butting into things where he had no idea what the hell was happening. That's that's the himbo portion of his character. <laughs> yes, my dangling lady, the all-female counterpart to my chemical romance. True. True, nice loading screen. They have a lot of nice loading screens. Maybe maybe one day I can I can afford to commission an Azure Lane artist for artwork. Which ones would I? The the FMK question? Oh, oh, if I had to fuck, marry, kill those three? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I could choose to kill any of them. I'd probably end up just killing myself instead. Ah, delicious. End of root beer. And the sad part is that a lot of Japanese companies are taking Western money and they're ruining their stuff. Like the new ReZero anime got censored. Please, Japan, return to saying Western Pegu, get out. That's kind of sweet, honestly. What it? <laughs> Fuck them to death. Oh my god. Okay, Nicole, what do you mean? Nicole wouldn't sacrifice herself for other people. Speaking of Dragon Quest and with Toriyama's passing, you want some kind of remaster of Blue Dragon. I haven't played Blue Dragon. PlayStation Magazine and Game Informer, among other gaming magazines, loved JRPGs in the early 2000s. The report of hatred for JRPGs is massively overblown. Like I said, I wouldn't know because I didn't read game reviews when I was younger. I just like went to GameStop and bought what I enjoyed. I didn't have unfettered access to the internet. So I had to like allocate my time online to things that I enjoyed doing instead of like reading. <laughs> so I... I didn't I didn't really read any any game reviews when I was younger, so I have no idea how much JRPG hate there was or wasn't. I've just been noticing the discourse happening on Twitter. On Twitter. You didn't read the sacred text? Electronic Gaming Monthly? No. No. You know what I do miss though? I miss that when you would pre-order a game, or the game would come with a guide and an art book. I have so many game guides because they came with my games and I wore the fuck out of my one of my Xenosaga guides. I can't remember which one. It might be the third one, but I wore it the fuck out to the point where like several pages started coming out. <laughs> you didn't know New Jersey was famous for its cake? What? Oh, the ship. I was like, what? Yeah, no, New, Jer New Jersey's got a got a nice bakery, as spicy it were. Spicy cat raid. What the hell is this spicy cat raid? Exit VT. Thank you for the raid, my dude. Welcome, raiders. We're just uh, we're just jamming to some mobile game bullshit while I'm while I'm getting into thank yous here. I still haven't finished my omelet. This is the danger of eating on stream. I don't like it, so I eat very slowly. You liked Paper Mario from one to three, <laughs> and great malls. What the heck? <laughs> Your Haman figure still sits next to you. Uh, I think somebody had linked me before that they're making a formidable figure or that it was made recently. Formidable is one of my favorite ships. So I would like I would like a formidable figure. Got demos on to Circuit City to play them, bought mags with demo discs, made our decisions based on the demos, and then came G4. Share the egg before it gets cold. I'm surprised the cats aren't trying to climb all over me for it. What is happening on screen? Uh yes. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, uh... God, what are those things called? What are those, what are those, what are those things called? I don't know what they're called. Bullet, bullet hell, there we go. It, it happened, my brain worked. It's a, it's a bullet hell style game. 
So those are things that you can choose to try and avoid, I guess, or take damage from, depending on how you set up your fleet. But my women are strong and independent, so I just I just let them do it on their own. Your ship girls are dying. Nah, they're fine. <laughs> they're fine. Don't worry about it. And ironically, one of your favorite shirts is one that you bought from Penny Arcade like 20 years ago that said, no, I don't want a strategy guide and that you always wore to babages and software, etc. when buying your video. I, I loved Xenosaga so much and I knew that I couldn't buy any Xenosaga merch. And I also couldn't find any Xenosaga merch like in Japan. So I bought like blank black tank tops and t-shirts. And I printed out pictures online of like my favorite Xenosaga characters and like probably probably from like actual artists as well, not just like in-game stuff that, you know, they might they might not have been happy that I did that. But I, I downloaded the pictures and I got them printed out on like special uh, t-shirt paper shit at my local FedEx office. Uh, and then I printed those onto t-shirts and I wore my own Xenosaga merch. <laughs> Damn, that's dedication. I love that game series. It it is it is so good. It is so good. They had some Xenosaga statues in Thailand. Well, why didn't you buy them for me, Spino? <laughs> this is just a event grinding fight. Yes, this is this is just an event grinding fight. I'm trying I'm trying to grind event points here. Have I tried Xenoblade Chronicles 2? I was adamant about not playing any of the Xenoblade games until they announced that they were going to finish Xenosaga. Unfortunately, that announcement came a few months ago, so I will I will now play the Xenoblade games uh, when when I have time in my schedule. It was nice of the X Feds to help you. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> You've not played the Xenoblade games yet. Yes, yeah, same. The most Xenosaga merch you saw were controllers. I don't. I didn't even see controllers. I have uh, I have the collector's edition boxes that I imported from Japan, which were like three hundred dollars each. They're pretty expensive. They're pretty expensive for back in the day. <laughs> so I, I had those and I remember I remember my grandma. She didn't she doesn't understand, you know, where I like I can't, I can't get like mad mad at her. But back then I was fucking seething. She like she went through my shit all the time, which is another partial trust issue uh, thing that I have. And she went into my collector's boxes and she threw away all of the plastic that was encasing everything because she thought that it was trash. And she was like, well, why would you, why would you keep it in the plastic? And I was like, <gasps> do not kill this woman. That is a felony. Even if you play them in JP voices, when you play XPC, you're going to spam the fuck out of the English quotes. Oh God. I'm absolutely going to play them in the uh, JP voices, by the way. I've unfortunately heard their English voices and it's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of Xenoblade One dub, but you love Rain. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with the JP voices on. Like I when I play Judgment, I play Judgment with JP voices and English subtitles. And I I know for people who are like listening to stream instead of watching stream, it might not be the best viewing experience to do that. But I personally prefer playing my JRPGs that way if I have the option. So like I'm I'm sorry if you really detest hearing the Japanese audio since you won't know what's going on, but that is that is the way I prefer to play. That is what makes me happy. Fuck listeners, watchers are where it's at. No, don't fuck them unless it's like consensual and happy fucking. It's a sacrilege to play Yakuza games in English. Yeah, I can only imagine, dude. I can only imagine. Oh, you hope you're doing well this Sunday. You too. I hope you have a good Easter, my dude. Fuck him. You're listening to Japanese, so bring it on. Good, good. Kira would love rain. Total himbo. I I hope so. Why does she have hamburger missiles? You can uh, you can put skins on their on their guns, and so I I put I put hamburger skins on New Joyzy's missiles. I think it's New Joyzy who has the hamburgers. I'm pretty. It might it might be Jeez, Georgia, but I'm pretty sure it was New Jersey. Let's you have two comms? The bad British dub is the best part, though. Nope, nope. <laughs> Xenosaga Trilogy on PS2 was the second JRPG you ever actually finished after Chrono Trigger. Hadn't heard that name in decades. I I am a super fan, I guess, to put it nicely, of Xenosaga. Imagine not giving the US battleships burger skins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Xenosaga's getting a, a new game out eventually. Did you get that right? Yes. Um, spoilers. 
mute the stream now if you care about spoilers from Xenoblade. <laughs> uh, I want uh, Xenoblade had a DLC that came out a few months ago. I can't remember exactly when, but the the ending cutscene of the DLC uh, basically showed that whatever time warp happened to them in Xenoblade brought them to old Milsha in the Xenosaga universe. And when the cutscene actually ends, like in the cutscene, you, you have all these references to Vector. Uh, you have, I think it's Margulis being talked about on the radio. They, they bring up multiple Xenosaga characters. You can see uh, exactly the, 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 the city in the background when it, when it fl fades in. It looks like old Milsha. Um, and then at the end of it, the very, very end, uh, the end of Xenosaga 3 was Cosmos being basically blown to smithereens, floating in outer space towards an unknown planet. And the end of the Xenoblade DLC was that exact same cutscene, but from the position of the other planet. Like, it showed you that there were two planets next to each other instead of one. Uh, and so you got the you got the opposite perspective of, of Cosmos falling into the planet. Ass and titties. Whoa, they're touching! Love tasty, tasty realian spines. Oh my god. Just hope sweet baby like people are gone or not allowed to touch anything with Xenosaga. Xenosaga had its own issues throughout its development cycle. Like, uh, Xenosaga 2 gets a metric fuck ton of hate, and a lot of it is deserved, unfortunately. Uh, they basically got an entirely new staff to work on the game, and Xenosaga 2 has, like, terrible sprites, terrible voice acting, terrible overworld. Like, it, just, it is a terrible game objectively two is my favorite in the series purely because of the story i like all of the other jank how they butchered the battle system how they butchered the characters how cosmos looks like some fucking dei version of a woman instead of an actual woman none of that matters to me because of how good the story is in episode two Anyone else keep zoning out from what Kirsch is talking about? Every loading screen! What the fuck? Xenosaga was meant to be six games, wasn't it? Yes, Xenosaga was meant to be six games before it was cut short. And uh, it was it was cut short because Nintendo ended up buying Monolith Soft, and it was decided that it wasn't worth the investment to buy out uh, the IP for Xenosaga, and so it, w it wouldn't make enough money to continue it, so they just kind of left the IP being split between Bandai Namco and Nintendo. Mercenary, thank you for the two dollars. Happy Easter to my fellow tinfoil hat wearer. We have beautiful tinfoil Easter baskets. Five bucks says they'll somehow make Cosmos into BIPOC. They already have Telos. They don't need to change Cosmos. Xeno Gears was like part five in that series. Yeah, Xeno, Xeno Saga was a prequel to Xeno Gears and Xeno Gears came out first in like 97, I think it was. We're out here looping on Takahashi's perfect works. I love that silly little man. We nearly didn't get Xenoblade too. Yeah. Yeah. You like the cake you're seeing. <laughs> you're listening and watching as you're doing house chores. Hello. Hello. Nintendo and Bandai Namco. <laughs> now fear for the next games. Right, dude? Right. Where are my my little my little chart thingies here? Where are my little char- I don't know how I'm gonna finish this egg. I don't know- I don't know how to eat on the stream chat. <gasps> You're taking notes. You never played. Xenogears was also meant to be six through eight games, but it was too ambitious for Square. Understandably so, unfortunately. See New Jersey and you deaf get distracted? What is wrong with you? I've been trying to do spring cleaning for the past two weeks while watching me. Have you- have you been succeeding and getting a little bit done each time or do you get too distracted? <laughs> And just talk with your mouth full. No, that's gross. No, that's gross. And just swallow the egg whole. But it's an omelet form. Tactical Panzer Chan. Thank you for your five dollar doodles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, no, we're back here. We're back here on the sixteenth. On the sixteenth. You just got done doing a himbo task of cleaning out the sink drain. You need some praise. <gasps> Good job on snaking the drain! You got rid of all the gunky hair nonsense. That's disgusting. I'm proud of you. I'm playing some Mabinogi while chilling. You haven't played any JRPG since probably Breath of Fire. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Forget gag reflex. Scarf it all down. I don't think I can do that with, like, burrito bread. 
What do you mean? It's even easier to swallow it whole that way. What the hell? A fighting game about giant robots from different series, including Xenosaga, Gundam, etc. Could be interesting. Uh, Cosmos was in a Soul Calibur game. I think it's Soul Calibur 3. I don't own Soul Calibur 3, but I should play it. The hair and toothpaste combo was disgusting. Oh, yeah. I've never had to worry about snake in the drains. My grandma would just tell my grandfather to do it every so often. Snake and snake in drains, that's a man's job. <laughs> Alex Blackfoot, thank you for the five dollars. Foxu, as the Xeno Whatever fanatic, where should you start between Saga and Gears? Play Gears first. Play Gears first and then play Saga. Played Persona 5 and yeah, the choice or yeah, chose to get Pokemon Scarlet. It was a semi-regrettable choice. Wait, what? I don't understand what those have to do with each other. Am I mixing ketchup and soup again? I don't have soup, but there is ketchup on my omelet. You own Soul Calibur 3? Who's in it? Uh, Cosmos from Xenosaga. You have a snake in your drains? You usually find them in your boot? What the hell? Link in Soul Calibur 2 GC was the best thing because of the adventure mode? Cosmos wasn't in Soul Calibur 3, but her armor was? Oh, was it just her armor? It's been a long time since I played that game. Like I said, I don't own it. I don't own it. Let me, let me, let me bring up, let me bring it up. Soul, Soul Calibur 3 Cosmos. M images. Oh. Oh man, finding finding screenshots of this is is rough. Here we go. Soul Calibur Wiki. Cosmos is an android from the Xenosaga series. In Soul Calibur 3, her version 1 design from Xenosaga Episode 1, Der Villa Zermacht, can be unlocked as a Type X character creation parts, making her a pseudo-guest character of sorts. As she's an android, a logical explanation for this would be that, due to her malleable abilities in her original series, she was included to highlight the new character creation system in Soul Cal 3. Hell yeah. And then we got really tiny screenshots. Only, only the tiniest of screenshots for ants. And I guess, I guess I could see why I thought it was like entirely her, because that dude just looked like her instead of just armor. Instead, like instead of just the armor. It do look like her. And it says Cosmos wins. You know, so. Look up the weapons for Link in Soul Calibur 2. A fucking Armos Night Gear. I don't, I don't really care about Legend of Zelda, so I probably won't. <laughs> When was the first Soul Calibur release? I have no idea. Mr. Boss, thank you for the 11 month resub. Thank you, thank you. 11 months of prune. Thank you for pruning. I also put Cosmos and Telos in a 3DS game and its sequel called Project Cross Zone. <laughs> Help. Which played like a mix between Final Fantasy Tactics and a basic fighting game. Hmm. Tactical Panzer Chan, they give you the $5. On the topic of Xenoblade, would I play Xenoblade Chronicles X? Really love that game. I don't know where to start with the Xenoblade games, but I would like to play them now that Xenosaga is basically confirmed getting another installment. That's the game Vouch really underrated titles. What? Soul Calibur 1 was a Dreamcast exclusive. Hmm. Hello, hello I'm Smelly Foxu. Thinking Cosmos was actually in Soul Calibur 3 is better than you thinking Necrid from Soul Calibur 2 was in 3? What the heck? What the heck? I got thank yous to do, chat. Nice I guess I can leave the ladies on the screen. I can leave the ladies while I'm thanking people. <laughs> and just start with the first entry, specifically with the remake. Chronicles X is self-contained. Hmm. Project X zone mentioned based. Soul Edge is better than Soul Calibur? Or Soul Edge into Soul Calibur? I don't, I don't, I, I literally don't know. Wish Necrid was in more games. I don't, I don't know Soul Calibur characters' names. I only know about Cosmos. <laughs> Necrid was a Todd McFarlane design character. Who's Todd McFarlane? I don't know names, dude. Soul Calibur 2 guest characters depended on which console you were on. Oh, the Spawn guy. I don't know anything about Spawn. <laughs> Necrid only appeared in Soul Calibur 2 as a character designed by Todd McFarland who created Spawn. I don't know anything about Spawn. He did the Spawn. I don't know. Spawn's a comic? Yeah, I don't know anything about Spawn. I... <laughs> you guys, you guys say Spawn and I think of like Spore, uh, but... <laughs> Man, you finally kicked your Azure Lane addiction about two weeks ago. You spent too much on that game. I've talked about how much I've spent on Azure Lane. 
But it's just like, you don't need to spend money. Like, you literally don't have to. The only money you spend is on cosmetics. You should, you should never need to buy oil or gotcha pulls or coins or anything. You could do Xenoblade 1 or 2 in any order, but 3 would be after both of them. You're a whale with cosmetics in every type of game. Also has a bunch of toy lines. What the heck? He's more known for toys now. What a what an interesting what an what an interesting like switch in uh in in profession. You lost your Azure Lane account when they changed the API and support won't even get back to you. It sucks. I would keep trying to bother them. I don't know how you would lose your Azure Lane account though. Like there's there's like multiple ways to bind it. So as long as your account was bound to something, like you should be able to recover it. How do I feel about Dynasty Warriors? Would I play a Xenosaga Warriors? You think every IP needs a Warriors offshoot? I've never played Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> Toys are actually $80 fully articulated screen accurate figures. Oh, people were being disingenuous by saying toys then, eh? <laughs> Bound just to Twitter? I mean, maybe? I don't- I don't know. I don't know if, like, that would cause an issue. Since- since I spent my first five dollars on Azure Lane, five dollars, I was like, I'm gonna bind my account because now I've spent money. Now I'm locked in, right? Now if I lose my account, it'll be an actual problem. <laughs> he went from making comic book characters to making toys of the characters and the business took off. Mm -hmm. Had a McFarlane figure of the Alien Queen. It was like a hundred dollars and weighed five pounds. Holy shit. That's heavy. That's heavy as fuck. Your warrior games are One Piece Pirate Warriors, and you're worried because of ESG. I had like a Naruto fighting game when I was younger. I don't even know what Azure Lane is. Sounds like some weird sex shop in an alleyway. What? How does it- how? What? Get- get off the porn, my guy! When Twitter made changes, they told everyone to use other binding methods for most third-party apps and games before it happened. Ah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Speaking of making sense, God hates taxes! God hates taxes. Thank you for the ten dollar doodles. This is lock and load for sleep deprived gamers. Interesting. I don't know what I was doing on the sixteenth that would have been lock and load for sleep deprived gamers, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to believe you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to believe you. I don't know what day what day was that even? March sixteenth. Help! My mouse is not obeying me. Help! March sixteenth. Sixteenth was a Saturday. 16th was a Saturday. Nope. I don't think I was even playing a game that day. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. If you've spent money and have the receipts, you could use that to help you get your account. Worked with another game before. True. That's how I got my Genshin Impact account back. When I when I was going when I was going through an identity crisis and I didn't know what to do after Terra announced it was going to shut down. I played like every new gacha game on release and if I was going to play every new gacha game and give it an accurate how free to play friendly are you rating, I would have to see what it gave you if you bought the monthly card. And so I would buy the monthly card whenever I started a new video or a new gacha game. Because those, those would be like between like three and seven dollars, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, Genshin Impact was a little bit more expensive than that, but I used, I used my receipt from Genshin Impact <laughs> to get my account back for when I did a, a sponsor recently. You maintain three gacha games, Azure Lane, Blue Archive, and Nikkei. I would love to be able to maintain Azure Lane and Nikkei alongside each other, uh, but I just, I ain't got the time for that, man. Kirsha runs out of Terra. Time to find a new hard drug. Ain't no way. You're addicted to Nikkei. It's very free to play, unfriendly. Yeah, if it was more free to play friendly, I probably would have tried harder to keep up with it. Todd McFarlane is a famous comic book artist. Did designs for symbiote suit Spider-Man and Venom. Spawn is sort of his baby, and it's basically about a guy who is sent to hell after being murdered and becoming a demon warrior. It's edgy Ooh. fun. Ooh, that does sound like edgy fun. That does sound like people were making Spawn sound like a Marvel vs. superhero, so I was uninterested, but you know. That's that sounds like it could be fun. Thank you for the five dollars, Almighty Lolly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, hope you're all having an awesome weekend. Happy Easter! Yeah, happy Easter, Merrick! Happy Easter! Uh, Daniel Sierra, thank you for the six-month member. Todd McFarlane originally used to illustrate Spider-Man and Venom. He then left Marvel and was a founder of Image Comics, where he created Spawn and the figure line. Hmm! Spawn is old Marvel. Oh. 
Mm, Spawn is a really cool indie that got bought by DC. There's a really good animation show that you highly recommend. I know quite literally nothing about anything comic book related. Right, like if you if you could imagine like I, I don't know, the most stereotypical like 1970s Hollywood bimbo you could find. Pretend you have to explain comic book heroes to that person and use that when explaining them to me. <laughs> <laughs> the HBO series is goaded. <laughs> Spawn isn't Marvel, he's Image Comics. I mean, they all blend together in my mind since I don't know anything about them. Spawn is like more berserk than Marvel. Are these PNGs allowed on YouTube? Why wouldn't they be? Is there a problem? <laughs> like the chick from Big Bang. Yeah, I guess. I don't know how dumb she is. <laughs> WBO series is great. Mother, motherfucking... Where, when, when, Geo Reels? Geo Reels, thank you for the dollary doodle. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mechanist Golden Gear, thank you for the five. Spent Saturday, or you meant Saturday, but I said Sunday while you were typing. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, that, that sometimes, sometimes I'm illiterate and I read your messages with like a, a weird word. <laughs> Have I seen the new Pal World update announcement? Like their April Fool's announcement where they're pretending that they're going to be releasing a dating game? Yeah, that's a cute animation. A pickled cucumber, thank you for the two dollars. Mmm, elder politician marinated in warfarin. What is warfarin? What is that? What What is warfarin? You'd be confused if I tell you they put the original Godzilla's bones into a mech suit to fight another Godzilla. No, that just seems like something Japan would do. Rat poison. Oh! Yeah, okay, I understand now. <laughs> Jeff is not! Thank you for the two Canadian spoon! My spoon is too big! Richard Atha, thank you for the two dollars. They're risking Wendy going out for this. I remember that 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 time I got tickled by Wendigo autism on stream and I just needed to watch Wendigo videos. Don't don't make me do that again. Don't make me derail an entire stream with my my horror autism. <laughs> Asmongold, York, Titus, fuck, Mary, kill. Oh no! I feel like that one's easier than the other one you gave me, but it's also it's also like oh man, oh man, York and York and Titus are both like both like really honorable men who would stick by their women. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. And they both are riddled with childhood trauma, which means that them and I would both become some sort of, like, codependent in a healthy way. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I don't- I don't- I don't know. I don't know what I would do between York and Titus. I don't- I don't know what I would do between those two! Like, Asmongold is the easy kill in that scenario, right? Like... <laughs> I just- I don't know what I would do between York and Titus! Oh, fuck! I- I guess... I guess I would- uh... Alright, okay, here's- here's my train of logic, alright? York, York wanted to, to save the lady cop because he loved her, right? And he, he ended up he ended up having having to like shoot her because he loved her so much to save the world, yeah. Where where is in whereas in Titus's case, uh he, he literally time traveled and and brought himself through different dimensions to defeat his father. Uh, and then also wanted to to break through the time verse to get back to the woman that he loved. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go with fuck York, marry Titus. All right, okay. I feel I feel like I feel like that's where it's gonna have to be. He didn't though. He was a dream. He wasn't. If you got the good ending in Final Fantasy X-2, he wasn't a dream. He was a real person. Kirsha prefers fictional men to real men. I feel like all of you men in this chat who prefer 2D women can relate. <laughs> I see she finally beat Deadly Premonition. It's such a good fucking game. 
It's such a good fucking game. Did I mean to keep the thank you checklist off stream visual? Yeah. I fig I figured I figured today I can uh I can have the the boat women's on screen. I mean, maybe I could like put it at the bottom. I don't know. Let me let me see. Maybe maybe if I like transform, edit transform, crop the top like 100 a little bit more. Maybe like 150. All right, okay. Maybe maybe if I maybe if I do it there. Oh no, I'd probably have to cut off the entire header. Oh god, hold on. I have brain damage. Let's do 400. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I'm so fucking smart, chat. I'm so fucking smart, chat. I am the smartest of foxes. All right, there we go. We can we can ha we can have it a little scrolling line on the bottom. A little a little scrolling line on the Jeez, bottom, as it were. I sound like I need to go play Final Fantasy VIII. Time to meet the world's best deadbeat absentee dad. Just only thing worth watching. I I played Final Fantasy VIII. I just don't remember anything about it, besides finding the teacher lady annoying as fuck. <laughs> Uh, I, I found the teacher lady annoying as fuck, and I, I remember Zell existed. I don't remember anything else. Oh god, delicious gamer subs. That's not what I say every other stream. Look, I'm allowed to have some smart times, okay? I'm, al I'm allowed- I'm allowed some. Don't be getting down on Quistus. <laughs> The ending of 8 is kind of memorable. Apparently not to my brain, because I don't remember it. <laughs> Disc 2 and on has Laguna. I completely forgot fucking that one guy joins your party for the Laguna part as well. Considering the standards you used for the FMK, you really need to start Berserk. Protagonist is a committed monogamous timbo with childhood trauma. Oh man. Don't make- don't make me love- don't make me love another fictional man, almighty lolly. I need- I need to find a real one to hold me at night instead of crying into the pages of a manga. <laughs> thank you! Thank you for the five dollars! Magnus Golden Gear, thank you for the ten as well. I don't prefer 2D women! They're just the only thing worth watching. <laughs> thank you! Irvine, you don't think he actually takes part in any of the Laguna dream sequences? No, Irvine's a playable character outside of that. The, uh, the guy, the guy that I've now forgotten the name of that I posted on Twitter the other day. If you find a real man to love, that's the end of your VTuber career, I fear. I don't think so. I don't think I have that many unicorns. Master Gullah, thank you for the $10 doodles. You're late because church. Hope I'm having a good stream, Bows. Remember, it's not truly Easter unless you find an ovary while scavenging for eggs. Happy hunting! May the Energizer Bunny shine on you. Well, my uterus is still peeling out its insides, so I mean, I guess there are probably some eggs in there. I want Kirsha to get married and have children. Me too, buddy. Me too. <laughs> Joseph Burton, thank you for the five dollars. Agree with Almighty Lolly. Berserk is not a suggestion; it's a requirement. Keep up the great content. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Find a VTuber bimbo Foxu for both fictional and real himbo energy. Oh my God! I will cry over Berserk. Oh no! MGMK, thank you for the fifty plins. I don't know what a plin is. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter, Ketchup Fox! Oh, God bless ya! You're still hung up on the fact that when talking, Cosmos, when people mention Project X Zone, but not Super Robot Wars, Original Generations, Endless Frontier. That's a really long fucking name! I've never heard of Project X Zone or Super Robot Wars, Original Generations, Endless Frontier. <laughs> oh, God, you would love some of the Primarchs from Warhammer. Each of them are big and extremely strong and smart, but goddamn, some of them are uber autists. I just, you know, the autism is endearing. <laughs> I'm glad my little sis Oshi is you, Neo. What? <laughs> Master Go, I think you for two dollars. Named your can after the best Final Fantasy VIII character, Fujin! Oh man. Radstorm, thank you for two dollars. Berserk is so good, how have you not read it? I cry. I don't know. I don't know. I was like, I, I typically just do stuff on recommendation. <laughs> it never was recommended before. I have a hiccup coming, but it won't come. Ah! Help! There it is. 
Hayden, thank you for the $4.99. Thank you, thank you for the $4.99. I don't know where my, my list is. I don't know, how far, how far? There we go. And I was like, I can't see where it is! <laughs> You've unironically read Berserk all the way through five times. It's so fucking good. Oh, god damn. Do I have an Azure Lane guild? I mean, kind of. I'm on Avrora if if there's like a different guild. Google a picture of Guts real quick and see if he's your type. Almighty Lolly, thank you for the $5. I'm pretty sure I know what Guts looks like cuz I'm I'm pretty sure I've seen him posted on Twitter a whole bunch like uh, a Papa Gundam posted about Berserk quite a bit. Oh but yeah, yeah he do he do be cute. He do be a cute lad. <laughs> a cute armor clad lad, as it were. Was that image of him missing part of his arm? Does that grow back? Does he just have like the ability to grow back his limbs? You hope the guy that took pictures to those who attended is getting bread? He's such a cute Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> no, just one arm. Oh goddamn. He gets a cannon arm? Oh, okay. Alright, okay. Alright. Berserk is depression fuel. I don't want depression fuel! I want happy! He's a mechanical prosthetic? Oh, okay. Sorry well, you know. You know what they say about men with mechanical limbs in bed, eh? This fucking Edward and his mechanical arm. <laughs> Berserk is inspirational. Hidden, thank you for the 4 dollars Humans cook like pork! So a good honey glaze would go hard. Anime girl bacon would be so good, right guys? I don't I don't think there's any way for you to like only peel off certain sections of your skin to be able to sell it to people and then have that skin like grow back normally. Like you would you would have a whole bunch of scar tissue. Like the only way I could think of actively doing that is if you purposefully put on so much weight that when you lost the weight you would have a ton of loose skin to then get rid of, but then like, how much would the skin even actually be tasty, right? You would want to eat the actual meat, the muscles of the human. So I don't know. I don't know. Sell foot butter. Guedes, I found a place up north that actually lets you do grape stomping with your feet. You have no idea how badly I want to do waifu foot wine. <laughs> Just look at all the dew. Human skin is actually considered an organ. What the hell? You pray so hard for one day the four horsemen of the apocalypse to collab. Me, Pieppa, Chromu, and Mari Mari underscore En. That would be that would be a fun ass time. I never I never know what the fuck to do when you get like a large collab like that. I feel like you guys are gonna see me playing this kebab game quite a lot though. I'm um, I'm holding off popping my kebab cherry until uh April 6th. April, April 6th is the next uh, Moon Man, Bag Man, a Nano collab. And we're going to be playing the uh, the Kebab Simulator game. So pre be, be prepared for a lot of cannibal comments, I suppose. <laughs> but this, this game has enthralled me so fucking much that I've had to actively stop myself from playing it before then. So I feel like after that collab, I'm going to just try and wrangle like three other VTubers to play it again. Don't worry, Pippa doesn't either, so it would just be Chromu and Mari Mari underscore EN hitting on both of you. <laughs> would, would I get the same response if I, like, reverse Uno card them like I do with Pippa? <laughs> He's also a Dilf, but can't explain how due to plot reasons. Just know he doesn't have any magic or sorcery or anything like that. He's just built like a brick shithouse and is really strong. God, I love it when a man is described as being built like a brick shit house. Hot God. I want him to grill already. <laughs> Exponential Uno flirting the stream. You saw a good collab game? You let Bags know about it? What game? What game? Almighty Lolly, thank you for the fiber. And Dr. Faust MD, thank you for the 350. While we're mentioning manga, Himbo's Musashi from Vagabond would fit. He's a mountain man who knows nothing but sword fighting. He has a soft spot for his childhood crush and is loyal to her. That sounds really sweet. That sounds really sweet. How y'all doing, fellow kids? What What do you want from us, federal agent? 
Stone Toss was called a brick shithouse? I just don't believe you! I just don't- I just don't believe you! <laughs> You're an hour in the past, but yes, I'm you from the future! What the hell? What the hell? Uh, no? Gorbs! Gorbs, thank you for the five pounds. Hitchhiker's Guide has the best option. A pig, grown, that wants to be eaten and consents to it. What would happen to animal rights activists if animals could speak and consent to being eaten? What? What would happen to them? <laughs> Stone Toss isn't made of soft serve ice cream like his characters are? <laughs> Un unemployment? They complain louder. Oh my god. Blue screen. I don't want to. I want to be the bacon. Don't take me from man. <gasps> Jesus. Imagine cows yelling, I want to be milked. You just, instead of a cacophony of mooing from the barn, you just hear the milk me, milk me. <laughs> Same thing with the guy that consented to be cannibalized. I wonder how the consensual cannibalism would work in current year. Like, I know Germany didn't take it seriously, but like, I feel like the other Western countries would at this point. What if animals could speak and demand to eat the activists? Ooh, that would be an interesting about face, honestly. No name, thank you for the two-month member. Hypothetically speaking, if you can brainwash animals into liking Vor and Guru, wouldn't it be fine? Well, no, because brainwashing is bad. Brain brainwashing is making them believe something against their free will. Germany took it seriously. Do you not remember Armin? No, I do remember Armin. That's why I'm saying Germ Germany was not okay with the ethical cannibalism. Time for Doggy to go the way of old Yeller. Oh my god. Rename Brainwash to Education and now it's fine. True. <laughs> True. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the two dollars. Soylent Green is people! You know, because Soylent Green was people, when we started getting, like, the the soy drinks in real life, I was just like, that's a weird thing to want to do after we already knew it was people before. What kind of what kind of weird xenoestrogens are you putting in here that are making people not only gay, but okay with cannibalism? It'd be hilarious when vegans think that they're helping them and the animals would say, we're not vibing with you, little bro. <laughs> Imagine the... Please milk me. Goshojin sama. I fucked up that word, but I tried my best to bring this back to comics. Why? <laughs> spider, spider ham, a cartoon pig counterpart of Spider Man, is perfectly fine eating pork. I thought that was just a Family Guy joke. Okay, what the fuck? Everyone calm down! <laughs> if cat girls are human sized, would cow girls be four meters tall? I mean, n no, because cows aren't four meters tall? What? What game am I playing? This is Azure Lane in the background. Yeah, no name, they give the five dollars. There is another bridge accident, this time in Oklahoma. What are the chances that all these bridge accidents happened to derail the investigation of bridge? <sighs> no name, they give the five dollars. Xeno gears and the canned food scene. Not like this. Not like this. Improv man, they give the two dollars. If you're smart, can you still be a himbo? Well, a himbo doesn't mean you're dumb all the time, right? Like, look at Kronk. Kronk is a very archetypical himbo. And he is like a fucking master in the kitchen. He's, he's not, like, emotionally stunted. He can have conversations and understand how other people are feeling. He can perceive hypotheticals. He's just, he's just really dumb sometimes. Like, I, like I posted a drunk text thing in, in, uh, in Discord at some point. Uh, and, like, a, a, la a, a lady like, was just talking to her husband, and he was just like, Would you be my girlfriend? And she's like, I'm your wife. And he's like, Oh my god, no way! That's fucking awesome! That's, that's the himbo energy I want, you know? Or like, or like you, you spell, you spell psych, like you're talking about a psych ward, but you spell it S-I-K-E. Like that, that is the kind of dumb shit that is adorable. That is, that is, that is some himbo energy, alright? Kronk is highly skilled at many things. Yeah, yeah, being, being a himbo doesn't mean you're like a fucking inept puddle of goo, 
right? Like you guys, you guys hear me talk about things that I'm very knowledgeable about, and then you, and then you see me uh, fall apart when I have to do like four times sixteen, right? Like I just, I can't do that. <laughs> I don't like to think about anything. Kirsha, the date was amazing. We should dine again, himbo. No, I think I'm full already. <gasps> Guedes, you're speaking my fucking language. That is that is exactly what I'd like to hear. <laughs> it's a fun scene when she gives him the orders and he just starts listing them off with that perfect uh, lingo. <laughs> Kirsha, you know about the original Yzma song and plotline Snuff Out the Light, right? No. No. You really need to start Berserk, because this is literally guts. Oh my god. A crunk of spike and a squirrel, yeah! You saw Kirsha trying to get past the captcha? Look, that captcha was bugged, okay? That captcha was fucking bugged and I stand by it. There's no way that that was, that was me fucking it up. This isn't a beach, it's a bathtub. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's that fucking- hold on. What's the plumber one? I need the I need the plumber one. Is it that when your plumber doesn't take a hint? Is it this one? Is it this one? Why is this on TikTok and not YouTube? Yeah, it's this one. This is this is this is like the level of conversation I aspire to have. Hold on, you guys you guys can't see it because it's like down here at the bottom. Hold on, I gotta like and it's gonna be cut off. Fuck it, fuck it. You're just gonna listen to it. You're not gonna watch it. <laughs> Gotta go bike. Taster, how's it going? Uh, you're just gonna need a, a new spray valve and then it should work properly. Were my pipes dirty? I don't know. I just checked the spray valve and the tailpiece. Did you clean my pipes? No. I just checked your spray valve and tailpiece. <laughs> Do you wanna clean my pipes? <laughs> Do you want me to clean your pipes? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Just let me know if you do. I bet I could handle a pretty big pipe. You mean like a two? I don't know. I mean, your system was built to be a 1.5, that's what, that's what you currently have. Like, I know this is a skit, but if I encountered this man in the wild, I would literally immediately fall in love. I can install it too, but I have to rip everything out, and that's gonna cost you north of three grand. Oh, I don't have that much money. Yeah, well, it doesn't really make sense to do it anyway, so... Well, <laughs> maybe if I can figure out another form of payment? You mean like a check? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no, I mean like maybe if you take care of my pipes, I can take care of your pipe. Ma'am, I do my own plumbing. <laughs> oh, well, sir, help! I'm stuck! What's wrong? What happened? My hand, it's, it's stuck in the washing machine. This hand? Yeah. Oh my god, how did you do that? <laughs> how did you not do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> See this? This is this is how this is how you're supposed to play brat when you when you want your man to do something a bit rougher with you, right? You don't want to do something that'll actually get him mad, but you want to do something kind of stupid and maybe a little annoying, like calling him away from his work to ask him to get your hand out of a washing machine for some fucking reason. <laughs> how can I ever thank you for helping me? Don't want it. Just uh, be careful next time. Well, there must be some way I can show my appreciation. No, really. It's not necessary. Oh, no. You have a stain on your pants. Why don't you just take them off and I'll wash them for you? Oh, that's okay. These are my work pants. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm very good at rubbing things out. Actually, with grease stains, you, you want to dab it. <laughs> well, how about after I toss in this load, I take your load. <laughs> Wait. Why aren't you separating your whites and colors? <laughs> I must have forgot. You forgot how to do laundry? <laughs> hey, sir. How's it going down there? Yeah, I just finished up. The drain's good to go. What was the problem? Oh, it's actually really stuck. This was stuck in your pipes. Oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. Oh, really? God. Why? That's, um, my toy. Oh, God. Aren't you a little old to be playing with toys? No, it's just been so lonely. If only there was a strapping young man for me to play with. <laughs> well, is it a two-player game? Oh, is this like a bop in? Maybe. Oh my god. Would you like me to pull it? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a part of the game? Or maybe you'd rather I 
I didn't know there were so many of these. I'd only seen the first one. So it is Bop It. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know you were coming today. Oh, sorry. Yeah, your husband let me in. Uh, that jerk never tells me anything. I was just. She has a husband? Oh, actually, oh no, tomorrow, dude. I'm in a few minutes. I'm in such a rush, though. Can you turn it back on for me? Maybe I'll let you join me. What's wrong with your shower? You'll have to join me to find out. <laughs> Bad water pressure, huh? No, I mean, you could take a shower here. I'm good. My water pressure at home is fantastic. Yeah, but your shower doesn't have me in it. But your husband's home. He's, like, so obsessed with work. He probably won't even notice. I find that very hard to believe. We'll be sneaky. What if he has to pee and comes in? Okay, then I'll distract him and you hide under a towel. That's even more suspicious. I don't even think he would care. Why do you even need to take a shower? I'm taking a fresh face of makeup and do your hair. Oh, yeah. Let's just say I forgot to wash a certain body part. Ew. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> literally me <laughs> he's literally me oh god all right so now now you guys know <laughs> that kind of ruined the series now that i know she has a husband i thought it was like wholesome flirting at first and then she had to turn it into some cuck shit what a bitch what a bitch she didn't wash her ass. Ew. None of us are that bad at picking up hints, but this is the experience early on. Oh, God. Can I get the link, please? Yeah. Yeah, one sec. <laughs> I had only ever seen the first one, so I didn't I didn't know there were that many. I didn't know there were that many. Based NTR denier. Exactly. Nobody's that autistic, right? Oh, they are. Oh, they are. Those were hints. You pick up those hints, you just don't have interest if you're not already in a relationship with her? Oh my god. I mean, like... It, flirt, flirting is a, is a strange art, as it were. Me, I'm that autistic. That woman scares me. You're that bad at picking up hints? You've been told multiple times by friends that someone was hitting on you after? The pipe guy, 10 years into the future, while taking a shower. Oh, she was hitting on me. Infernal Saxon, thank you for the two dollary doodles. The perfect responses. Honestly, I do the same. Sergeant Buck, thank you for the $10. You're in the middle of a packed grocery store trying not to laugh. Oh, God, he's so silly. But he's he's not dumb. Look, he's a, he's a qualified plumber. He knows what he's doing. Randy H, thank you for the five dollars. Kirsch is attracted to the harem protagonist with the density of a black hole. Well, he wouldn't have to be a harem protagonist, right? Because I'm not into sharing. If he touches another woman, I'm going to kill him. Uh, I, I, the char the character that I've watched in an anime that I have, that I, that I have resonated uh, closely with probably would be like you know, right? And that's that's you know that's probably not a good thing, but like. I do not take kindly to lying. <laughs> Shadow Cyber Demon, thank you for the five Canadians. So many familiar internet memes come from Berserk. It's actually insane. So what you're saying is, is that when I read it, I'm finally going to be like, hey, I know what's going on. Yandere Kirsha, I am. I, I actually am. Yeah, you know Gasai. <laughs> A girl winked at you once, but you completely ignored it because she wasn't my type. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, I think I think it's silly. I think it's silly when they push the uh, the yandere archetype into like getting angry over the dude like having a dream or some shit. But I think it makes sense to want to keep all other women away from your man otherwise, right? That's just that's just normal psychology. This is this is my prize. You can find your own, but this one is mine. He seemed to have a lot of varied technical knowledge. Dude ain't dumb. He's respectful. <laughs> At what point being dense gets annoying for you? I would I would say being dense would get annoying if I have to explain the same thing like five or six times in a row and you still don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, big guy. Not like not like dropping well, you hints like in that video we watched, but like was playing dumb. But like uh I'm trying to think of a situation. I guess, like, if, 
what would I be teaching? What would I even be teaching? <laughs> I, 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 I've, I, if I told you how to clean a cast iron pan so you don't ruin it, and I explain it five or six times and you continue ruining pans, I would probably get annoyed. There we go. I found something. Yandres are supposed to be obsessive first, crazy second. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, like, you kind of... You, you kind of you want a little bit of Yandere in any girlfriend you have, right? If your girlfriend isn't cock-worshipping you, are you even really dating? Let's be honest. <laughs> and go, only if it goes both ways, a lot of girls you met will complain about a jealous boyfriend. I prefer... Uh, I prefer having that a little bit, right? Because then I know if, like, some schmuck comes and hits on me in, like, a bar or a club, I'm gonna get defended instead of the schmuck being turned away by me and then my boyfriend being like, why weren't you more stern with him? Do you, did, you, did you not care about me enough? I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. You, you, you protect me. <laughs> If your girlfriend isn't using her panties as a coffee filter, are you really dating? I've only been asked for that once before, and I don't know if it would even work. I'm gonna be real with you. I mean, I guess if you use, like, lace or mesh panties? How does one ruin a cast iron pan? It's cast iron. Uh, if you use, uh, like, steel wool to clean it, it, it ruins the pan. Benny's Gaming Attic. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Cast iron pans are best clean with dish soap. Don't do that. Don't do that. You've been asked for that. Yes. You use socks. <gasps> Excuse me. They would be pantyhose. <clears throat> Not oiling it. That's true. Not oiling it. You got to season your pan. They got to season it. You need to dry it and apply oil to it after. <gasps> How does that even come as an idea? I like it when I date a man who can have ideas in bed instead of just being like, I don't know. I, I like titties, I, I guess. I was like, be more imaginative, you fuck! How are you gonna tell me you've been jerking off to porn for a decade and you don't have a single idea of anything sexual you like? You don't ruin the pan, but you can ruin the seasoning. So it can rust, and then you have to clean and re-season it. Yeah? I mean, I guess, I guess instead of cast iron, I could have picked a uh, fucking non-stick. Non-stick pans are very easy to ruin. I'm not introspective, <laughs> but it's really a pain to pre-season. Let me, let me tell you right now in the chat, if you, if you cannot answer a woman who asks you, what do you like sexually and not answer with something like, I like tits or I like ass, you need to figure out how to answer that question before you get a girlfriend. Cause women are mental creatures. You might, you might be able to give a, an okay orgasm just by the physical action of fucking. But the mental part is going to bring that okay orgasm into like crazy, astounding, that bitch will be addicted to your dick territory. All right, okay. How can you know what you like if you're forever alone? I mean, you kind of, you kind of get an idea of what you like by what you get off to, don't you? Right? You let the algorithm take me when searching? Oh my god. <laughs> but Kirsha, what about the two cums? Kir hates titties and ass. How's let's try stuff and find out. See, that would also work. If you're if you're just like, I would I would I would like to try some things, and your girlfriend would then hit you if she's smart with the what things would you like to try? And that's when you come up with the things you'd like to try, is what I'm saying. <laughs> the correct answer is I like <clears throat> underscore you underscore. No, that's not a correct answer. I would actually get annoyed with that. <laughs> I would actually get annoyed because I'd be like, that's not the question I asked you. <laughs> Please put on the cosplay toast engineer. They give you the five dollars. Actually, that's a very, that's a, it depends on the context, right? Because that could be a very himbo answer. He could be like, what do you mean? I like you. And it's like, no, 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 I don't mean like that. I mean, like, what do you want to try? Like, like that other guy in chat said. What if the guy says something like, I'm gonna fold you like a Rubik's Cube? I'd be like, hell yeah, I love mathematicians. <laughs> I like whatever you like. Be a fucking man! Girl asked me what I want. Peace and quiet. The more orgasms you give, the more peace and quiet you get. 
Honestly, anything works. Getting a guy to coom takes zero skill. Getting a girl to coom takes a PhD in rocket science. <gasps> oh my god. But you don't fold the Rubik's Cubes. Yeah, but the, the point is there, right? He's got the gusto, which is what matters. <laughs> I mean, you don't hit them with your Fifty Shades of Grey on the first date. It's all about timing and place. I mean, personally, personally, I think sexual compatibility is a big thing. So if some dude has like a really low sex drive and he's just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really into anything besides, you know, missionary for the sole purpose of procreation. I'd be like, we're, we're probably not going to work out. <laughs> Wait, that makes no sense. You've had girls tell you it's annoying when you make sex last too long? What? What? I mean, it, it depends entirely on what you're trying to do, right? It, de it depends entirely on, like, what you're trying to set up for the mood, right? I, like, I've even said, I don't think anyone is going to find literally just penis in vagina for an hour straight is going to be fun at all. Like, right, like that's that doesn't sound fun just doing that for like an hour. <laughs> doing the sex for Jesus. If she's complaining it lasts too long, she doesn't like the sex. That sounds tiring. Yeah, it sounds tiring if it's an hour of just penis and vagina, but when you have like an entire eight hour escapade on a Saturday, you're gonna be doing more than just that. You're you're gonna be you're gonna be doing more than just that one thing. Jack hammering that pussy like you work in construction. <sighs> well, you gotta switch it up, change positions, take breaks, cuddle, get a drink of water. Yeah, exactly. See, that guy knows. That guy knows. Take his advice. Are you sting? <laughs> what? <sighs> oh my god. That's for Tuesday though. No, Tuesday night's anal night. Hi, <laughs> Daddy. Thank you for the 10 gift members. Jordan Gant, thank you for the $10. What if I'm not a blowy kind of guy? Does that take away from the experience? I can't imagine any man unironically not liking a blowjob. So I feel like you literally have just not had a good one in that case. <laughs> oh god, wait. You guys don't do sex marathons? <laughs> A lot of chat hasn't had a full day sex romp before and it shows. I I hope I hope one day everyone in this chat If you buy a fox <laughs> buy and me! you put the fox in your house, it's gonna do fox things. <laughs> the correct answer is to learn her deepest, darkest, most forbidden fantasies, then feed them and wind up her to the point of bursting even before the main event. Yeah, exactly. See that guy knows? See GD knows, he gets it! He gets it! Oh my god. They're overrated. <laughs> They're best to have when you're 17 to 23. What the fuck? Explore with her. Yeah, go spelunking together. Deep, dank, dark fantasies. Jesus, woman, in this Christian chat, I'm dispensing knowledge. I'm dispensing knowledge to y'all men's in the chat. And I hope you all get someone who loves you and will also do... A full day sex romp with you. <laughs> like the dirty dog you are. One of your exes, your roommate is trying to be annoying. Let's be as loud as possible to put him and his girlfriend to shame. What the fuck? <laughs> Competitive sex in this household? Knowledge isn't a sin. It's how you use it. Oh my God. Moral of the story, gaslight and mind break your woman. No, there's no gaslighting. Gaslighting bad. Gaslighting bad. You want to you play into, into her fantasies while you're fucking her. That's not gaslighting, that's being a good dude. But yeah, mind break. Mind break is good. <laughs> like the visual stimulation of getting a blowy than the actual blowy? Very few women are good at them. I mean, each each man is different, much like each woman is different. So I don't I don't think there's any sort of like universal blow jorb technique that could be used, right? You gotta you gotta find out what your man enjoys and you know go from there. The first blowjob is probably not going to be good, but once your lady learns what you like, it's going to be it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> but Kirsha, <clears throat> what if she's merely pretending to see if you take the bait? Yes, I dated psychos. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. What if, what if she's merely pretending to see if you take the bait? As as someone who enjoys being touched while I'm unconscious and asleep, 
That is something that you need to have like resounding, yes, I want you to do this, right? So like the guy un under no uncertain terms thinks he's doing something actually wrong, right? You enjoy the submission of girl on her knees that appeals to something inside when someone gives themselves over to you? Yeah, I want, I want strong, powerful, decisive man. Even, even if you have the confidence of like the shaky nerd kid trying out for the football team, even, even if you have no belief in yourself to do these confident, decisive moves, believe in the me who believes in you, chat. Gusto, fake it till you make it. Pretend you have the confidence. Get in, get into your weird ERP brain set and be the man that you read in your comic books. All right, okay. <laughs> If you ask her what she would like to have, and she doesn't answer, Jerusalem, is it really a date? My love, we will retake Constantinople. <laughs> oh my god, you got addicted to blowjobs because you had uh, one lady who's really good at it. There's miles of difference between a blowjob and an amazing blowjob. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go oh, yeah. It's, just, it's the same with uh, when ladies get head. I'm gonna be real. So the guy, the guys that like eat that, like it's the first meal they've had after being in a desert for 45 days. That's, that's the kind of man you want. <laughs> what Azure Lane server again? Motherfucking, uh, Avrora. Avrora. Minya! Infernal sex and thank you for the two dollars. A handcuffer to the bed. Go fishing. Return with food. Boom! I do not know how to debone a fish, so I hope you do. <laughs> Ice Daddy, I don't remember if I said thank you. So thank you for the 10 gift members. Thank you, Ice Daddy. Ice Ice Baby. Thank you. Wish they'd let you switch servers with all your girls. Same. Same. Nocturnal007, they give the $2. Imagine an hour of agony. I don't know, I don't know about agony. <laughs> That's a little boring, you know? <laughs> Boycott Warhammer, they give the two pounds. Two hours of erotic flower arranging. I don't know what that would entail, but sure. Sure, if that's if that's what you want to try. Kirsha doesn't know how to debone a fish, but she knows how to debone a man. I am literally a succubus, and I will leave you destitute if you decide to leave me. <laughs> you have a friend who hated even talking about receiving or giving oral. What the fuck? A pickle, the cucumber, thank you for the $5. Fellas, what Kirsch is trying to say, practice storytelling. Have fun eating clam and treat it like a two-player game. That activates the Grippa 9000. True. True and real. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the $2. You can always try the grapefruit method. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that works. Radstorm, thank you for the $2. How, how have I seen Gurren Lagan but not Berserk? That's a good question. <laughs> Oh, the good qu I don't know, Radstorm. Smoog Ayuna. Hello, hello, fellow white fox. Hello, hello, white sister. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. <gasps> Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, raiders. I'm doing, I'm doing some, uh, some super chat. Thank you, ketchups. Why are you sad crying, Smug Alana? Why are you sad cry? What happened? This anti-cheating strategy is to drain a man's nuts before he goes to work and then draining again when he gets back. Unironically, yes. Unironically, yes. White sister just doesn't really sound right. Heil Alana? Does that, does that sound better? Is that better for you, dear chatters? <laughs> Welcome to hell. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> That's what, that was the third most awkward sentence I've ever heard. Oh, the ISP is being shit. I'm sorry. I know how that is. Sometimes, sometimes calm cunt kind of tries to fuck me over too. ISP hells, you called it quits. You're going to fix it. Good luck. I know how that feels. I know it fucking sucks. I know it fucking sucks. <laughs> ISP is shitting itself for the past two hours. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I saw something I wanted to read in chat, but then I lost it, and now I don't remember what it is, so, you know, I'm sorry. Well, smug- Smuggy-sama? You can't say Smuggy because Smuggy makes me think of Smeggy, and I don't want to be, like, Smeg-Alana. That- that feels insulting, right? <laughs> Take care of our children! I'll do my best! <laughs> smeg Malana. <laughs> See, now someone needs to draw you inside the zipped-up foreskin. <laughs> no, 
Oh god, touch grass, eat ass, smoke grass. Jesus Christ. Good lord, they really pander to the foot bros with this game. Oh, the foot bro pandering got ramped the fuck up in the past year here. Like, they always had some foot bro ships, but it's gotten, it's got wild. One second, I'm gonna go cook with AI. Thank you, Azehara. <laughs> Good hot leather shave. Sometimes you're really scared of the things that come out of your mouth, Kirsha, but you're great. I requested being in the zipped up penis years ago. And I think I got I think I got like a, a weird Photoshop of it, but I don't know if anybody ever drew me in the penis. I like I like the unzips dick meme. Hey Kirsha, can you rank the pickup line? Hey, I'm into toys. Can I see your collection? <sighs> I feel like if that's the first sentence someone said to me, I would be really confused. Not not so much interested, just Nim. really confused. Nim. Nim. Is this a legit fantasy of mine? What, being wrapped up in foreskin like a sleeping bag? What other purpose does foreskin have if not for that and bringing snacks to the homies? Speaking of Azehara, did you show Cat? Did I show Cat? Chat? His Kirsha theme song? I don't remember. Still sad the dick cheese video wasn't seen by your king. I am still very glad that Asmongold did not see the dick cheese video. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck are you talking about? Welcome to Zombocom. Oh Jesus. Spider God 99, thank you for the seven dollary doodles. And yeah, that's that's pretty much how you do it. Drain your man before he goes to work, send him pictures while he's at work, drain him once he gets home. He's not gonna have the energy to cheat. He's not going to have the energy. Whiplash streamer and percent. I did get someone to draw a better foreskin sleeping bag art. Skewki, do you have it? I can't show it on stream, but I don't have it and I want it. <laughs> we need to clone a thousand to give Kirsha her sleeping bag. If he's around 21 to 25, he will. No, no. The perfect storm of I am horny and I am jealous. Even here, down in the fifth, you know how to do the next right thing. Cheat people, right? Go to work, do the thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just, I'm a just hit you up one of these days. And be like, hey, yo, I know you're on your way to work. When you get in the parking garage, I want a picture of your dick in the car. <laughs> Full stomach, empty balls, happy marriage. You gotta be reciprocative, though. You know, if uh, if it if it goes on too long, where I'm sucking your dick like five times a day, and you're not giving me anything, I'm gonna start getting resentful. All right. I'm gonna- I'm gonna start getting a little bit annoyed at your behavior. <laughs> good news, the AI can make veiny penises with foreskin. Oh my god. Is that good news? Yeah, Non-stick dies if you set it down wrong. True, but also that man is behind in the VOD. <laughs> if you please a woman, they will go out of their way to please you. Yes, very much yes. Azehara is why AI has become dumber. I love Azehara's AI. <laughs> if you're sucking his dick five times a day and you're not getting anything, it's because you sucked it all out and his tank is empty. He's got a mouth! He's got fingers! He can learn to use them! <laughs> oh my god. Death, Death Vod, thank you for the hundred videos. The thing is, get is yourself a man that's to too lazy to cheat. Don't even know that well, you don't want him to be that lazy, because if he's too lazy to cheat, what else is he too lazy to do? Let's be real. <gasps> Cabbage! Cabbage, thank you for the 65 month resub, my very first subscriber! Thank you! Thank you for your 65 months of service, my guy! Kier, give the man a break. He's working without a soul because you sucked it out of him. Well, maybe if he gives me something back, he can have a little bit of his soul as a treat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If she'd be sucking five times a day, I bet you money she could slurp like the pool of juice left over when you're done eating watermelon. <laughs> you got a juicy like a watermelon. I love that song, dude. How is Aries still functioning? <laughs> Azehara's Kirsch's theme song is something you can't stop listening to. We need more bangers like that. Oh my god. We we out here soul-sucking dudes. Nothing gay about it. No, nothing gay. First Kirsch stream joins when talking about cock. Something seems right. <laughs> That's not a common topic unless there's something wrong with it. If a guy doesn't know how to use his fingers on you, then can he call himself a gamer? 
I mean, like, when you when you start playing a new game, you're gonna have a learning curve, right? Like, you're not gonna be very proficient at the beginning, but as long as you can learn quickly, you can put your previous skills to use. <laughs> Jordan Gant! Thank you for the $10 doodles! I make you miss your ex-girlfriend, Foxy Woman. She once let you boil used pads, and it made this thick black red broth, and you drank it. Please tell me you're joking. Please, 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 pl I need, I need you to tell me that that isn't something that you did. I like, I, I need to have that reassurance in my life. <laughs> I have no idea what I decided to just come into. You scared my first subscriber who's been here for 65 months. Shut up. Silly woman. Nim. Uh, Nim. Explode that man's Nim. penis! Yeah. What the fuck, dog? Oh, I'm, I need a, I need a second. I gotta eat some eggs after that. Some eggs dipped in ketchup. Hold on. They're kind of cold. <laughs> Best marriage is when a guy powers through his day, the sole purpose of getting back to banging his wife. Wanna. Exactly. Exactly. I want I want a man that is just like I need to get through this work day because I need to come home and bang my fox woman. That's the that's the kind of guy that I need in my life. Rubadub, thank you for the tier three fourteen month threesome. Thank you. You were eating those eggs two hours ago. I don't like eating on stream. It makes me very anxious, so I tend to just leave my food here until it gets cold, and then I get sad, but I eat it anyway. Stop, I'll get my visa. <laughs> Time to activate the penile flaying chamber. Ah. I have finished my gamer subs. Gamer gamer subs for only the largest of gamers. Look at look at me playing this video game by tapping one button every 20 minutes. French and German, where's your sausage? I actually don't like foreskin on my food. Foreskin belongs on men, not food. Shove it all in your mouth at once and be done with it. I can't do that! I have a small mouth. <laughs> Kira, have you ever tried yakisoba? It's like ketchup, but more powerful. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Gamer subs and ketchup omelet. A true Michelin star combination. True and real! You're out of gamer subs. They still haven't shipped the Shy Lily Metal Cup. I don't know when it's supposed to ship, but they usually have, like, a couple of months buffer period to get all of the, the cups, like, made and in stock. Um. Gamer subs. I was drinking... I have been drinking Jujutsu Kaisen mixed with uh, dragon fruit for, like, the past week now. I'm, like, on a kick of mixing those two together. I really like the taste and the colors of pretty pastel purple. She likes her hot dogs circumcised, but not her himbos. I'm I'm ambivalent. I'm ambivalent. You mix pineapple subs with the OJ? Pretty good. Shy Lily with dragon fruit's pretty solid. You've been drinking purple for like a week. I don't like Shy Lily's flavor because I don't like the taste of coconut. I'm not a coconut flavor person. What are those? Not water. Hello, Salem Saber Hagen. Gamer subs is a gamer powder that you put in your water in order to get vitamins and caffeine. And they have delicious fruity flavors. And you can get your own gamer subs at 10% off with code Kirsha. Get 10% off your order. It's delicious. It's wonderful. Coconut Fox who hates coconut. Well, yeah, I'm not a fucking cannibal, you silly. Shondo had a cute ASM where she said, When you come home, you're not allowed to be upset about stupid things like work. Be happy to see me. And it made your whole view of work-life balance change. Yeah. Well, it's like, even if you are upset about something that happened at work, you should be happy to see me because you can vent to me about what happened at work and I can tell you how fucking dumb those other people are. Make you feel the betters. Is it cherry flavored? No, it's not cherry flavored. And Kirsha confirmed to not be into butthole blast. I'm not, I'm not into the butthole blast, dude. Always happy to see the fox. Always happy! And keep work at work and home at home. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even saying that. Like, I understand some guys have jobs. <laughs> 
where they have to take their work home. Like, I get it, dude. You've had two co-workers allergic to everything. The first one picked an energy drink and you wouldn't think have coconut in it. And he almost went to the ER. Jesus. Jesus. Is it strawberry flavor? No, I don't even know what you're asking is flavored. The the ju 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 the ju flavor is 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 uh, some raspberry tea kind of thing. It's delicious. And the dragon fruit is dragon fruit flavor. And I don't know what they taste like when you mix them together, but it's good. It's fucking good. Why is my OBS flashing? Why is my OBS flashing orange like it gave me some sort of alert? There's not there's nothing here. What are you doing? But Kirsha tastes like strawberries. Maybe one day we'll have scratch and sniff abilities for VTuber streams. <laughs> you two are not big into the butthole blast gamer subs flavor. A oh, sloppy! Eh? Thank you for the 50 bucks. Your wife and you started talking after a recent round and you asked her seriously, what would she want to do? After a long silence, she looked at you and said that she wanted to watch you jerk off. Then added, or then you added, as long as you could finish on her deal. Yeah, I've, uh... I've had I've had dudes in in the uh, in in the past that I dated that were just like I kind of just want to watch you uh, do yourself and I'm just like well sure I guess if that's enjoyable for you but like may maybe maybe you could like finish uh, at the same time or something I don't know you know make make it make it good for me too <laughs> get give get what she wants. <laughs> Lazy? I don't think it's lazy. I don't think it's lazy at all. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's just like an interesting dynamic. All right, okay. Mutual masturbation's kind of hot. Not gonna lie. Yeah, right. It's supposed to be a team game. Self stretch is a warm up. I, you know, <laughs> could be self esteem issues. I don't think. I don't think it's a self esteem thing at all. I think. I think that's from the perspective I have, and from the person who was asking me at the time. Uh. It's it's more like an obsession kind of thing. Where where like they are so enamored with you and your relation with them intimacy wise that they they want to see you pleasuring yourself while looking like at them. And it's not even like in a narcissistic way. And usually usually you know it, they can't go the whole time without you without wanting to do something, but it's still just like it comes from an endearing p place, depending on the person. So, like in my experience, it was it was like a, an endearing position. Saint Sally of two comes. The ideal day, morning. The wife works up her man to a fever pitch and sends him off to work. <laughs> Through the day, he works like he's possessed by a demon, <laughs> earning a promotion. Returns home and unloads all of his pent up frustrations on slaying the beast. True! GD, true and real. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. Well, thank you, thank you. I typically I typically try to be aware, right? Like if, if my dude has work in the morning, I'm not gonna like try to wake him up in the middle of the night by like slowly touching him until he is rock fucking solid and has to wake up. I feel like that'd be a little rude to, to do that when he has work the next day. But if it's a weekend, I'm fucking up your sleep. You you are not getting a full night's rest. <laughs> Sometimes there's nothing better than a job well done. Yeah, and that would be rough on a work night. Weekends fine. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have a little bit of realistic tendencies in your brain when you're thinking about this shit. <laughs> Plapping ensues. Oh my god, curious about my opinion on working from home. Companies say it's more sociable to meet IRL, but fuck two-hour commutes. I think if you can do your job from home, and you don't have a loss of productivity. Right? Like, we've seen all these TikToks and shit of people working from home where they just, like, you know, t l sign into work and then sleep on their couch or whatever. If you're actually able to keep up your productivity while working from home, you should be able to. Absolutely should be able to. You hate that your work is going to force us back into work this fall as you work more proficient at home? Yeah. And I, I think, like... I think there's very few people who would actually benefit from being back in the office... And the people that it would benefit are typically the ones who would take advantage of the fact that they can slack off while at home. But I work weekends. Half and half seems good, actually. Yeah. Go to work, go home, keep shit to yourself. No, 
If you had a bad day at work, I want you to talk to me about it. I don't want you to be all, like, compartmentalizing all on your own. Probably find ways to slack off at work, too, so should probably be fired. Probably. Pro it's pot probably, you know? It's an introvert versus extrovert kind of thing. I mean, if you're an extrovert, couldn't you just, like, get in a Zoom call and do work with your fucking co-workers if you really needed the people around you? You seem to only date psychos. Girls you've been with would wake you up just to make you choose if she's more important. What the fuck? What the- what the fuck? What the hell? I try- I always try my best to not, like, wake somebody up unless I genuinely have to. Because it's like, I don't want to fuck up with your sleep, dude. Unle unless, again, you know, I'm super horny and it's not a work night for you. Then- then, in that case, it's fair game, dude. <laughs> Out of curiosity, if I found a new MMO, would I be the heel slut or the him- I'd be a heel slut. I used to- I used to play, like, dual blade classes. I loved playing assassin classes. Uh, then after my static back in Ion made me re-roll into Cleric because they couldn't find a Cleric to heal for PvE stuff, I never looked back, dude. I never went back to playing Assassin classes. Healer- Healer just felt so fucking good. Your company became permanent partial. Back to work and rest work from home seems fine. Being woken up for the day with some sexy time is acceptable, to be fair. Exactly. And you can always nap in the middle of the day, too. It's not a big deal. It's a weekend. You would love someone like that just so you don't hit her in the face someday. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? Ooh, Lutila, thank you for the dollar. Egg! Yeah, you're right. I should take another bite of my egg. I should do that because I keep not... Ow. Oh god, that one had a lot of pepper on it. Oh god, my mouth. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh! Ooh, that was peppery! My tongue hurts! Okay. Alright, we're good. <laughs> White woman moment! I like douse my food in pepper because I fucking love black pepper, dude. I love it. Uh, but when it gets cold, it gets very potent. Uh, black pepper when it's cold is very, very potent. All right, okay. <laughs> How do you hurt yourself eating? Uh, I, I feel like I do that pretty frequently. Can we snort the gamer subs for maximum caffeine absorption? I feel like you shouldn't do that. I feel like you probably shouldn't snort the gamer subs. Fresh cracked peppers, fantastic. Yeah, it is. In the UK, their taco seasoning has to have an extra mild flavor because mild is too spicy for them. I'm okay with just mild salsa, probably because that's what I lost my my pepper allergy to. Kira can hurt herself just from sitting there doing nothing. True, true. It's really a talent. If you want maximum absorption, just take it anally. What is wrong with you? Why would you say that? You absorb it worse if you snort it. What is my team for the meta fight at the moment? Uh, I don't have one because I keep forgetting. Oh, wait, no, meta. I thought you were talking about the challenge mode. Uh, I have no idea. I, I've had the same meta ship fleet shit for like months. I don't think I've changed it for a very long time. Um... Okay, that was a bit too big of a bite. It was a bit too big, but it's okay. I'm done with eggs now. Oh, God. Caffeine is actually absorbed really poorly through the anus. You need like three to four times the amount to get the same alertness. KB, how do you know that? First off. Second off. Is that why people can do coffee enemas frequently? Because they won't take too much caffeine from it? You're proud of me for eating on stream? Maybe this can be the start of something great! No. No. People do coffee enemas? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a thing for many years. It was like... There was like a My Strange Addiction episode or some shit. <clears throat> Where like a husband and wife... Oh god! Oh god, the pepper. 
Or like a husband and wife are addicted to coffee enemas together. So uh, yeah, it's a it's a thing. Also, this was this was off center and it was bothering me. There we go. She's dying. I had a little I had a little peppercorn touch the back of my throat it's and tickle it. Time? Milk enema is worse for making your cereal. Not according to porn. <laughs> I just remember when Kirsha tried to draw that one mukbang guy's ass on stream and Nim yelled at her. He... He prevents me from losing my monetization. Thank you, Nimothy, for your service. What is this, a video game? Yeah, it's kind of background images. <laughs> Help. Black Pepper Enema sounds like a grunge metal band. It does. Yeah, it does. Milk enema? Yeah, there's a there's a lot of those. Eating the cereal out of the asshole is based. I don't know I don't know about based, but it's it seems to be something a lot of people do. Bless that poor bastard, he was like five seconds away from screaming. Azure Lane is the game that makes lollies mainstream. I'm I'm okay with a handful of the lolly ships in this game, but the ones that are like actual kindergartners, that's kinda fucking weird. That's kind of that's kind of fucking weird to me. All right, okay. So I just I just leave those ones in the dock. <laughs> They're adorable. They're for head petting, but some of their some of their outfits like it's kind of weird. Tootie butt. It looks like it's made for coffee and chat. <laughs> chat. Drinking a cocktail out of the asshole is based. You're not supposed to put alcohol in someone's ass. It absorbs too quickly. That's bad. Are the lolly ships destroyers or battleships? Battleships typically have big booba. Most of the lollies are either destroyers or submarines. Kirsha docks with the lollies. What's wrong with you, chat? What's wrong with you? Did you walk into an episode of Human Centipede Story? That's just what the government wants you to think. It's honestly the first time you've ever seen Azure Lane gameplay. I mean, as much as you can call it gameplay, I guess. <laughs> submarines because they're below the surface. One of the German destroyers with the panty shot unnerves you, but you would adopt the Mutsuki, Mutsukis? Is, uh, is that like U556 or whatever? The one that had the fucking camel toe uh, loading screen? Someone needs to sell food grade plug bowls and give me 10% commissions for the idea. Mind break. If it was a plug bowl, that would be more like a gape. That, what? What do you mean? Bowls are big. Based butt chugging. What is wrong with you, chat? <laughs> I think this game is what being schizophrenic looks like. What do you mean by this? Is weird playing a game but going butt the lollies? I was just like, I don't, I don't care if other people like them. I just think that it's, it's weird that they're wearing the kid in the gardener outfits and they actually look like like toddlers. I don't care if people like them. I just like, I find it a little weird. <laughs> No A plug with a bowl attached. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Give me mommy Frederick. Yeah, I've, it's just like the battleship one. Yeah, and then turn around and have BBs like Nagato and Warspite, and it's like, well, big battleship, not big booba after all. I fucking love Nagato. Nagato is very cute. She has one of my favorite uh, wedding outfits in the game. It's very cute. There's an aqua ship. Yeah, uh, the Hollow Live collab had a whole bunch of a whole bunch of girls put in the game. And Aqua is a submarine. All well, the enema talk makes sense, but wanting to fuck an Arle Burke class guided missile destroyer is a bit out there for me. <laughs> you like the carrier fox twins the best. Nagato is for head pets. Yes, Nagato is for head pets and protecting. I love Nagato. Very cute. Very cute. Nagato is beautiful, but she's not big booba. A fan art of her makes her amazing. I can only imagine. This is not the ideal time for eating. Then again, you've been to lunches with surgeons having shop talk. Oh god. Aren't those the protect and yes, Lolita no touch types? I would hope so. I would hope so. Best lolly characters are in horror settings, to be honest. Lolly characters in horror settings are actually terrifying. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> Baltimore best girl, you'll straight up knife fight anyone who disagrees. I wouldn't say best girl, but I do love Baltimore quite a bit. I, I, I'm pretty sure I have like every skin for Baltimore. Best uh, best descent, or your descent into D-Gen began with Can Cole, so Nagato can't not be a tough big girl. Not the Z-Lolly. <gasps> oh my god. Bremerton is your- I like Bremerton a lot, too. I like Bremerton a lot. 
It's very funny how Can Cole Nagato is pure sex, but Azure Lane Nagato is literally daughter material. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Royal Navy is best faction. Their booba game is off the charts. The French faction's my favorite. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Which French faction? Both of them. I love them both. <laughs> Emden is perfect. Emden's really cute. Emden is really cute. You're not going to live long. What do you mean? You prefer Sylvetskaya Belarusia, partly because she looks like Esdeath. Oh. Prince Eugen is your undisputed favorite of the cast. Proud to have her as your first oath. I like my my favorite ship in the game that is for all intents and purposes useless. It's Concord. Con Concord is a lovely fucking boat built for foot bros. But unfortunately, she's not a good boat. You love the yandere's in this game, especially Rune. Motherfucking Taiho, she's literally me for real for real. You don't gotta invite me over to your house. Don't worry, I already made a key. <laughs> Pippa could easily be an improved raft, like what Tom Hanks uses on the Castaway movie to leave the island. What are you talking about? What are you t what what? You're still waiting for Admiral Hipper to get a retrofit. I wish they would bring out retrofits more often. I'm I'm like a little sad that they've been forgoing retrofits to make more meta ships, but like. I guess you have to have something to grind for in the fucking in the in the fucking meta area. I don't know. I like I like the retrofits. I've never been into Yandere's, but then they released Golden Hind and her dialogue and design did things to you. I love Taiho. You're still annoyed the full Muse songs aren't available in the Yostar shop? I haven't paid attention to any of the music stuff in the game, to be fair. And like Akagi and Kaga, you even bought them oath rings because you love their wedding yukatas. I kind of wish some of the older um, oath artwork would get like updated, because the new oath artwork has been absolutely fucking crazy, and it makes the old oath art look I don't know a little dated, I guess. You have your Leipzig at one twenty-five, and oath never regretted it. Her outfit as a waitress is also fantastic. Are there muscular women in Azure Lane? Muscle women are pretty cute. I can't think of any with, like, really prominent muscles. Frenchie, thank you for the 199. HMS Hood, best girl. Baltimore, second best. I like Massa Choo 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 Choo. <laughs> you oath Taiho ASAP. Yeah, she's one of my oaths as well. Azure Lane tier list for next midnight stream. God damn. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. That'd be way hard. You played one waifu collect game. This is this is the waifu collect game that owns my heart. Like I kind I kind of wish there was like more gameplay to it than just the like AFK kind of kind of bullet hell stuff. But I don't know. Maybe 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 that'll scratch my itch when the uh, the Azure Promilia thing comes out. Yeah, the favorite's Owari. Owari da. Played Crystal Maidens, a sex-based RTS game. What the hell? You had to know with Nagato because she be cute in that outfit. Her oath skin is so fucking cute. It's so fucking cute! Nagato is for protecting. I love Nagato. You hate AFK games and clickers. Typically, same, but I'm very glad that I can have Azure Lane do most of it AFK. Because I just don't have time to actively play it the majority of the time. No AFK for you. Love the fan art for this game, though. Hood has an amazing One Piece swim scoot, swim shoot skin. Crystal Maidens was on Nataku. It was semi fun. I haven't heard of it. I haven't heard of it. Speaking of haven't heard of it, run down. Thank you for the twenty dollar doodles. Can we get a cannibalism mukbang? Uh, well, I don't want to be a cannibal, but uh, if I ever do try human flesh, I guess I should do it as a mukbang. Ben Grogan, thank you for the two euro. Can Cole Nutsu, best waifu, fight me? I think it's funny that back in the day, I was just like, why would, why would you like boats that are waifus? That doesn't make any sense. They're not women, they're ships. And then, you know, years later, I started playing Azure Lane. And now I can't imagine my life without my boat waifus. Imagine. Imagine c c wondering why people... Why people would pay money for high-res PNGs, and now it is me who pays money for high-res PNGs. <laughs> Joined and the first thing you heard was cannibalism mukbang. Welcome. We've been talking about cannibalism here for years. <laughs> Jeff is not. Thank you for the seven month member. You leave it to die. Do not. Do not. Trev, thank you for the five dollars. Kier's giving this a lot of thought. Somewhere 
There's a hard drive full of self-insert stories about eating himbo meat and Pippa ears. Pippa, Pippa ears would be very good fried with like a, a vegetable stir fry, in my opinion. You remember when I first started this game? Hello! Hello! Yeah, it's been, it's been a hot fucking minute. I used to, I used to like stream in the Azure Lane category. That's, uh, that's actually how I met my, my, my 3D model mama back in the day. She was, uh, she was dating a Azure Lane streamer that I watched and talked in their chat pretty frequently. Have I ever thought about frying potato peels? No! Potato peels are good on french fries if the rest of the potato is there too. Are Pippa ears like the elephant ears you can get at the fairground? Yeah! Yeah, but they probably don't taste like the elephant ears. <gasps> if a fox girl eats a fox and a human, which meat is more cannibalistic? I mean, I feel like they both would be equal, right? <gasps> you don't even need seasoning the mold spores. Add enough spice. True! True and real. Nylock7, thank you for the $10 doodles. Interesting how all these studies casually ignore prion disease, and that is how it primarily spreads. Can you get the prion disease if you eat human meat other than the brain? Like, I thought it was just from the brain that you got the prions. Ulrich is also cute as fuck. Love you, your German spooter girl. I love Prince Anelbert. She is also one of my favorite waifus. She was, uh, she was someone that I owed pretty much immediately after I got her to max affection. Her, her live 2D skin, actually fucking nuts. I love her. To be fair, is that just from brain meat? Imagine owning and running a Walmart. If if Pippa owned a Walmart, I would shop there. I would shop at Pip Mart. <gasps> oh no, now I'm sad. Now I'm sad that like Phase Connect has it its own singular shop for all the talents and they don't have an offshoot. Imagine if she she needs to have she need hold on. I don't I don't know which hold on. I need to she needs Pip Mart as a domain name. Pippa, please buy Pip Mart. <laughs> That's a domain name. I don't know what you do with it, but you should have it. <laughs> Someone found Pippa t-shirts at Hot Topic? Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool that there's a collab for her shirts at Hot Topic. That, is, that must be so fucking surreal to see your merch not just online, but in like a physical fucking brick and mortar shop. That is, that is like literal goals right there. I'm very proud of the Peeba and hopefully one day I can be there too. She just spent $1,500 on lewd dockies and posters. I was watching. I was watching. I hope, I hope that she can wrap herself in my blanket and I can wrap myself in her blanket at the same time. And it'll be like we're touching one another. <laughs> oh my God. And Pip Mart would just be a page that redirects to the Fades Connect store page for her merch. Oh, you know, that would be a good idea if you have it reconnect to the Fades page. But you really shop at Pip Mart? It feels dangerous with all the shootings. The shootings make it more fun! You're, you're shopping with an experience. It's like a safari. Will I get eaten by a tiger or will I get really good pictures, you know? <laughs> Don't know if she needs a store named Pip Mart, considered what she said she'd do to the store that hers is a parody of. In Minecraft, of course. The shootings are part of the charm, okay? <gasps> Damaged items are discounted. <gasps> you break it, you get shot. <laughs> Hot Topic Club was announced long ago, but people didn't realize they'd have merch in the physical locations. Yeah, I, I, I like remember something about Hot Topic being posted on Twitter ages ago, but it's still really fucking cool to see it in stores. Like, that's really fucking cool. Only a matter of time before you have a shirt in Spencer's. Oh, Jesus. I want I want to do more, like, you know, really, really anime-coded merch. But I also I also have had in mind, much like Fillion did with her merch collection, I want something more subtle as well. So, like, people, people don't immediately look at you and go, like, look at that filthy fucking weeb. You know, it can just look like normal fucking clothing. I like I like that kind of merch too, like the subtle stuff. And I've had a lot of ideas for clothing over the years, so I'm hoping I'm hoping maybe once I can figure out how to do merch, I can start putting my ideas into action, as it were. Hot Topic has done a lot of cool collabs throughout the years. I can only imagine. I stopped paying attention to Hot Topic uh, like after college, basically. Kirsha Daki when. So TM. If you haven't seen it, my, the artist who is doing my docky posted another preview on her Twitter, and it looks fucking stunning. It looks fucking stunning, chat. Uh, I can't post it, I don't think. <laughs> I don't. I don't know.
know how much is revealed on it. I don't know if Ziz is here to post the link. Is it is it too revealing for Twitch or can I show it? Fast forward to tomorrow so we can see the new model. You fuzzy coconut! I don't I don't want tomorrow's stream to go on too too long because I know Pippa <laughs> is doing a model debut as well. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to like not not do too too long of a stream. Ziz is touching grass. Shit. Fuck. The artist is good, right? No, this artist is wonderful. The the artist doing my docky art is the same artist who did the uh, butt pad uh, artwork. She's done illustrations for me throughout the years as well. None of, none of them had been commercial before until recently. Uh, but she is she is a wonderful wonderful artist, and I was dead fucking set. Like I, if I had to cut off one of my limbs in order for her to do docky art for me, I would have. Like I, I would have. When I when I was talking to uh, like my uwu market people about pricing for stuff, uh, they were just like, "Yeah, you pay you paid uh, way more than we ever would have considered for a docky as far as the artwork goes." And it's just like I don't care. Like I I know I paid a metric fuck ton for the docky art. And it will be a long time before I make that back, even when the dockies go on sale. Uh, but it is absolutely worth it to me. You can't, you can't do that for every design, or you will very quickly run out of money, right? But like, I'm allowed one questionable financial decision for the sake of merch because I was dead fucking set on having this artist. Thank you, KB, for posting her her Twitter in the chat. Thank you for posting her Twitter. If you're curious about the most recent update on the docky art she is she has posted it on her twitter and uh i i would not have had art by anyone else i was i was very dead set <gasps> Silvani, thank you for the 300 bitties jsock and now you let your idols have two outfit debuts i'm not in the company <laughs> yeah i don't think you can show that i don't i don't remember where she cut off the preview at so i'm like i can't remember hey, boy, fuck along. It's sad Pippa couldn't order it. Ah, you know. <laughs> the fox who cake. Yeah, and my, my docky is going to have uh, three different designs. Because I like the customer being able to choose what is right for them. And I've seen tiered dockies on other websites like Cuddly Octopus. So I was like, that's what I want to do. So you can choose your level of lewdness for your docky Makara where you can have either front and back fully clothed, a lingerie version, or a fully nude version. Depending on what your preference is, there are levels of lewdness for you. That's very lewd, you love it. <laughs> yeah, so so I made I made sure that there there was a fully clothed docky as well for people who don't like, you know, too much nudity and just like the cute magical girls. And then I did lingerie for people who like, you know, the the spice, the spiciness. And I was like, you know what? Some people like fully nude, so let's let's fucking send it and do a fully nude one as well. Weird going from owning zero to three dockies at once. I have no idea what they will be priced at because that'll entirely depend on who I have as a manufacturer, how I manage to set up merch. But like, I'm I'm trying my best, chat. <laughs> send one to Pippa for the lols. <laughs> Lingerie better than nude. I, I also, you know, really like lingerie. I'm a huge lingerie person, but some, some people really like nude. And on the nude version, there's going to be, like my butt pad, there's going, there's going to be a bit of, a bit of shibari action going on. Just to, just to, you know, break up the monotony of the pristine white skin of the foxy. Full send it, then give the titties. <laughs> what updates in merch store and when? I, I haven't figured out how to do the the mouse pad or uh, the docky yet. Uh, it's 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 rough to figure out how to do merch on your own. <gasps> lingerie is more tasteful. I just I like lingerie, dude. Based Shibari. <laughs> this will be the first docky you own. I'm glad you guys are excited and really I'm I'm sorry it's taking me so long. I know I know there's a handful of things from from the Donathon I still have to get to. Don't worry, I am beating myself up enough that it's going on, uh, you know, it's going to be almost a year here since the start of the Donathon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please don't hate me. Star Phoenix, thank you for the $2. Wow, Sally, your V Chuba lets you have three dockies. Stop mindworming on it, we're patient. I'm mindworming because it's taken a long fucking time. I know I'm just one fox woman, but still. <laughs> Watching Pippa use the sensor bar. Yeah, right? <laughs> Someone will buy all three, so they have one for formal events and two for at home. They'll have one for sleeping with and two to hang up on their wall, you know? <laughs> 
Time for another I'm sorry a thon. Oh my god. The big made up cat. Oh jeez. Ghost! Ghost 1995. Thank you for the 300 biddies, dude. Thank you. Vash Cooks. Another Vash. Thank you for the two month three sub. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Vash man. Happy Easter. Hey, Kirsha in a ballroom yeah. gown, Docky. I mean, I have I have plans for, for more, you know, full coverage kind of stuff like that in the future, but not on a Docky. I don't think it would work on a docky because of the canvas size. The Emperor, thank you for the tier two sub, my guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any and that paranoia saved you from being scammed out of 4K. Don't feel bad about being reasonably careful. I mean, that's true. That's true and fair. True and fair. You're actually fulfilling the goals you set instead of cutting with the money. Impossible. I mean, it's it's been it's been slow moving for some of the goals, which is why I feel bad, especially some of the goals that like in theory should be easy but like have not have not been you're gonna pimp your rifle of dank kirsch stickers i cannot wait until i get a car peeker i i really want to do car accessory stuff as well like uh, like fucking car mats and peekers and decals really want to do that stuff Peppa in a ballroom gown. Please, let's keep things in the realm of pseudo-reality. They're talking about me, Star Phoenix! Yo, stinky! <laughs> You'd commit war crimes for a Kirsha peeker? Yeah. Yeah, the UV resistant decals. What the hell is a peeker? A peeker sticker is just like a, a cute, like, chibiified head that's like peeking. Uh, that you can put on your, put on your car. <laughs> put the Korsha on the Porsche! Yeah! Car mat sounds nice. Not sure you'd want a peeker. I, I mean, I think the peekers are really cute, and if you put stickers on your windows, you know, that's that's a thing that you would get. But I've seen I've seen a company that does car mats, and uh, I'm I'm tentative about doing like maybe some sort of like one-off drop with them to do like a car a car specific kind of set. But I don't I don't know. You know, I got I got to focus on like the the Doki Makara and the the mouse pad stuff first before I get ahead of myself. <coughs> A Korsha Itasha would be cool. Jesus Christ. You're getting old words you've never heard make you cringe? I don't know what that means. Andres Sierra, thank you for the five dollars. Don't think we need to censor them, but we don't need to be as tolerant as we have been. Pre-culture war. I think we've been a little bit too tolerant. I think we've been a little too tolerant and people have taken advantage of that tolerance. Meat of the Sea, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Just got back from touching grass. You glad you were here for Pip Mart? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Pickled cucumber, thank you for the two dollars. Kirsha Daki with the booty hole wrinkles sold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Howdy doodly champion. Thank you for the four ninety nine. The best wrestling shirts are shirts you don't know are wrestling shirts is a saying you're familiar with. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Ben Grogan, thank you for the two pounds. Kenko Mutsu, best waifu. Oh, I think I read that already, but you get a double thank you, my guy. Thank you. Short Bush Arrow, they give the 279 Canadians. Kirsha Bomber pinup decal titled Lil Cherry Bomb. It's funny you say that. I have a bunch of references for a pinup art that I would like to do, but again, I, I can't keep reaching out to artists to get stuff made until I figure out how to do merch. I gotta I gotta get the basics down before I just gobble up a ton of artists. Are we playing hentai games on stream? No, this isn't a hentai game. What the fuck? You like the nude side dockies because you sleep like that? Your sheets are super soft for you not to? I recently got mulberry silk uh, pillowcases for my hair. Oh my god, they're so fucking comfortable. Oh my god, I can just like slide my face against it all fucking night. I love it so much. Remember, mercy to the guilty is cruelty to the innocent. <laughs> Are the doggy pillow or pillow? I say pillow. I say pillow. Jeff is not. Thank you for the 25 Canadians. Americans got sleepy. And Americans have a premium to fix it. Monarch is rights are man-made. I can't parse that sentence, but I feel like this was during the, the Spoon Man collab where he was trying to trying to argue about monarchy. I don't really want to talk about monarchy since it's not something I really have a lot of experience with. I just prefer having the checks and balances we're supposed to have in our country, even if they've failed us for the last uh, who knows how long at this point. Uh, if, if things are working correctly, I, th I think a constitutional republic would work out pretty well. But unfortunately, it's not. Could you imagine an Azure Lane of Rogue? That would be so wild what kind of stuff such a game could do. Oh my god. A spoon. <laughs> you miss silk? I love the silk. 
Someone at your apartment has a Queen Elizabeth peeker on their car? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Can you imagine an Azure Lane? I already read that. It'd be amazing if you could commission Jeremy Klein, the founder of Hookup Skateboards, to make you a pinup. I don't know who that is, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if he even takes commissions. You wish they made an eroge for this? The thing, the thing with like some artists that are that are really, really good at what they do as well is like even if they do commissions, it could be an inordinately expensive price because they can charge that for their time. And you have to think about, again, like the, the costs analysis. I, I have already spent way above any kind of reasonable budget for a docky. So I can't keep dropping like thick, thick bands, as the kids would say, on, uh, on artwork that would take me months, if not years, to recover, to just break even. Speaking of art, if day five after your comment in VTuber making, did a design learning to rig and move it. Hey! Hell, congratulations! I'm glad you're learning, dude. Downside of Bonarchy is it only takes one guy to become corrupt and screw things up. Upside is there only one guy you need to take out to fix it. True. True. The, gu the guillotine doesn't have to work overtime in, in those uh, situations. Fat stacks on hella art. Hookups, hook, hookups decks were all anime themed because the guy liked big titty anime women. Understandable. Like how the community would find an opportunity from other community to open a conversation about sounding whilst the VTuber is sharing personal experience. What are you talking about? Kirsha trying to not become like the skeb addicted pre-debuts. I hate skeb, so you don't have to worry about that. If if a Japanese artist has their DMs open and they accept skebs, I would rather DM them and deep L translate into Japanese to try and commission them than use skeb. If they prefer me to pay them through Skeb, I will still do it, but I would rather commission them off of that website. What's Skeb? Skeb is like a gotcha game that you pay with real money and you get artwork. You don't, you don't really, like you can give them a prompt, but there's nothing that says they have to follow that prompt. And you're not, you like, you don't get any work in progresses. You're not allowed any changes and you're not allowed any communication with the artist whatsoever. The one time I used Skeb, uh, I wasn't given the transparent files that I had asked for. So basically my money went to waste because trying to make them transparent was really fucking difficult. Skeb is a scam. If you if you want something that's like Skeb where you can browse artists, because I would suggest VGen. Like VGen unfortunately it. just has Western that artists. It doesn't have Japanese it. artists on it as well. But it's much better than Skeb is because you're actually allowed to communicate with the artist. Thanks for the recommend. Your chainsaw hates you? AFK made you feel like you were wired. Wait, hold on, what? The AFK should make you feel sleepy. Not, not wired. Hold on, wait a minute. Said Sherry Max, thank you for the five dollars. Hey, thank you. So that's what, yeah, Skeb is basically like a, a, a an art lottery. You got super lucky with Skeb. You paid 350 for your profile picture. Yeah, uh, there, there are people who will like pay for a Skeb and then it'll take them like a year or more to even get their artwork sometimes. Skeb is AI art, but it costs a thousand dollar minimum per generation. <laughs> that's that's also I, I, mean, I wouldn't want to compare like real artists to AI art, but it, it's like it, it, it's a gotcha system, basically. You were sad Nyaru couldn't make your squibby. What do you mean? Hayden, thank you for the 20 bucks. Maybe you can talk to the My Pillow guy into producing your docky. He used to be a crackhead, so it's a greater than zero chance, I'd say. Didn't didn't something happen like with their warehouse recently where they didn't pay rent or some shit? Zenik, thank you for the 70 czar. Spoonman is a bit turned around on monarchies. The Vortrekkers left Europe for South Africa to get away from the monarchies. The country worked fine with enclaves until they banded to form big government. Yeah, I feel like what's going on in South Africa while needing hella correction, uh, I, I don't think it would be fixed with a monarchy. But again, this would be wading into territory where I do not know enough about what I'm talking about. I'm not from South Africa. I only like know a bit about it tangentially and about like um, when when fucking oh God, what's his name? I never I can remember. How can I remember Umkanto Vesizve, but I can't remember the name of the fucking guy that led them. Like, every, everybody knows that guy's name, and yet I can't remember it. And yet I remember Umkanto Vesizve. How is that even possible? Nelson Mandingo. Thank you, Azehara. Nelson Mandela. That fucking guy. <laughs> How do I remember the name of his propaganda military that would execute political dissidents, but I can't remember his name? 
That's actually fucking phenomenal. What is wrong with my brain? The Mandela effect. Coney's the only good thing from South Africa. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. But yeah, it's just it's just not something I have like a ton of knowledge on, so I wouldn't want to like speak as some sort of authority when I just I need I need to know more, you know. Just gotta be sure whatever monarchy exists doesn't have Prince Andrews or Prince Harry's. <laughs> Reminder that Nelson Mandela was a terrorist and apartheid was agreed upon by the natives. Everything was better then. I mean, again, it would, it's it's something I don't have like a total total amount of knowledge on. It's a streaming debuff, yeah. The longer you stream, the more brain cells you lose, unironically. Un- unironically? <laughs> Brominated vegetable oil! Thank you for the $20. The system matters less than how far responsibility and authority became untethered. When those with authority exist in a state divorced from responsibility, the more corrupted subjects cannot correct abuse from authority. I think my brain died with how many times responsibility and authority were repeated. The system matters less than how far responsibility and authority became untethered. When those with authority exist in a state divorced from responsibility, the more corrupt as subjects cannot correct abuse from authority. I think it might be the more corrupt as subjects that's, that's catching me off guard, because like... I can I can understand the when those with authority exist in a state divorced from responsibility like they just they just feel like they can continue taking advantage, right? Because if if there's no if they're not being held responsible for any of their like shitty actions, uh, then they like what's gonna stop them from going further, right? You think what he means is ooh oh bratty government needs correction? Yeah yeah I I can agree to that one. <laughs> Jeff is not thank you for the twenty Canadians. No spoon, you arrest people for thinking you're out. Merrick Vespa, they give you the $20. Thanks for everything, Miss Verstal. May you shine like a beam and your smile ever gleam on this and every stream. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you. That sweet poem. All you know about South Africa is that you have lighter skin. You need to be highly aware of your surroundings, even more so if you're a woman because of racial tension. Yeah. Yeah. Authority without responsibility is tyranny. Responsibility without authority is just random abuse. Mm -hmm. Kirsch's brain making the 56k modem connection noises. I like those noises. They're comforting. Zenic, they give the 70s czar. 70 South African rands, Kirsha. Spoon, South Africa's not a democracy. Never trust anyone who wants power. Look at South Africa. The ANC didn't hate apartheid. They just wanted to be in charge of it. Honor honorable member. Responsibility without authority is slavery. Hello, lovely Foxy from Boston. First time chatter and stream watcher. Hello. Hello. Trying to be a white farmer in South Africa is suicidal. Yeah, things have been uh, getting kind of wild there. GK01 reconnect. Thank you for the 14, Czar. Spoon Man is a fellow based South African. Nice. Always, always fun to meet people from South Africa. I love, I love seeing like pictures and videos of how shit is down there. Shit is, shit is wild to me. Did I hear that Sleepy Joe made today International Transgender Day? Yeah, they needed another one. I already made the invisibility joke the other day. South African is the sexiest accent. I don't know about that. I mean, it sounds pretty good. I don't know about sexiest, though. She's a streamer. What do you think? What? Kirsha, do you drink caffeine gamer sops or non-caff? It depends. I drink both. I have, I have containers of both. Been following an account of a security contractor down in SA for a year now. Shit is wild. Imagine. Imagine. Uncle Hall, they give it a 199 to my FBI monitor. I disavow any glowing I do here. That's a, that's a good message. DRT is king. They give it a $20 doodles. Uh. I can't. I'm not going to read that because I had to I had to tell Spoonman to fucking calm his ass down too. G Kaiser Vermillion, thank you for the two-month member. Spoonman, while I don't agree with your views, I can understand why you have them, and I respect that. Do not the Korsha! Look at this, what a good man. Do not the Korsha! Do not, DRT is king. Thank you for the 20. Keystone Excel Pipeline was losing Warren Buffett money, and he had a few green investor groups that were behind the Biden finances, were why the reason behind why that was canned, because of that, is why it was cancelled. 
Uh, I can't exactly parse everything you said here, but uh, yeah, again, I mean, I think I brought it up. Like, I, I don't think our pipeline should be canceled while then allowing Russia to continue build, building theirs. Seems, seems really weird. Men, conceal thy power levels. There are, there are certain things about your power level that you are not allowed to expose publicly. Lest you expose them publicly, you will be prevented from having finances. <laughs> Never really liked supplements much, but maybe you'll give gamer stuff to try. Shame all the good cups are sold out. They'll be they'll be Kirsha Cup soon, TM. Uh, artwork is supposed to be finishing up sometime soon here. Artist artist got sick, so we're we're a few few days. I, I appreciate the communication. I've never had issues with this guy, so no 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 pitchforks. Put them down, chat. <laughs> this is a, this is a good guy. Unironic, unfortunate, sick. Probably healthier than drinking store brand Coke all day. True, true. Gorbs, thank you for the five pounds. Those with power tend to have one goal, hold on to the power by any means. Which is why when, uh, during COVID, uh, when the Viktor Orban, I think is his name, the, the prime minister, whatever, president, I don't know what they call it, in Hungary, when, when he had, like, uh, absolute power during the COVID times, everyone was just like, oh, look at what he's doing, he's becoming a dictator and everything's gonna get worse in Hungary. And then after a while, he was just like, yeah, I don't, I don't really need this anymore. Let's just, uh, let's put, you know, the old rules back in place. Uh, I'm going to give up my, my overarching powers. And I was like, well, look at that. That's something even I didn't expect, right? Because, like, when you see someone doing that, you just expect them to hold on to the power that they, that they got by removing the other checks in their government. So the fact that he was just like, yeah, rescind all of this, we don't need it anymore, was really surprising to me. Most of you know about Africa is Far Cry 2 in the Heart of Darkness. Oh my god. When looking at politics, always remember you can't unshit your pants, only cover it up with Febreze. Andrew B, thank you for the five dollars. Monarchs are harder to control, but easier to regicide. You don't need a shadow government when you can be the next government. Uh, I would disagree with that because, I mean, again, look at how many advisors or other people close to, um kings and whatnot were the ones actually holding power and doing what they wanted with the government so it's like you you've definitely had shadow governments in monarchies before boomer wow thank you for the six month member states need to secede if this next election election by the way gets rigged i'll move if that becomes an option drt is king thank you for the 15 dollars doodles here we got elective governments are weak to bureaucratic bloat any solution will have to deal with that. The bureaucracy is the problem. Monarchies are best at dealing with that bureaucratic issue due to the fact that they're a direct threat to the sovereign. But that system has its own problems. Ultimately, there is no perfect solution, just series of bad solutions that you have to live with. But hi, Spoon, and do not the Kersha! Or Korsha, yeah. Do me, do not the fu furry woodland creature. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree. I don't think there's any, like, literal perfect solution that will always run without corruption. And I think to believe that there's a system that can run without corruption would be uh, basically the opposite end of the, the commie utopias people. Monarchies didn't even have absolute power back then. The church had a lot of control too much, like corpos today. True. True and fair. Mandatory beatings and poverty for all politicians would sure solve a lot, though. That's why That's why I still think that, like, while, while politicians obviously want to garner the favor of the population they're representing... They also should have the fear of pissing off that population. They, there should be repercussions for their bad actions. And there just aren't in, in our country as it is right now. None of the politicians have any fear of there being any backlash of anything happening. And now the Pope is a socialist. That changed during the Renaissance and Victorian days. The monarch had absolute power then. Politicians or royalty need to have fear indeed. They have to have some of it. You can't you can't rule without any fear whatsoever of your of your populace being unhappy with your ruling. Good morning, Mr. Kangaroo. Have a happy Easter. They should be scared of funny things happening when they go back to their community. They have successfully removed themselves. I don't know what you mean by that. I mean if they're if they're doing well, they shouldn't have fear, right? Tar and feather stocks have been down for too long. True. True. Government will never be altruistic. If men were angels, no government would be necessary. Also fair. Also true and fair. Joe Harris, I think the $2. Election day is November 5th this year. So poetic. It'll be an interesting time, dude. 
DRT is king. Thank you for the $20. There are a few leaders that govern for their people. Augusto Pinochet was an example. RGs have one now. And Trump also wants to be loved by the American population at large. It is Trump's greatest flaw and strength. I, I can agree with you there. I'm still... Like, I understand how he was hamstringed pretty frequently when he was in office last. But I, I dislike how he didn't want to look worse to the people trying to smear him already so he didn't go far enough with some of his initiatives and i i hope if he gets in uh this next election that he will not have that kind of empathy like he did before to be fair some of that was his fault his cabinet picks sucked when when you don't know who you can trust and you have people constantly lying to you i i can understand how he got fucked on some of his cabinet picks do you think four more years of Trump will be funny? He believed that the people opposing him could be redeemed? Yes, unfortunately. He can literally write the FBI and ATF out of existence using executive power? Yeah. That's why he'll do better if he gets in now? I, I hope he will. I, I don't know if he will, because there's also been years of uh, time for him to be re-educated and told, if you do these things, uh, we know how to ruin you specifically. It will be worse than last time. But who knows? Maybe, maybe he won't be afraid of that kind of stuff. We'll have to see. Enough leaders of useful money. Let's go. Let's go back to the uh, the event ground. Maximum, by the way. Maximum, by the way. Gorbs, thank you for the five pounds. You can get a gun in the UK if you can give a good reason for wanting one and undergo a background check by the police. I don't think I've ever met a person from the UK who has owned a gun. I also don't think I've met a person from the UK who doesn't think that gun ownership is like the devil. Like any any time guns got brought up in my chat, especially when I was a Terra streamer, everyone from the UK was just like hella cucked on guns. You don't think you've met a person from the UK? <laughs> He had a lot of traitors in his rank that actively lied to him. Yeah, unfortunately. Define good reason, right? The government will say you never have a good reason. That's why I hate the way Massachusetts gun rules work as well. Zenig, thank you for the 35 czar. Not colonialism, cultural exchange. If only. Boomer, wow, thank you for the five dollars. You're taking way too much damage here. Oh, no damage. Sergeant Buck, thank you for the five dollars. So it's bad if minors see kink online, but absolutely fine if they see it in public. Flawless logic. I don't know what we were talking about that would have veered into that direction, but it's not fine for minors to see kink online or seeing it in public. I have no idea what part of the conversation that was or what he was responding to someone saying. Shondo's from the UK and she's perfect. Someone's got to save her. Save her from the UK. Your problem is when they talk down to us for not being as cucked as they are with guns. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> alphabet people parade. I mean, maybe. I don't remember talking about the alphabet people with the spoon man, but maybe we did. JWT6577, thank you for the $5. Too many conservative ink guys like Matt still follow Limbaugh's we don't need to participate in leftism to win. Nonsense. You do it. You want to win. I, I only know Limbaugh as, like, the guy my grandfather listened to on the radio when, when he would drive me to my college classes. But, uh, I, I, I feel like the issue here isn't so much being too kind as it is just... Maybe, maybe it is being too kind, right? Because it's, like, taking the high road and not wanting to, like, lower yourself to, to what they're doing. But like I've said before, if they're going to draw the line in the sand, you shouldn't... You shouldn't be swayed by them being like, But this is against your principles! You should let me do it to you because it's not against mine! But if you do it, you're a hypocrite! It's like, well, you decided on the rules of engagement, and I'm not going to let you use my standards or morals against me. If you believe that this is okay to do to other people, then I will take that as it is okay to do back to you specifically. It's like... It's like, uh, when, pe when people on Twitter got angry, right, like Stone Toss, Stone Toss got doxxed, and he took it, he took it like a motherfucking champ, to be fair. But people got upset that the person who doxxed Stone Toss then got doxxed, and it's like, if you're going to participate in some kind of shit cunt behavior like that, I will feel no sympathy when people then come after you by the own rules of engagement that you drew. I don't think doxing is a good thing. I don't think it should happen. 
It's unfortunately a reality you deal with when there's like schizophrenics online. But if you're going to take the time and effort to dox someone and put their information out online, when it happens to you, you have no room to cry because you are the one who drew those rules of engagement. Was the dox even true? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea if it was even true. Buy Stone Toss this doll thing. I like, uh, I like, uh, Gator posted a picture of my Kirsha cube next to his weird soft serve ice cream doll. <laughs> There's dragons in Azure Lane for this event. Yeah, it's a, it's a, like an RPG game based event. Insulin, thank you for the 10 Canadians. If Trump gets voted in again, don't you realize that every trans person in America will be Thanos and the world will end in mass nuclear destruction? That is a price I am willing to pay. <laughs> Ve victus, woe unto the conquered. According to Null, the docks might not be Stone Toss, but a buddy of his. That would be even funnier. That would be even funnier. If you, if you like, put out someone, someone else's information claiming that they're Stone Toss, and then that person gets, like, really harassed over your inaccuracies. It kind of reminds me of how some YouTuber put out a picture of some chick and claimed it to be Pippa. Uh, and then that lady got doxxed. Man, you know, that's that's kind of funny. <laughs> ben Grogan, thank you for the five pounds. Britbong here, pro-gun peeps exist, but hide our power levels. The US wouldn't exist without the right to bear arms. Never give it up. True, true and real. True and real. And, uh, yeah, I guess in the UK, considering you guys are far more into 1984 than we are, you guys aren't allowed to have opinions online lest the police show up at your house and arrest you. It's a really shitty way to live. The docs is Red Panels. People just assumed he was Stone Toss. I don't even know who Red Panels is. I'm gonna be real with you. Stone Toss gets treated like the ultimate Nazi for some pretty tame, spicy takes. I was, I was just like, even the people who dislike him will sometimes be like, fuck, Stone Toss made me laugh. What's wrong with me? <laughs> to be fair, haven't the FBI started doing that in the US too? If they have, I haven't seen the articles. So it, I was like, it's possible that it's starting to happen here. I wouldn't put it past them. You got a license for that opinion. Uh, the US government isn't exactly not 1984. It's not exactly not 1984, but you don't have police showing up at your house and being like, hmm, sir, yes, I see that you, you said here on Twitter yesterday that you actually don't want illegal migrants in the country. This is considered hate speech and we're going to arrest you now. That's not happening. That's not happening here yet. You're Scottish. The anti-opinion laws we're getting recently are really annoying. Still have the capability of a reset button? It is happening? When? When did it start happening? She doesn't know. I don't know. But instead of saying she doesn't know, give me a source. It's over 1k arrest per year for social media posts in the UK. Three plus a day. What the fuck? What the fuck? Have a good night, Ikaron! Hey! It's happening in uh, Canada so soon, TM. True. Really annoying. Typical Brit understatement. There's a video on Twitter of someone being visited by the FBI for their post on Facebook. There was a guy arrested for the Trump memes. Oh, that's true. There was a guy arrested for the the Trump memes and like the 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 Hillary the Hillary post about voting. Free speech is kind of important. It is. UK is more fucked than the US and Scotland is more fucked than the UK. I don't think there can be an argument for saying that the UK isn't more fucked than the US. Like it it definitely fucking is. Pokemon go to the polls. An artist even drew Prince Eugen and Nimi's adventure skin. Stuff is just chef's kiss. What about our carbon tax will rise again tomorrow? They're raising carbon taxes? For fucking what, dude? For fucking what? USA is getting there, but the UK is crazy. A lot of YouTubers and streamers from there seem like they're afraid to say anything remotely controversial. I mean, I fucking would be too if I lived in the UK. Jesus. It's not just that you're risking demonetization on platforms anymore for being for being a bit spicy. You're risking getting arrested. Australia's more fucked than both UK and Scotland combined. I, I don't know that much about Australia personally. Poor KSI and his big ass forehead. What? Isn't USA worse off demographically than the UK? I don't know how many migrants the UK has taken in. Like I'm a real pet! I must go patch my roof. Sadly, I think Trump's presidency will be even leakier than my poor roof. Probably. Pro I'm, I'm, I'm tentatively partially optimistic. I'm not, I'm not like putting any faith in anything, but I'm just like, 
It's definitely better than the alternative, so we'll see what happens. Kelson, thank you for the five dollars. I thought you said you had to go catch your roof at first, and I was confused. Uh, good luck patching your roof, dude. Good luck, good luck patching it. Moinya, moinya. Back, uh, back to here. Napalm Bonafart. Oh, thank you for the five dollars. Holy shit, I'm older than Matt Walsh. I don't like being reminded of Matt Walsh's age. <laughs> Caramel the rabbit person, thank you for the member. I'm sorry, I'm late. Don't abandon me in the trash. You guys are never late. You always arrive exactly when you mean to. Don't fucking worry about it. Don't worry about it. Burnt sausage, thank you for the five dollars. You talk about glowies one time and everyone thinks you're political, basically. Basically, dude, you can't just tell edgy jokes anymore. Now, now telling edgy jokes is a sign of your political affiliations, I suppose. UK is more fucked. They've openly accepted the migrant traditions into their society. I mean, I guess they haven't painted things under the Eiffel Tower like France has yet. I still feel like France will be the first country in in the EU to revolt from all of all of this nonsense. And it, it brings it brings a smile to my face listening to like a previous. Not, it's not called the Secret Service. I can't remember what it's called in France. But it brought a smile to my face hearing like prior Secret Service members being like. Yeah, you guys in power don't exactly realize what you're doing, and you're going to face something very fucking concerning in the next few years here if you don't if you don't about face some of these policies. France is good at one thing, revolting. My ancestors, please resurrect your guillotines. The world needs you. <laughs> French always protest and burn things down, so yeah. You only have yourself to blame. What? What did Kirsha- what? Did Kirsha say she's older than Matt Walsh? No, I'm reading- I'm reading thank yous. I'm reading- I'm reading thank yous. Mr. Mr. Napalm Bonafart said he's older than Matt Walsh. Wolf and Wings, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Don't politic the benoy! True. True and real. I was, uh, I was very pleasantly surprised when I watched, uh, the Legal Mindset stream with Gator and, uh, Cody. I don't know who Cody is. But I was very pleasantly surprised that they basically hit the nail on the head. When talking about the Benoit, I just I just expect most people who do like uh, streams about what Pippa is to call her political. So I was I was very happy that all of them understood that she is not. At least we aren't speaking German. Das ist nicht gut. <laughs> How old is Walsh? I think he's 37, 37, 38, something like that. I was eating earlier, so you don't know if I need a reminder today, but it is protein time. Oh god. I did eat my eggu, and it took me a very long time to eat eggu. France versus France, who loses? Where do they retreat to? That's a that's a good question. It's <laughs> a good question. Patrick Kennedy, thank you for the five dollars. Dude's like a good stick. They can be swords, guns, spears. We we're into we're into sticks here, I guess. A burnt sausage, burnt ends. Thank you for the twenty dollar doodles. What are you guys' thoughts on the idea of the Turenne Foundation from the books, like earning your sovereign franchise through service? I never I never read those books. I never, I never read those books, so I, I don't know. And I, I don't, mm, you know, having it be through service would also be a problem, I guess, and, unless it depends on what service is. Like, if it's only militaristic service, I feel like that would be a problem. The French are good at riots and revolts, but not at winning wars, true? I've never, I've never read Starship Troopers. Insulin, thank you for the 50 Canadians! The Canada carbon tax is dumb. Basically adds cost of food at least three stages of supply chain at best. And then the government tries to blame grocery stores for price gouging. Bitch! Grocery margins haven't changed. You just added cost. Yeah, the fact that everything has gotten like crazy exponentially more expensive. Again, like me looking at houses and seeing how like literally in in 2020 houses were hundreds of thousands of dollars cheaper than they are four years later it, it's, it's just insane to me like how things have exploded just in the last four years and become almost like not not able to be afforded and i saw some dumb fucking cuck on twitter i don't have the tab but some dumb fucking cuck was just like, At this point, I think it's better to actually rent than buy a house unless you plan on living in that house for literally like 15 years at a minimum. And it's like, no, renting is literally lighting your fucking money on fire. And rent is unironically more expensive than what most people's mortgages would be. Even with the crazy inflation on APR and house prices. 
What's the real point of the carbon tax? Rent is a bitch. I can't, I can't believe there are unironically people who aren't just like FBI plants that are advocating for the renting is better than owning. You will own nothing. You will be happy. That, like, well, how much of a fucking NPC can you be? Rent is throwing money on a pit. Like I, if, if I had been able to like stay home instead of feeling like I needed to get away from the area where my uh, abuser from my relationship was, I would have just stayed home. Think like thinking about all the money that I could have saved instead of paying rent is it's so crazy to me. And that's that's why in current year when people are just like ill, you you live with your parents, ill, ill. And it's like what you, that means they're making smart financial decisions. If they, if they don't feel like they can afford a mortgage yet, staying at home with their parents is more financially viable than getting an apartment. You pay rent, but it goes towards the house note of your grandparents' house? Well, that makes sense as well. Dumb person worked hard and bought during the last housing crash, paid it off, and now you're trying to sell it and move to a converted church. Oh, shit. That used to be normal as well, right? Not to mention rent goes up every fucking year. Yeah. If rent, if rent stayed the same, that, that might be a thing to do. Renting was supposed to be for people who could oh not God, afford God, mortgages. And now when we're at a place where renting is just as expensive, if not more expensive than a mortgage, there's zero fucking point to put yourself in a renting position. And, and I, I hate that I'm stuck in one. I can't move back home because unfortunately in the time that I left, my uncle's wife decided, you know what? I really don't want to be a mother anymore. Have full custody of the kids. Peace the fuck out. I'm gone. So he's he's living in my grandparents' house uh, with his kids. So there's no, there's no spare room anymore for me. <laughs> he wish mortgages were cheaper than renting still. I, I, I wish, I wish uh, everything was more affordable. What the fuck? Yeah, it was a crazy scenario, dude. Uh, three, well, I guess not, not three. My dad's in a happy relationship now, but he, he's not married. But my, my aunt and uncle, my aunt and other uncle have, have happy marriages with children. Unfortunately, my other uncle got kind of fucked. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you cooked with some foreskin. Didn't do it to Alana, but you did it with Kirsha. Cursed content will be posted on the Twitter AI tag shortly. Thank you. Thank you for providing the cursed content, Azehara helped your mom buy her house now you live with her and pay the place off you're saving for another place you live with your mom but you're a fucking gaming the loans and scoring assets yeah exactly exactly i don't know you've been living in a single wide rental with attachments with your girlfriend for four years now thankfully the rent hasn't raised in that four years <laughs> because that's good that it hasn't that's crazy uh, my rent goes up every year and i hate it kirsch's family is a comedic tragedy yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know mu too much about like the private lives of like you know my my extended family, as it were. But uh, as far as as far as my uncle goes, I've talked about this before, and I never remember. I think it's spina spina bifida, maybe. Uh, it's like that that disease that like your children can be born with, but only if both you and your partner are carriers of it. And so like we found out a lot of people in my family uh, end up carrying that gene, so we have to like before conceiving children we will have to get tested with our with our with our partners to see if if we have that uh my dad my dad lucked out because he's a carrier i don't have it so my mom doesn't have it cystic fibrosis thank you spider god i don't know why i always want to say fucking spina bifida why does that stay in my head cystic fibrosis thank you spider god i've looped i know this is a loop i'm glad you guys are my brain so like when a, their first child came out with that and then they had two more children. One of their children was fine. And I, I don't know if the other one, if the other one, the youngest one has it. Can't remember. I think it might only be one of them. Uh, but uh, bas basically they, they just have to take medication for like the rest of their lives now. Spino living in her head rent free. And he, he, he worked, he worked really hard to provide, you know, for his wife and his kids. But uh, providing for a wife and kids, that many kids, and you don't have like a giga career salary can be pretty hard. So I guess she got uh, kind of unhappy with living at the uh, the poor level that they were and just decided, you know what? I just don't want to be a mom. You can have the kids. You can take them. I don't want to deal with it. I'm gone. And even, my grandma was just like, yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but let's not let's not talk too badly about her. You know, you say spina bifida every single time and every single time it's been cystic fibrosis. Your brain is a mysterious thing. That's why I need you guys. 
I need you guys to know what my brain does so you can be like, actually, Kirshan, when you say spina bifida, you mean cystic fibrosis. Because I can't remember the other name and I don't know why. <laughs> That's so fucked up. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up and it's really unfortunate. And I feel bad for him. But that's why I couldn't move back home. <laughs> Sergeant Buck, thank you for the five dollars. You think the chat of yours was about me and Spoonband talking about the Folsom Street Parade? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pride Parade seems to be where the 18 plus rule vanishes. Well, to be fair, Folsom Street isn't billed as a Pride Parade. It's billed as a kink festival. So I would very much hope while they're, uh... Giving public blowjobs and pissing on each other in kiddie pools. There's no actual kids around. Does she still give child support? I don't know. I don't know. That's not something I've ever asked because... I mean, it's not it's not super my business because it's not my parents, as it were. Um, but I also don't know if she'd be able to. I know she, like, made candles and sold those for a while, but I can't imagine that gives you much income. <laughs> Jill Harris, I thank you for the $5. When Trump retakes the White House, you hope he pulls a heavier melee and just de-eating tens of thousands of government jobs ASAP. Same. I, I hope he watched what Millet was doing and takes a page out of his fucking book. Ivan Petroscu, thank you for the $5 doodles. I get the promotion you wished me- You got the promotion I wished you luck on. Now, you're a fed. Well, hopefully, you're a good fed. You're, you're gonna be like Peppermint Patty Man and, and not shoot people's dogs. But congratulations on the promotion! Congrats, my dude. Congrats. Kink Festival. We have Carnival in January. AIDS runs rampant. Kind of glad you're not a fan of that noise. I like I like the Carnival costumes. I think they're really pretty, especially the giant feather headdresses. I like I like the giant feathers. Are they just doing public orgies at this point? I mean, at Folsom Street, they pretty much have been for years. And people need to stop seeing Trump as a savior and plan accordingly. I, I would like for him to do good. I don't know if he can. As, as how I feel about it. Jen Rollins, thank you for the five dollars. Not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a pattern recognitionist. True. <gasps> True and real. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the five dollars. Remember back before OnlyFans when premium Snapchat was a thing and people started reporting the thoughts of the IRS? Funniest shit I'd ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, they did it for, for Instagram models as well, because Instagram models, I guess, decided to not pay their taxes, question mark? I don't know, man. It baffles you that the candidates in the U.S. are walking fossils. Well, it's because, like, you have to be, like, what, 45 to be president? I don't, I don't know if there's an age for just a regular politician. 35? It's 35? Okay. That's, that's, that's kind of young, I guess, for a president. I don't know how that would work. They're all near 80 now, though. True. Hello, Fox Lady. Hello, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Okay. Okay. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Yeah. President's the only office with an age minimum. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I don't think I would want to see, like, 18-year-olds in, uh, in political positions, typically. Because I feel like most 18-year-olds are, like, fucking retarded. <laughs> God is dead and I'm gay. Welcome, gay. Not a lawyer, but income really isn't taken into account much with child support. The court will decide what kind of lifestyle the child, and if you can't support that, too bad, that's jail for you. You will be don't know your aunt and uncle's situation, but regardless, that's what you understand. Yeah, I, I haven't pried into it too much, because it's like, again, not really my business. You don't see him as a savior, but the only one at the moment that can make an impact. If he does win and his four years are over, we'll need a different person next. Pretty much. Pretty much. Like when, like when Trump got into office last time, I was just like, He's just going to be a band-aid for what's happening right now. And whether we careen further down into darkness or not will really depend on the 2020 election. And then once both Trump and Biden are like completely out of the picture, 20, 2024 is kind of going to be like a decisive election. I, I feel like if Trump doesn't get elected, Right, if we if we elect a democratic president this election again, uh, there's not going to be too much we can do. Like all of the boycotts, all of the vote with your wallet, all of all of the small scale try to make a different stuff. I I don't think will matter at that point. I I think I think it will be very very hard if we if we get another democratic president this this year this election. And if Trump gets elected, I, I think it will be a good sign, but we'll need to have someone after him as well. 
Like, it will still just be a band-aid at this point. Last 18-year-old you saw in office was the mayor in your town. Father bought a house when he was born and put it under the kid's name so he could legally run. Same father was caught controlling what the son did, and both are not allowed in any public positions now! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Trump needs to actually just tear up the swamp without caring about optics? At that point, yeah. Because his, his optics are going to be bad the entire fucking time. So they, there should be no stock in, in what they say here. Depends on Congress to a degree. If Biden wins, but Congress goes Republican, they're going to block him on almost everything. Same goes with Trump and a Democrat Congress, though. Uh, with how wonky we know things are at this point, I don't think even a full Republican Congress would block enough happening. People will cry harder and louder if Trump does get back into office. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they will. But you can't, you can't capitulate to crying children, as it were. That's how, that's how we've gotten here. Patrick Kennedy, thank you for the five, six, seven, eight, nine dollary doodles. I'd be happy to see where my monopoly money goes to the Fed. Same. Who pays for UBI? I mean, obviously we would through taxes if if that happened. And colonize Mars. Don't think it's possible in our lifetime, but would be very interesting to see happen. I would I would love to see to see space travel become like a normal, a human pastime, but I I don't think it will be in our lifetime. Well, I stream 24 hours if he wins, we can watch the reactions together. I don't know how long I'll stream, but yeah, that's very possible. <laughs> it does matter. Quit saying that. It mattered last time. And now look what's going on. Wait, what do you mean? What do you what do you mean by that? It's always those types that uh, suffer the most. Rearrange the entire playing field for 2028. That's, that's going to be that's going to be a rough year. That's going to be a rough year. Colonizing Mars is gay. Venus is where it's at. I think that's too close to the sun. Isn't it? Mer Mercury, yeah, Venus, Venus is before Mars. <laughs> Frankly, it says a lot that our choices are a couple of old liches, one with multiple charges on their docket and another who's been attempting to rule via executive fiat. Venus is hotter than Mercury and full of toxic gas. I wish we could go to Neptune. Neptune is a beautiful planet, but it's also a gaseous planet. So like, I don't, is there even anything to like stand on? Does it have a core that you could even set foot on or is it all just like, gas in the shape of a ball i don't even know man i don't even know i was like i would i would love there's a small core i would love to like see what's inside inside neptune two-party system just does cause us a versus them mentality though it works well to keep people separated and angry unfortunately mars is named after a male god and venus is named after a female god There's a joke in here about toxic women somewhere and how men create society, but you know what? I'm not smart enough to figure out how to make that joke. <laughs> I don't know what's inside Neptune, but I know what's in Uranus, do you? Do you know? Neptune best waifu. <laughs> Darth Vaughn, thank you for the hundred videos of my political opinion. I don't care who the president is. Democrat, Republican does not matter. You only care if they're for the people you're talking about giving back to the people and making a living just a bit easier. Well, I mean, in in our country, the Democrats definitely aren't going to do that for you. The Democrats are lying with pretty words where the Republicans basically just tell you how they're going to fuck you is how we are at this point. That's where the popular saying of men are from Mars, women just love penis. Or so Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Titan actually has an atmosphere and running liquids. Oh, I should watch the PBS Nova publication, The Planets, if you like 4K space photos. I do. I fucking love space, dude. I fucking love space. Nylog, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. Venus isn't too close to the sun. The upper atmosphere is actually okay for humans, aside from the acid. <laughs> it has the right pressure and temperature. It just has too much atmosphere. We could live on this planet, and except for the acid, <laughs> it just sounds like a funny sentence. <laughs> oh god, fuck yeah, space! I love space. <laughs> I love science. Buy guns and learn to trap and which plants are edible in your region. True. True and real. Uh, just like most women, Venus is toxic. <laughs> oh my god. King Heavy Metal, thank you for the five dollars. I have a house with 15 acres if you're interested. That's a lot of acres. I'd put up a pool so fucking fast. I, you guys know what kind of pools I want. I, don't, I, I can't bring it up again. I can't tangent on pools. God, I fucking love the nice pools that don't look like pools, but they look like nature. I learned to dig tunnels in your local area too. We will become the Gurren Lagan people. It'd be nice if you could have citizenship of only your country to hold any political office, state, or fed job. 
Yeah. Yeah, I don't- I don't feel like... I don't- I don't feel like we should be appointing foreign people to any positions of government like California did with that Chinese lady. Patrick Kennedy? Why can we not use words? Thank you for the $20. Because some words are deemed as bad words, and if we use those bad words, uh, you know, financial institutions decide you can no longer hold money with us. And sites like Twitch will be like, you can no longer be here with us. It's fine to show your, your vagoober and your butthole and get your, like, eighth ban and get unbanned after an hour, but God forbid I talk about certain types of people. I, be I become persona non grata. Only born and raised in the country should be allowed to run for any kind of office. I would agree with that. It's asking for trouble and an easy takeover, right? Well, touch Vagoba! It wasn't an hour, it's 40 minutes and 11 seconds, Jesus Christ. Daniel Sierra missed! Thank you for the 199. Virtue signaling is just a license to hate. Super there! Thank you for the five dollar doodles. The most insane thing is that they are claiming that spreading a dox is okay since after the first posting, it is now public information. Yeah, that is also literally an insane thing to say. Literally, literally an insane thing to say. I, I don't care if the dox is now quote unquote public information. You shouldn't propagate that information. You shouldn't spread it even further. Right, like, you you are now participating in a harassment campaign against someone if you are spreading their docs. Breaking the rules and exposing yourself, slap on the wrist, telling the truth about political brainwashing. How dare you? Agreed, don't dox. It's crazy, it's crazy to me how often I loop about how doxing is bad and how it's one of the things that I genuinely detest about the Kiwi website. And yet there are still room temp IQ people who will run around and say, I support doxing. <laughs> By their logic, then, if someone did it to them, then they can't complain if it happened. Oh, you know they would complain. You know they would. And it's like, if, if you're someone who supports doxing and who would want to spread that information if it happens to someone, I will not feel bad if it happens to you. I will, I will not let you use my principles of being against doxing against me. If you think it's okay, I'm going to hold you to your standard. And so when it happens to you, it should be okay. Said people who are complaining because they're a hypocrite. Yeah, exactly. It's getting late. I bid you a good night. Have a good night, Red Man. Have a good sleepy. Have a good sleepy. Bro, sounds brain empty to support doxing. Yeah, people are kind of crazy. They're kind of crazy. Oh, my women's are getting sad. This might be the last repeat I can do. Sad women. Sad women. <sighs> Here's the problem with that mindset. A lot of Kiwi info involves bringing up old info and former lives to bring context to the people they're talking about. I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. I don't think that's a problem, right? Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't, if you're talking about something, you shouldn't have to dox someone. When I, when I say dox, I'm talking about like real life pictures, phone numbers, addresses, that kind of thing, like real life names. You, none, none of those should be relevant unless someone has a criminal record, right? Like that would be the only time I think of it being relevant. Wacky New Zealand farms are somehow saner than VT. True and real. Doxing should only be used to prevent something serious, not because you dislike someone's beliefs. Look, you don't support doxing, but back in your day, the only way you could contact people was to find their phone number and addresses in the publicly distributed book. That's not... I don't think that's necessarily doxing, right? Like, if, if you know you're trying to find Judy Blumenthal... Because you need to call her for something. Looking her phone number up in the phone book isn't doxing. If you're if you're watching a streamer who is a fucking bottle of milk avatar and you don't like what the bottle of milk is saying, and then you spend effort trying to figure out bottle of milk's real name and address and what they look like in real life, that would be doxing. If you look up Chris Chan, there's tons of pictures of him. Is posting pictures of him doxing. He also has an arrest record. He, he's also put those pictures of himself online, himself, on his actual accounts. He, as Chris Chan, has posted those pictures himself on his account. He took Judy Blumenthal to prom. What the fuck? <laughs> you love super fudge. I don't know what that is. I just, I just made up a random name. Do people not know what unlisted numbers or white pages are, right? And get the videos taken down. I'm working on it. 
Wait, that makes you old. God damn. <laughs> Some may say a little too much of himself. Yeah, I would say a little too much. I never needed to see Chris Chan putting himself in a fucking milking machine, dude. Isn't that how real life pictures are distributed? Usually it's done through social media that people sometimes call it doxing. It is. If, if I, right, I am a fox woman. If you, if you try to find real life accounts that have nothing to do with what my name is online, you are doxing me. You are finding information that I am not connecting to my online life. You might be old, but you keep up. Yeah. Oh my god, Kirsch is a fox woman. You're not realizing that you're cursed with Zoomer reading in this chat? Yeah. The case of Chris Chan is too sad for you. That's why you refuse to laugh at him. I'm no longer laughing. I only feel despair. <gasps> Fox Lady convinced you to download this game. Oh, have you been enjoying watching the women pop up, dude? Wanna trade places? What the hell? Why are you trading places with Nim? Sometimes you forget Kier's chat is autistic, and then you see discussions like this. Yeah, seeing seeing people argue for like doxing to be okay is kind of crazy to me. That's kind of nuts. What if those online accounts actually do have something to do with the online life? For example, if someone is anti-gay and you bring up other accounts of them buying gay hookers, is that doxing? I think I think you're being a little weird about this. I think I think you're being a little bit weird because you're you're typically referring to something that happens to politicians who have their real life connected to their accounts. Right? I don't I don't think it should be I don't think it should be fucking crazy to say if someone is trying to stay anonymous online and then you break that anonymity, you are the bad person here. There's a reason everybody hates Taylor Lorenz. There's a reason Tim Pool bought a billboard when Taylor Lorenz doxed libs of TikTok. There's a reason it's considered bad. I don't care how fucking crippling your autism is and how badly you want to see like VTubers real names and shit. Don't do that. It's bad. It makes you a bad person. That's why you're trying to figure out what I specifically mean. I, I've literally told you in, in no uncertain terms. If there, if there's, if there's a Donald Trump out there, because I can't think of another politician name off the top of my head. If there's a Donald Trump who has another account of him buying gay hookers. I, like, I just, I don't, I don't understand what that has to do with anything that I've been talking about. Doxing is posting a guy's phone number in the hopes that he gets spammed with phone calls. Yeah. Isn't doxing only considered doxing if you plan to use it to harm or harass? If someone is anonymous on the internet and you put out their real information, the only reason you have to do that is to harass that person. There is no situation in which you are being a good human being outing someone who's doing stuff anonymously on the internet unless they are the ones perpetrating harm, right? Like, if they're, if they're just like, I am an ISIS asset and I am going to blow up this mall, right? But they're doing it anonymously, then you have reason to figure out who they are because they're doing something harmful. I truly do wonder if Trump getting caught with gay hookers would hurt his standing on the right. You know, like how as the advent of the internet came to being people formulated rules and ethics on the do's and don'ts of the internet? You're not saying this to be facetious, but... You really are fascinated how organized society has adapted without needing overreach from the government. Well, yeah, because like we we have polite rules of engagement. And unfortunately, some people go afoul of those polite rules of engagement. Don't say it. They'll use your stream to make a toss here. Jesus Christ. <sighs> telling you this as a uh, telling this to the type of people who do this while frequenting VT. I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that exactly. Kirsha, anyone who gets doxxed is evil and deserves the worst. We have the moral high ground on doxing. I don't think so. I don't think if you're if you're someone who like argues that doxing is good to anyone who's like not overtly doing violent things, I think you are a bad person. I think you're a very bad person. Doxing is the internet equivalent of mad and mutually assured destruction. You don't do it or anything related to it unless they do it first, right? Right? Normally, you respect someone's privacy unless they do criminal stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Well, last time a poll shit post about hookers and pee was used. Oh, true. True. First time here. How's everyone doing? Hello. Hello. There is no high ground in the long game. Kenobi taught us that. Oh, man. What? 
what's ironic is saying that you think of ET as the most parasocial group right now. They have to be constantly reminded that Pippa isn't girlfriend experience. Every streamer, even men, is girlfriend experience if you're schizo enough. Trying to figure out what my favorite VTubers look like. IRL ruins the illusion. Kirsha's perfect, not a real girl with cooties. I'm anime woman! How do you know the boat girls are sad? Is anyone looking at their faces? Oh my god. Oh my god. If doxing is so bad, why isn't it illegal? Oh, I see you need daddy government to tell you things are bad in order for you to think they are. What a what a free-thinking individual. Oh yes, Asmongold, my favorite girlfriend experience streamer. He put on the maid dress. <laughs> he put on the maid dress. You only got a uh, TWE tarred wife experience. Oh my god. Someone failed the shopping cart test. If doxing is so good, where is doxing to? <sighs> You, th you think that doxing someone is protected under the First Amendment? Holy shit, you're a retard. <laughs> oh, that's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen said in my chat. God damn. <laughs> breaking, breaking someone's privacy and hoping they get harassed is not protected under the First Amendment. What the actual fuck am I hearing? We, we have peaked. We, we have peaked, retard. <laughs> someone's playing devil's advocate a little too hard, I think. We got a fed in the chat. Unironically, man. <laughs> Azukun, thank you for the $5. You doxed me. Joke's on you. I already know where I live. True and real true and real. Asmin is a literal modern woman girlfriend experience. All he knows is eat hot chip and not clean. You can get sued for doxing. Thank you, almighty lolly. <laughs> Thank you, almighty lolly. You can, you can get in pretty big trouble, not just for doxing, but we've had to loop on revenge porn quite a few times because for some reason there are people in chat who still think that posting nude images of people without their consent is an A-OK -okay thing to do. Kirsch, it's not nice to make fun of the mentally infirm. That poor chatter obviously has severe brain damage. True. True and real. Oh my god. What server does Kirsch play on? Avrora. Avrora, someone broke the number one rule in life. Never go full redacted. How hard is it to not touch the poo? I love calling it that instead of cow tipping because you should feel ashamed when you touch the poo. Right? You don't you don't get a nice glossy name to feel better about yourself because you're hella childish. And you should have a childish phrase to match. Oh my god. Even so, mystery chatter just became it protects your right, doesn't protect you from the consequences. Legal answer is like to most things, it depends. Museum of poop. <laughs> Dude McGuy Pants, thank you for the prune. Thank you for the prune. Oh my god. Can we can we be friends in Azure Lane even though it does nothing? Yeah, I mean if you want to send me a friend request on Avrora, I think I posted my my friend code thingy and it's pinned in the in the boat waifu chat in Discord. You know? If your girl cheats on you and sends you the vid, I think it's okay to send the video to her dad. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think we would make an exception in that case. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> what a what a first time chat. What does hyper focused Kirsha look like? Very quiet. Very, very quiet, dude. Oh my god. Calm down, Ethan. Jesus. Super there! Gee, Sally! Your boyfriend lets you have two cums? Congrats on your two cums, Super Bear! Thank you for the twenty dollary doodles! Warm temperatures might be here, he said as he filled his gas tank. God, that's such a good one. Super Bear, thank you for another five dollary doodles. We must complete the archives! True. True and real. This was an interesting conversation to come into. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Nambona! Well, thank you for the four month resub. Can I wish beloved StarCraft streamer Artosis a happy birthday? He turns 41 on Saturday. I know the name Artosis because my Canadian Mormon alcoholic Seth friend would have profile pictures of Artosis constantly. And I'd always have to ask him who it was when he changed his profile picture because I didn't know who Artosis was. Little did I know, every single profile pic change was just another picture of Artosis. Happy, happy 
birthday, Artosis, man. Congrats on hitting 41. Uh, I hope you're having a beautiful life. I don't know if you still play StarCraft, but like, good job, dude. <laughs> good, good job, dude. With a car, you can go anywhere you want, he said out loud. Was that, was that the one who used to do ear licking ASMR and had me stop using TeamSpeak? Uh, I don't know anything about TeamSpeak, but yeah, he's he's the one who used to load up ear licking ASMR because he knew I hated it. Uh, when we would when we'd be playing Smite together, I miss Seth. Seth was my favorite alcoholic Canadian Mormon. He's the only Canadian I would save from the day of the rake, and I miss him. Kirsha, forgive me for what I'm about to do. I'm going to start shit with the British. Why would I need to forgive you? The British aren't real. They can't hurt you. It was watched together. Yeah, watch together. <laughs> oh my god. Tomorrow's your birthday and the 2D debut. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Hail, hail Cargonia. Can't believe Kirsha wouldn't care about me getting raked. Ooh. Yo, Kirsha played Smite. Yo, Kirsha played a fucking lot of Smite, dude. I, I started playing Smite during an event that I called Foxbox. <laughs> It was like some dodgy event where they had like anime skins and you had to you had to fight like cute little anime foxes in a in a weird map. And that's that's how I met Seth. That's how I met Seth and he was he was a fucking smite master, dude. I can't imagine how many thousands of dollars that man spent on that game cuz he had quite literally every single skin. Every single skin. Seth is in Seth Zentech? No, not him, not him. Seth, uh, Seth also did some some video editing on my on my early YouTube channel uploads. I really loved his editing. I I wish I could have I wish I could have had more edits done by him because it was fucking primo, dude. Best zoomer. <laughs> hey hey people. Jackie, thank you for the fifty R's. You want to download a car? I mean, in current year, I probably fucking would. Holy shit, they're too expensive, man. Ever since you had a stomach disease many moons ago, you can't process alcohol anymore. Maybe you can be a Mormon now, but then you'd have to be nice to people. That's hard. Yeah. He was an interesting person, fun to talk to. Maybe Seth will appear one day again. If I, if I keep talking about him, if I don't let him fade from my memory, maybe he will appear again. Because I miss him. Was the 3D printed Lamborghini story real? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> If you recall correctly, sponsored Smite creators to get all the skins to show them off. He was not a content creator, so he didn't he didn't get sponsored for skins. What happened to Seth? He thought he just released a vid. I'm not talking about Seth Zentech. I'm talking about like my personal friend, Canadian Mormon alcoholic Seth, which is why whenever I tell stories about him, I always preface it with Canadian Mormon alcoholic Seth, so people don't get him confused with Seth Zentech. But for some reason, people still do. Has someone 3D printed an entire full-size car yet? Surely they must have. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Hand tool rescue is a good Canuck. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Money. Is Canada real? Sometimes I like to believe it's not. Deja vu, you remember me saying those exact words a while back. Exactly. That sounds like something Seth would describe himself as. Let's be real. Okay, but it's not him. <laughs> Some grumpy goat! Thank you for the ten dollars. A happy Easter to you, Kirsha. Really enjoy your streams and rants. One of these days when you get less shy, as an artist and cook, you kind of want to get into VTubing. Ooh! Good luck with that. That'd be very cute. I hope if that's something you want to do, you fucking dip your toe in the water. You test it out, dude. And Kir, don't turn your memory of this Seth into a tulpa. It's already happening as we speak. <laughs> if he plays Smite, he'll get reimbursed for the cosmetics he got for a half off whatever cosmetic purchases he makes. I don't know if he's going to play Smite too. Like, I don't know what happened to him. Like, he just kind of disappeared from the internet. Like, d deleted his Discord accounts. Doesn't exist on Steam anymore. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened. Please be aware, once you become a VTuber, you will lose brain cells. True. True and real. True and real. And you know, we finished the YouTube thank yous for March 16th. Ah, uh, but I got Twitch thank yous for, for March 16th. Ah! Cold acid! Thank you for the gift, Sobu, on, on the 16th. Thank you, Cold Acid. Thank you. Am I skipping protein again? I am. I took too long to eat eggs, so I'm still very full. Still very full. Evictus, thank you for the $5. The Sizinger 21C is a 3D printed car. Well, not all of it is printed. The body is. I'd download a car. Yo, it's Foxu. Happy Easter. Happy Easter! 
Star, happy Easter. Andrew B, thank you for the two dollars. Artosis doesn't so much play StarCraft as he rages at it. <laughs> Is Seth in the room with you right now? Are you being haunted? Maybe, maybe. I don't know, man. Wow, I was really good at talking to Twitch people this stream. Dressed glass, thank you for converting your prune into a regular subby bubby. Thank you! Thank you for the conversion, wonderful lad. When you found out about me from a clip on YouTube, it's from my rant about SBI. Good. Good fuck SBI. Fuck bridge. Need more people talking about bridge? I'm gonna go nuts! A nominalist gifter. Thank you for the gift sub to not a glowy. Thank you for the gift sub, -oo. Thank you, thank you. You find Kirsha through Peeba. Peeba love. Peeba love. Ghost, 1995. Thank you for the 300 biddies. <laughs> Why is Canada so woke and stupid? Maybe, maybe they get off on the humiliation. Maybe every time we talk about Day of the Rake, Canadians just unzip their pants and start jerking it, you know? Clippers once again doing God work. I love Clippers. I love Clippers! <sighs> One of your people, baby girl, he might have relapsed. Oh no, don't say that. Did you forget to set the streams category? Are we watching videos of gameplay? I'm just doing thank you, so I'm not I'm not going to Azure Lane category, because like if people were gonna come here thinking they're gonna watch like Azure Lane talks and shit, like they that's not happening, dude. That's just it's just a pity pr pretty background. You get to look at big titty women. Well I thank you. <sighs> I didn't even realize you'd forgotten uh, until you applied for a job and the application wanted you to do division without a calculator. Probably could have written the quadratic formula from memory despite not using it for years, but you had no idea how to do basic division. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Yvonne Kirsha from Moonshine, that man is responsible for the canon event. It was all downhill from there. Spino, I believe in your reforming abilities. You can, you can become a, a good lad. Love to have Kirsha do ASMR reading of Azure Lane story events. Oh man. Oh man. Grape faced. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the uh -huh, 250 biddies. Actions are to be judged by people, and thoughts are to be judged by God. Slavery was going to fall out of fashion before freeing slaves became illegal, and the cotton gin was invented. In other words, the cotton gin doomed America from the start. <laughs> What do you mean by doomed? Cause like, slavery bad, so the co the cotton gin was a good thing, question mark. Technology does not doom people. What if we had gone with linen instead of cotton? You hope my friend is okay? I hope Seth is okay too. Hopefully he will reappear someday and I can give him all of the virtual hugs. I've been talking about Bridge, and I may be getting a request to go in Yellow Flash podcast. Some of his subs were recommending me in the comments on the last live he did. Hopefully I don't miss the message, because I am very far behind on replying to people. I've, j I've just had several people, like, follow up on emails, like, Hey, I don't know if you got my last email, but I'm just, like, checking in again, and I'm like... <laughs> I just start hyperventilating whenever, whenever I have to deal with the amount of people I need to respond to. Is that when the machines were starting their plot to take over? Is slavery bad? It is, but I can't extrapolate on why. <laughs> Cotton gin didn't actually affect things all that much. It automated a lot of the process. What kept slavery going was the North refusing to sell the machines down south. That's weird. I don't I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. Thanks, Kier. My ears liked that. You're welcome. You're you're welcome. As per my last email, listen here, you little shit. I <laughs> knew. Nylock, thank you for the four on three sub. Isn't a counterpoint to arguing for an autocrat is that because corruption is a part of the human name, we shouldn't give a single person all that power. Kind of breaks his own argument with corruption. Yeah, I'm just not going to get into the, the, the monarchy argument because, like, my knowledge is... Kuma Rider, thank you for the subby bubby. Shadow Ryu Pimp, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Massive Doggo, thank you for the gift sub as well, dude. Thank you for gift subby. Wild Red 1905, thank you for the full fucking year of tier threes, you mad lad. Big, big tier three wants to suck on my toes. Aniki Daisuke, thank you for the prune. Thank you for prune, my god, thank you. Paper Relic, thank you for the 18 bun three sub. Jesus fuck, that's a long time. Spicy. <laughs> Phantom, thank you for the nine bun three sub. 
I guess I guess I kept you in my womb a little bit longer. I didn't want to pop you out just yet. Enjoy the slip and slide. Kazoli, Kazoli, thank you for the the subby bubby, my guy. Thank you. Artificial difficulty. Thank you for the seven months of prune. I'm glad you're glowing and not typing the glowy words. You research a lot within the neuroscience field, and gene encoding technology can indeed lead to the downfall of humanity. Tojo21! Thank you for the subby bubby, my guy. Bane Field Death, thank you for the sub. The 37 month resub! The prom option has disappeared, but I need to support my Oshi! Why you prom block me, Twitch? I'm glad, I'm glad that even though you were prune blocked, you got a regular sub in there. With a regular sub, you don't need to remember to resub every month. It just does it for you automatically. What a, what technology. Thank you, Bane, for the 37 fucking months. Thank you, thank you. Wait, what? Thank you for the two month resub, my dude. Thank you. West Arios, thank you for the 11 months of prune. Three hour drive to scuba dive tomorrow. I'm jealous of this man, dude. I don't know if you're in the chat right now, but like, I would love to fucking learn how to scuba dive. I know it's giga dangerous, but I would love to go cave diving. Like not, I don't want to like squish myself into like nutty putty cave style shit, but I would love to scuba dive and learn to scuba dive in caves. I would love that. You heard your name and got spooked. I was uh, thanking you for subscribing for two months on March 16th because I'm behind in my thank yous. So thank you! Wait, what? <laughs> Cave diving has like a 60% survival rate. I know. I know it's dangerous, but like, I I want to go. I want to do it. Some child's father died in the nutty putty gave. I know, that's why I brought it up as a spooky cave assistant thingy. Scuba diving caves. Hot. I need someone to scuba dive in my cave. Orismador, thank you! for the 100 biddies. I'm trying to do math on the fly here. Thank you for the 100 biddies! No line, only glow! Uh, Ghost, 1995, thank you for 100 biddies. And Tank Rat, thank you for the tier one sub! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Why not just join the dolphin diving bell? Because I don't want to get turned into spaghetti. I don't want to dive far enough down that I would be risk turned into human spaghetti with meatballs on the side. No thank you. You've watched too much dive talk to want to cave dive? <laughs> Gross, but okay. Copper! Are you gay? If you're gay, I'll give you a pass, but otherwise, what the fuck? What the fuck? If your woman isn't literally as wet as a bucket of water when you're going down on her, she's not attracted to you. Bad news. Sorry for your loss, my guy. <laughs> Kirsha needs a spelunking specialist. <laughs> The dolphins would do the Korsha. Do not the dolphins! Ben Shapiro moment! Oh my god. Technically, your body will explode due to the bends. I don't want to be spaghetti! I don't want to be spaghetti! No spaghetti the Kirsha! Grape faced, thank you for the hundred biddies. What letter does said slur start with? I don't know what we were talking about, but hopefully I didn't answer that. I hope I didn't, da I hope I didn't answer that. And cave diving scares the shit out of you, but you love spear fishing. Plus, there's more to see at a reef. I would love to go to go to go see the reefs too. Yeah, cave diving is scary, but I would I would like to do it. I would like to see what I can find inside caves. Oh my god, equipment for romancing the Kirsha scuba gear. Where you're going, you're gonna need it. <laughs> oh my god, spear fishing would be rad. J Stone. Thank you for the nine months of prune. You're also born very late. You know, I just didn't I just didn't want to let you go quite yet. Thank you, Jaystone, for the prune. Nine months of prune. Icebox, thank you for the prune. Thank you for prune. Thank you, thank you. A basic monster. I remember when your name was Ballsack Monster. I don't know if you changed it, because like you didn't want people to call you Ballsack Monster. Like Twitch forced you to change it because they're fucking cucks. You always be ball sack monster in my heart. Thank you for the 17 months of prune. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A pickled cucumber. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. You're not leaving that cave. I'm gonna have to drag out your pruny, waterlogged body. And his name is John C. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for dying a warrior's death. And Kirsha likes to go cave diving and likes rocks. You're not beating the dwarf allegations. Elves are for breeding. 
no diving gear, if you're not strong enough, then you'll die down there for future generations to learn from. Nah, nah, I'd wear the diving gear. I need, I need the, uh, the, you know, augmentation. It was always B-Sack. I just called him Ballsack. There's no way. I swear to God, his name used to be Ballsack Monster. I'm, you're not gonna gaslight me. There's no way. You're happily married, but you have a marine buddy who's training from Mount Olympia and is working on his engineering degree. You're trying to get him to watch my stream since he got divorced. Ayo. Ayo, what what up, a Linux for life's a marine buddy? I hear I hear you're into into engineering and climbing mountains. I don't got any mountains, but you know you can you can do some exploring around here. <laughs> have you have you seen the videos of people trapping caves and filming their final moments? Do you mean being trapped in a cave? Uh, no. No, I don't think I have. It amazes me Kirsty can talk about how wet you should make a woman when going down on her, and yet there are still dudes who won't go down on their female partners. Truly baffling. I feel like if, if you're going down on a woman and you're like, Ew, it's wet! You're probably gay. Just admit you like dick, dude. Flat bros. Going down on a woman is my favorite, goddamn. Goddamn. <laughs> You love trapping caves. I'm just booby trapping the cave. So this took me quite a while to get through one day, but you know what? I'm try I'm trying my best. In my in my brain, I had an idea of what I was gonna do for today's stream. I was like, I'm gonna do thank yous with Azure Lane on in the background. And then and then after after I finish the thank yous, I'm gonna bring up I'm gonna bring up this game. Hold on a second. Let me let me play the beautiful music for you. The music of my people. It's so cute. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna bring this up for a few minutes before I get into Death Stranding, because this game looked really, really silly and wonky, and it looks exactly like something that would be like really fucking fun. Bye, yeah. Comfort, thank you for the two dollars. Stinks down here, like you need to do the dishes. I'll do the dishes when you do my dishes. <laughs> do you get to pet the doggo? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to see. I wanted. I wanted to open this up. How would you submit the Bitcoin Dad video for stream ideas? I have it open in a tab. Look at how chunky he is! Look at him! He's so cute! He's so cute and marshmallowy! I wanna eat him! I can't read anything! I'm just gonna click on that one because it's highlighted. <laughs> Rota, he's very rotund. Pump. Palme Deli! He even comes from a food place! Oh my god, that is my ideal family. Look at how fucking massive that meat man is. I need a massive meat man. One week later. Oh? She's cutting the hot dogs. But, but then she's like, no streamers. I don't understand the story. It's not delivery. Or it's delivery, not delicatessen. I'm gonna choose to believe it's delicatessen. Ah, <gasps> taco! That man's a super saiyan! The small librarian is married to the king of racism. It should have been me! Ooh. Why is it giving me right? Oh, okay. Left click is shake. Right click is roll. Okay. 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 Oh. I don't care about controller. WASD. Fuck. Shift to spacebar. EQF. Okay. All right. I can't read any of this. 12 out of 12. The door opens. Okay. All right. I'm just going to pretend I understand what's how hard can it to be a marshmallow dog? Hello. Hello, Cheems Ball. I see you're sitting on my PC again. <gasps> I'm so cute and dirty! Um, I'm a filthy little marshmallow. I'm a filthy marshmallow who needs to be punished. 
Where's Bold Fan when you need him? What? What color is my fan? Oh, 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 oh! Look at my little footprints! Look at my little footprints! I'm terrible. What is this? E. Huh? <gasps> oh! Oh no no! Oh no! Oh, I broke the vacuum cleaner! And now the vacuum cleaner is shitting everywhere! Oh my god. Oh, she's asleep, so I probably don't want to do anything with her yet. Let's go in the basement. Let's go in the basement. Let's get mud all over the pictures in the hallway. Oh, it didn't. I couldn't get them on the pictures. Oh, this, this is the goal. Okay. Arf. Oh my god, it's so cute when I jump! Arf. Ooh, let's get dirt under the- Oh, oh? No! Look at the faces on the pictures! What is this? Oh, I need to get dirty again. I'm a clean little girl and I don't want that. Yeah, let's get- Oh my god, look at how brown I've become. Oh my god! I'm a dirty little girl. The pictures on the faces? Oh, they're all little doggies! They're doggies! All right, I'm running. I'm running. I want to get. I want to get dirt under the table because that'll be really hard to fucking clean. Oh yeah! Look at how disgusting that is. Beep beep beep. Oh, you know. That fan? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll around in the mud again. I'm gonna get very brown. This is this is this is just like Azehara simulator. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what am I What? 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 How did I pick up the basket? How did I do that? Oh Oh! Oh, there's soda! I'm spilling soda! Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm enjoying making a mess. Soda! Soda! Oh, this one's like cum. This one's like cum. Beep, beep, beep! Oh my god. Oh my god, what about... Did I, did I do this one already? I think I did. Hold on, hold on, chat. I'm very focused on being a dirty dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This wants me to, like, walk up here somehow. I'm assuming this is, like, what the fan is for. But, like... I don't know how it works. I turn the fan on, and the fan has, like, wind. Roll in the soda. Can you dirty the soda? Oh, that's a good question. <gasps> I can! Cover myself in coom! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Can I... Can I cover myself in the pink? <gasps> I'm a strawberry marshmallow! Strawberry marshmallow! You were told there would be fox yeah. things. Yeah! I don't know how to get up on the wall though! How do I get up there? Shake in front of the fan? Oh, you're so smart, chat! I thought I did that and it didn't work, so I guess I was just crazy. What are those? What are those? Oh my god, that jump. I know it's so cute. It's so I wanna be I wanna be strawberry marshmallow again. Strawberry marshmallow! She's playing Splatoon for little dogs. <gasps> By trying to inflate my penis like what a are these? Balloon. I want to read that one. Home. If buy a doggo and bring it into Pome. your house, it's going to do doggo things. <gasps> a strawberry party hat and a bow tie. Oh my god. Oh, can I eat the apple? Can I? Can I eat the apple? Can I? Can I throw the apple through the window? No. I don't know what I can do with the apples. I don't know what I can do with the apples. Ooh, 
Is this a soda I haven't opened yet? No, this soda seems like one I've already opened. That seems like an already opened soda. This one's not! These- Woo! Orange! Orange soda! Who loves orange soda? Kier loves orange soda. Kier- Kier loves orange soda. How do I make it- How do I make it spill? How do I spill the soda? I can't- Oh no! Why did I- Give- Give me my- My beautiful cosmetics back. Where did my- Where did my strawberry hat go? Yeah. Yeah. Orange is great. I don't remember... I don't remember how to spill the soda. The ones on the table just kind of did it. Ooh! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay, that worked. That seemed to have worked. Fizzy bottle. How do I... I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to do anything chat. Ooh, this floor is very shiny and clean. Hold on. We're going to orange soda the fuck out of that room. And they say games aren't made for females. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll get fucked to get fucked. I've made it so dirty. Was this sunglasses? Oh! I am so fucking cool! I am so fucking cool! Bottles have limited supplies after they get spilled. I love floppy hat! I don't... I don't know. I don't... I don't know. Arf. Yeah, get fucked, idiot. Get fucked, idiot. Get off. Get off. Get off. I can't see shit. Package! You can change the language to English? How do I do that? What in the triple fuck is Daronko Wonko? I'm... I'm a doggo who loves orange soda. Ooh. Ooh, this is regular cola. But how do I how do I spill it? Yay! I keep I keep accidentally taking off all of my cute cosmetics. If I did this to your house, you'd probably not be my Oshi anymore. In the main menu? Which button is main menu? <laughs> do I also shake after being covered in goop? Thank you for the two dollars of pickled cucumber. Yeah, of course I do. Three option? Will this bring me to settings or like leave the game? <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to leave the game. I'm, I'm mucking up the house. I just want to go into settings. Settings, options. Third is the option. Okay, I believe you, chat. I believe you. I'm gonna turn up the volume because I want to jam a bit more, dude. It says options in Japanese. I can't read Japanese. <laughs> A lady could clean that kitchen. Oh my god. I'm, I'm the fox in the house. Second tab. I believe you. Oh, I gotta... This one. I'm gonna assume this one is language. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you, chat. <laughs> how do... How do... How do I make the soda spray? That's what I want to know. How do I spray? I want to... I want to spray my goop. And the other ones... The other ones just, like, did it. The other ones just, like, did it. But these ones don't. You think it only leaks so much? Yeah, but these are like fresh cans. They're like fresh cans. Like, what is this? What is this a can of? Does this do anything? I need to shake it before I open it. I don't know how to shake it. I 
Like, I don't- I don't think shaking it... ...makes it drip anywhere. I don't got the drippy goopies. I want- I want green. I want green. Yeah. Yeah, drippy goopy. Get fucked, idiot. Get fucked, idiot! Oh, there's a thing there! It wanted me to come here! The box changed allegiances. It did. I did it! Oh, there's an invisible wall there. Dominated the living room. Yeah, you bet your ass I did. You bet your ass I dominated the living room! I want... I want soda. I'm brown again. <gasps> See, look, that one's leaking! This one's leaking, but now... Now it's not leaking anymore. How do I make it leak? Display, controls, move, dash. Action, put off, so shake off. Pum, pum him up? Splash, rub, zoom in, zoom out, camera. Okay, so that's just... The bottles are not bottomless? That's where you're wrong. What is palm emote? <gasps> I'm such a cute marshmallow! Oh, Snez. Snez dog. Snez dog. What is that? What is that? That's so cute! That's so cute! Snez! That's begging? Oh my god. Oh my god, not the begging, dude. Alright, I've dominated the begging room. I want to leave mom alone for now because I don't know if she'll wake up. Basement living room? The relaxing room? How many, how many living rooms does one house need? We're gonna make the stairs black. I want to find the color blue chat. Can I drag my ass on the carpet? Uh, I don't think so. Can I open the oven? No. I'm gonna take your bread! My bread loaf. My bread loaf. Bleh. Bleh. Fuck your wine, mom. You drink- <gasps> I can be wine colored! Oh! I still want blue, though. I still want blue. Wait, why is this brown? Why is this weird brown color? Fucking fuck you, buddy. Fucking fuck you, buddy. That one's a dark brown color. What is all of this? What is all of this? What is all of this? It's mine now. It's mine now. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Hello. What do I do with this? What's this wheel used for? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to put it here, I guess. So I know where to come get it. <laughs> After thinking about it, you'd still be your Oshi. You just make me clean it up with you. Where's the butter? There's no butter. There's no butter. I want I want to be wine. I want to be wine dog. I really do hope I can find something blue. I hope I can find something blue. Is that ketchup? Is that a fucking bottle of ketchup? <gasps> it is! I found ketchup! I found ketchup chat. I found ketchup chat. Now I can run around the house and paint it with ketchup! Become! Become the ketchup! I'm in the sink. You can't wash me. You can't wash me! Oh. New! Is that an elephant? Is that an elephant? Yeah, and it's room temp ketchup! They have their ketchup on the counter! Where it fucking belongs! No! No, 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 no! I almost ruined all of the ketchup. That's the only red I have. Beep, 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 beep. Help. Help. I can't get on those shelves. Kitchen invasion. I've invaded the kitchen. Me. Gears, please! The family won't be able to financially recover! Just because nerdy mom landed a giant himbo and had two kids with him doesn't mean you could take out your frustrations. Yes, I can, first of all. Second of all, do you see how big their house is? They can afford a cleaning- Oh, weep! 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 
They can afford a cleaning service. What is this? <gasps> I made it orange. Oh, I can eat them! Oh. Oh. Oh, this bitch has a huge wine cellar. Oh my god. Holy hell, that's a lot of wine. Look at, look at, I got wine all over her nice, pristine, white carpet. How do I break the glass? How do I, how do I break the glass? What? How, why did it, how did it make white? Tomato exploded? A tomato exploded, but how did it make white? Oh, it's like a can of something? What is that? See, like, these ones just start splurting everywhere as soon as I pick them up in my mouth. I- I made the white! I made the tomato very excited. And now these ones- these ones aren't splurting. There's another wheel here, but I don't know what the wheel is for. Arf? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Arf! Arf! These ones start splurting as soon as I put them in my mouth. I know. It's a- it's a common issue. So it looks like there's cans of just like white and brown goop down here. As well as wine. All of the wine is purple, and all of the cans are goop. Do not press! Oh, but I pressed- <laughs> Woo! I am a pest. I am a pest. Drop you on the floor. Get Ooh, that one's like a light green. That's a light green color. I want it. I want light green. I'm a pickle. I'm pickle flavored marshmallow. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Pickle, pickle, pickle. There's stuff on that wall that I need to do. I need to, I need to knock over those bottles and see what color they make. Those are wine again. One of these wine bottles was like really sparkly, and I'm not sure why. I think the sparkly one's the one on the floor, right? Yeah, why is that- why is that sparkly? Why did you take off my- Oh, it's an accessory! I'm a wine doggo! Dash kind of nuts. You hope the ending is just them forgiving you? I gotta- I gotta shake all over this wall. Cosmetics, the free DLCs! I'm a wino! But in dog form! How am I supposed to paint this whole wall? How do I get up higher? How do I get up higher? Please do not give the wine to the dogs. It's too late. It was always too late. Oh, okay, so... There's another... There's another paw print thing up there. So maybe... Dogs drink water! So maybe I can figure out how to get up on top of that? Like, if I can move the boxes? I don't think I can pick up boxes. Oh, it can't get moved onto the carpet either. Hmm. Don't give dogs soda or wine. It's too late. It was always too late. Can I can I pick up these boxes? No. I don't think these would be tall enough to get me Oh shit, I got stuck. I don't think these would be tall enough to get me up there. <laughs> How what am I supposed to do? Can you jump onto it from the top of the stairs? No, I don't think so. I 
I don't think so. And it's not like I can throw anything. I can just put it down. Actually, these stairs are looking a little too clean. Hold up while I'm up here. Shakey, 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 shake. Try using a jetpack. I don't have a jetpack! I'm a dog! <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I need to double jump from the basement level. Looks like there's a hole to drop down from. Oh, you're right! Okay, so we gotta find the hole. Every hole's a goal, as it were. I'm gonna pick up this button. Yeah. Yeah. I'm rolling in the pink stuff. Oh, I, I was trying to roll in the pink stuff. There's a- there's a demonic summoning ritual over here? Oh, I was making a joke, but I was actually right. <laughs> I was- I was trying to make a joke, but it looks like I'm right. What the fuck? So I need to find a candle. We're missing- we're missing one candle for the demonic summoning ritual. That's a shame that the colors don't combine. Oh hell yeah! What kind of what kind of demonic summoning ritual could possibly be done here? What color do you guys make? What color do you guys make? Light green. Okay, well it was light green, but I'm purple now. I don't I don't understand how that works, but okay, we're gonna go with it. Oh yeah, give me the vacuum. Give me the motherfucking vacuum. Oh yeah, I forgot there was a new thing that appeared somewhere else! Yeah, go little vacuum. You go little vacuum! Oh, I can't move these boxes. No! What are you? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I found the blue! I found the blue, chat! I'm blueing! Infinite blue. Um, 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 Ethan Bowberry. Arf. All right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go back up here. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best, and we're gonna put. Hey, where'd that other button go? We're gonna go up here. No! What is this? Put on. Ooh, it's a light blue! It's a light blue! It sprays kind of like, kind of like cum. <laughs> I'm making cum stains. There's a new button here. I don't know what the buttons do. I brought, I brought one button. I brought one button down here and I put it here, but now it's gone. And then I put the second button. Oh, they just go back to their spots. They just go back. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. <laughs> what? Al Ren, thank you for the $4.99! You just heard of one of the Tekken game developers asking about the Waffle House meme? Maybe they'll make it a level now? God, I hope so. God, I hope so. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. How do I take this thing off my back? How do I... How do I take this off my back? Alright, there's like paintballs here, I guess? I don't know what those are. There's like, there's like markers over here? Oh. Oh, what the fuck? I just like splurted all over the place. I want to pick up these markers because I, I feel like- Oh, they're paint. Oh, they're paint. Okay, hold on. And I gotta put on my glasses again and I gotta put on- I guess I lost my bow tie somewhere. I don't- I don't know where the bow tie went, but I want to pick up these markers. That's a tissue box, you piece of shit. Give me the marker. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Much colorful! That's pretty fucking cool. That's- I'm rolling in this blue. I'm rolling in it, dude. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Where did I drop my elefante? Oh, he's back over here? Okay. I'll keep in mind where the elephant is. I'm sure the other guy is also back. <gasps> That's a whole can of paint. That's a whole fucking can of paint. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, they they tipped over, but they didn't make a mess. What the fuck? Hello? 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 Bucket. Keep out. I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to- I'm trying to arf. I'm trying to arf, dude. <laughs> Blarp. Pum- Pum- Pumus my fellow fluffies. Get off there. Get off there. Get off there. I want to make a mess! Yeah. You get fucked. You get fucked, idiots. What if you land on the keep out? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, that's like a little castle thing. Oh, there's like a room in- Oh! Oh! Does that- does that work? Does this let me- does this let me go in there? No? Those aren't buttons, they're train wheels! You're a- Oh. Alright. Okay, two wheels left. Wait, we know where they are! We know where the wheels are, chat! Wait, where'd mom go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If mom's awake, that's a problem. If, mom, if mom's awake, that's a problem. She knows what's going on. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Interact. Oh, shit. One wheel left. Can I- can I roll in this? Will it make me black? Uh, yeah, let's get some blackness going on. What is this? What is this? Hello, balls. Hello, balls. Is this a wall? Okay, good. <laughs> better than bears. I better- Oh my god, I like how this black looks. It's very- it's very dark. Bucket. What is this? What is this? It makes orange? Oh my god. This is a relaxing game. Hello, penguino. I will put you here. And I will make you- Oh, I can't make you black while I'm holding you? Oh, I can't make the penguin black at all. I wonder why. Can I make the entire white teddy bear black? I'm I'm being a, a Western developer right now. I am blacking the white teddy bear. He's not pen pen. Let's get let's get behind him. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I can't make his head black, though. Netflix adaptation teddy bear. I'm pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at being a little shit cunt. It's so cute! It's so cute. This game is my application for Sweet Baby Ink. I'm going up here. Oh god, I fucking flung myself into that wall. Holy shit. No! Oh! Oh no, what have I done? Yeah! Where am I? Oh, there's beds. I can't wait to soil those fucking sheets. No! <gasps> I like this color. What was that noise? Hello! Hello, box! <gasps> it's a cannon! I wonder what color the cannon does. E for interact. And then... Shake. Oh, That's so dirty! That's so dirty! I'm wiggling in the blue again. Okay, so we got- we got new. We got new. I'm gonna... <gasps> Q! 
I'm gonna wiggle over here. Oh, thank you for the blessings, chat. Thank you. I'm gonna roll around in this here red. And I'm gonna bite the rest of these. <gasps> I've got a little ghost friend! Doesn't that look like Nyaner's little ghost thingy? Her little, her little ghost sperm? I hope those balloons are filled with paint. I got, I got a little ghost thingy. Okay, and I've been down here. So I still don't know how to get inside that room down there, but let me go get menstrual blood all over these people's beds. Hold on. Hold on, well, let me jump. There we go. Oh, there's a penguin over here again. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get blood all over the other bed too. You bounce on the bed. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I mean, I guess, I guess, I, I guess I can. I guess there's like a little tiny bit of a bounce. <laughs> this is like Splatoon, but uber cute. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about winning or losing anything. You're just kind of, you're just kind of a little chill guy, a little chill guy. What's going on over here? This is back where the, the teddy bear got blacked. I can't jump up on these. Well, I mean, fuck your, fuck your clean white floor, as it were. I want more blue. I want more blue. Yeah, I don't know how to get in here. Well... Escape. Escape. Maybe I can, maybe I can dash through the wall? Maybe that's what those footprints mean over here? No? Okay. No. I forgot about the wheel! Oh! Oh yeah, the wheel! Oh yeah, the wheel! I got so distracted by being a funny doggo. Hello. Hello, cannon. Oh, oh man, now, now we are cooking with olive oil. I make Blue's Clues paw prints now. Okay, now I've got, now I've got the wheel. The baby wheel! That's super cute that they made it Blue's Clues paw prints, dude. Wheel! Choo-choo! Choo choo! I want to be on the train when it crashes! I want to commit war crimes and destabilize the supply lines! I did it! I don't know what all that shit was. Oh god. Lots of footprints. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh my god, the train keeps changing the color of the paint too. <gasps> it's like a color! It's a color wheel! I am blue. Oh, I like this blue. Hold on. I like this blue. That's a really nice blue. Oh my god, I can get so many different colors, dude. Oh my god, I can get so many different colors! <gasps> That's so cute! Hold on, I need to make a mess over here. Escape. Escape Hache. What is this? What is this? <laughs> that's, that's cute. I'm a bucket head. Oh, what does it look like when I emote? <laughs> I'm just a silly little guy. I am I am too cute and silly to be a danger to national security. I'm... I'm loafing! I'm rubbing. I'm rubbing. I'm in the box! Yeah, you go, train. You go, choom choom train! You go! And that goes to... 
the winery. I have made a mistake. A mistake has been made. I did not have enough to fling. Beep beep! Interact. What happens? What did I do? Oh, oi! Oi! Ooh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh yeah, give me the wine, bitch. Is that just a regular wine? But it is, okay. Yo, a minigun? It was in front of a TV. Oh, here we go. Put on. Oh, is that just a wine bottle? Oh, it's a little- it's a little doggy gas mask! I don't like gas masks, though, so... I'm gonna- I'm gonna take my ghost friend back. I like ghost friend, not gas mask. Give me... Oh, why does it have to be brown? Oh, I can have the cannon and the missile at the same time? Oh my god. Oh my god. Who let one dog have this much power? How... How can one dog... Oh, mom. Oh, mom. Oh, oh, mom. Hold on. I need to roll around in some shit and cover mom. I want to be pink. I want to be- give me the pink. Give me the pink. Give me the pink before I turn it brown. All right, let's go cover mom. Let's go- let's go cover mom in our goop. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> good night, mom! Good night! Good- good night, mom! Good night, mom! <laughs> Damn, she's a heavy sleeper. She just like me. For for real, for real. Get Pepto Bismold, idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this game is cathartic, man. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice there was a goal here. Yeah, fuck your computer. Fuck your, fuck your computer and your architecture. Oh, hold on. I gotta turn on the vacuum. We still haven't found the other candle for the demonic ritual. I wanna, I wanna find the demonic ritual candle chat. I need, I need that candle. I need the candle. That's probably like, oh. Hold on. We're uncovering footsteps on the wall. Hold on, I can't jump up here. I'm too small and silly. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. You paint that wall brown. We got brown walls. I don't know if I need to paint the footsteps, but I feel like I should. There was a glowy face on the train tracks behind the wall. Glowy face on the train tracks behind the wall. Oh, hold on. I haven't gotten anything on this TV. What's this? What's this? Oh, I, I lost my ghost somewhere. I don't know where I lost my, my Nyaner's ghost, but I've lost it. <laughs> Unlucky. <gasps> Unlucky! My friend is gone! Hello! What is that? Okay, turn- turn all of these on. Turn all of these little vacuums on. Where's the ghost? It said there was a face. Whoa, what? Why are you guys whoa whating? So there was a face on the train tracks. 
I think we got that one. Summon the demon. Summoned the god dog. I summoned the huge god dog? Wasn't that just like an achievement statue? At least I thought it was just an achievement statue. I'm stuck. I dropped the ghost when I picked up the minigun? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense that you wouldn't be able to have a ghost and a minigun at the same time. That's understandable. Can I... can I paint this? I don't- I don't see- I don't see where the candle is, you guys. I don't know where the candle is. Oh, the next gift is 19 million dollars. I dropped the ghost. Ah. Uh, oh! Oh, it just like automatically completed! What? I didn't need to find a candle? What the hell? Hello, dog god! Hello, dog god! I paint you! I paint you! I'm pink. 19 million is how much damages you've done? No, that's when I get my next gift! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Wait, where is that? Wait, where is that? It was on a windowsill? Wait, I caused 20 million in damages! How did I do that?! Wait! When did I do that?! What's happening?! I still need one. It still says 11 out of 12. It was like near some windows, so upstairs, maybe? Look at the house! I don't know how. I'm bad at looking. It's because I shit on the statue! I did. I hope this isn't shit. I hope it's brown paint. <laughs> or mud. She will never financially cover. The Roombas and the gold I soiled? Oh, true. I did activate the Roombas. Where... is... Oh, it's over there. I see it. I see it. I see it, chat. It's over there. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Help, I'm stuck in a box! I don't want to get green. Green is gross. Green is icky. Green is an icky color. Give me something cute. Give me something cute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green is a horny color. I'm sorry, what? Okay, so how do I- how do I get up there? Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, boxes? Boxes are stairs for dog? ay 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 Plorp. Can we go outside? Put on. What does the dog statue do? Does it just look cool? I guess it just looks cool. Green is tough, red is fast, blue is lucky, purple is sneaky. How do I... How do I get out there, though? Because it says I'm missing... It says I'm missing... One. Oh. Yeah, I want to be angel instead of statue dog. I want the- I want the halo. I lost my- I lost my- can I fly? No, it doesn't look like I can fly. But... I'm assuming I have to get out there, maybe? Because I'm- I'm 11 out of 12 to open the goal, so where's the last face? Where's the last face that I have to uncover? 
Oh, there's a sparkly box over there. Hold on. There's a sparkly box. Do, 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 do. Hello, sparkly box. <gasps> <laughs> you can never find me! Who did this to your house? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows who did this. I am Hidden Doggo. Nursery? Where is last doggo face, though? Paint not dog on the side? True. True and real. Jump up on the boxes? I was up on the boxes. We already know where that goes. We already know where that goes. Help, I'm stuck. The basement? The basement is what unlocks when I get to... When I get to... I, at least I thought it unlocked when I got to 12, but I, I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, it, un it unlocks when I get to 12. Oh! Oh, maybe! Right in front of it. Ah! You're so smart! You're so smart! Man, Death Stranding looks a lot more colorful now. I visited all of the rooms. Arf. Arf. I wanna... I wanna break these things. What is this? What is this? Is this an afro? Is this a colorful afro? It is! I am an afro clown dog! Did that take off my angel stuff though? It did. It did. I want my angel halo back. I like angel halo more than afro. <laughs> I would be so fucking pissed if this was my home dude. Holy shit. We just saw the, the trailer to Death Stranding 2. Kojima's kicking up the weird a notch. Is it even possible for him to be weirder than he already is? I'm gonna be honest with you. Party hats that I can wear. <gasps> Chat, hold on. Hold on, I can't. I can't take my box off. I want to take my box off! I want to see my marshmallow again! <laughs> I... How do... I had it off for a second. You're supposed to hold E to take everything off. There we go. There we go. I got it! This is my angel halo. My angel wingus. I am... I am perfect, doggo. Doggo unboxing video. I want the Cheems burger! No! Oh. I just... I'm biting everything. Fuck you, buddy. Can I... Well, oh, there's paw prints on those seats. What does that mean? What do those paw prints mean? Oh, there's a face! My house is museum! I wanna... I wanna get on the other one. No, 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 this... this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The birthday cake highlights. I know, I wanted to save the birthday cake for last, because I imagine that's gonna feel real fucking good to destroy. Oh my god. Congratulations! Oh my god! Oh my god, I can fucking destroy the credits! There's no way. That is so cute! That is so cute! 10 out of 10! 
one perfect game. Na 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 game of the year. Oh my god, I could just continuously roll. I can wiggle around, but it doesn't seem like there's any other colors to wiggle. Which makes sense if they made it so that the text turns uh, yellow when you when you splash it. <laughs> Ooh, wine? Oh no, I can't interact with it. Unlucky. Penguino! More compelling story than Alan Wake 2. Truly! This is a perfect game to pick to play on Easter Sunday. Instead of just painting eggs, I'm painting the whole goddamn house! What up? Can we start the game over to see the cutscene in English? There was a cutscene? I don't even remember! At the very end of the credits, someone screams and a gunshot is heard and it fades to black! Oh, there was another floppy hat? I only got a small floppy hat. Oh, oh, invoice! <laughs> Floor cleaning cost 34,800, small goods repair, furniture repair, wine cellar, appliance, train shaped toy repair, luxury goods, 20 million dollars. Please make your payment by the deadline! <laughs> Na 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 I'm Dirty Doggo! Dirty Marshmallow! Jeez, Sally! Your boyfriend lets you have two I can't hit the next button. Oh, it's spacebar. I'm retarded. Thank you for playing! Something appeared in the house. Let's enter the game from continue. <gasps> Something appeared. Chat, what appeared in the house? Chat, what appeared in the house? Do Doranko Wanko! <laughs> this game is free, by the way. <laughs> this game is the marshmallow is so cute! I love him! I love the marshmallow! The dog later became food. Continue. What appeared? What appeared in the house? Oh! Oh my god. All of the cosmetics are here. We got all these different types of glasses, the bow tie, we got a Groucho face. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> that looks so silly. <laughs> Banana hair? Night mask? Little goat horns? Why are there three ghosts that look all exactly the same? What's the difference? <gasps> oh my god, can I have all three at the same time? Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so cute! I got a ghost army! Bark. <laughs> I ruined that family. They deserved it. Let's be real. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. There's the baby sun hat. That's Pippa hat? No, that's party hat. Pippa hat. <laughs> the, pi the Pippa hat! <laughs> Marine hat, ahoy. There's the elephant and the whale that I was using to paint stuff. There's my there's my dead ghost on the floor. What is this? It's a basket, little basket hat. I found the bucket. <gasps> King doggo. King doggo. <laughs> Strong dog. <laughs> I am the strongest of doggos. I do my bench presses. <laughs> Imagine if they had a Victorian house DLC. Yeah, you could watch me lose my soul in real time. I I am I am Shark VTuber uh, Gora. Hello, hello Shark. <laughs> 
What's, what's this? Oh. Oh man, this is just like giant ink splotch. Oh my god. Oh man, so I, I guess the the trophy for when you beat the game kind of gotta come in clutch, eh? <laughs> Do you even lift Gahuba? And then there's the there's the doggo back here again, little golden golden statue doggo. Wait, hold on. I don't want I don't want to keep making ink everywhere. No inking. Blink. Blink. <laughs> Oh, I guess the Piva hat was literally right here. I just, I didn't think about it being a cosmetic. Hopefully, hopefully if uh, Piva plays this game when she does like thank yous and shit, she gets, she wears the Piva hat <laughs> at the beginning. What do I look like with the fence on? <laughs> oh, I look so silly. I like how the trophy makes the little the little stars all over the place. It's really cute. Peppa's legally required to play this. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Looks like a pope. I am the Pope Palme! Here to bless your home! Bless this mess. <laughs> I wish you could change the color on the minigun. I like the minigun, but I don't- I don't like that it's brown. I don't like that it's brown. I wish it was a different color. Help, step doggo. Boing, boing! Let me... Basement, living room, I got 8 out of the 10 badges. Memory, 19 out of 20. Kitchen, 7 out of 11. What does that mean? Kitchen invasion, tomato hat, edible mud, chores after dinner? Knock out many things in the kitchen, eat a lot, and prepare for cleaning the room up. Hmm, so there's stuff that I missed. Pome delivery, and Pome is in business in the living room. Good night, Mom. <sighs> okay. She's got a 20 mil dog god statue. I think she can afford it. I mean, I guess. Let me put on my, my little angel wings and my little angel halo, and then uh, where's the cup? Where's the cup that floweth over? Here it is. Alright, okay. So we need to... We need to dump all over the kitchen, because there's something I'm missing in here. I don't know what I would be missing in the kitchen. Blink! Blink! My cup floweth over with Chuba antics. True. True and real. Oh, you know, I never did roll around in the ketchup. I gotta do that. No! I am the ketchup dog! I don't... I genuinely do not know. I'm not tasty. Oh, I have to stand on the stovetop. Okay. Standing standing on the stovetop gave me a badge. Kitchen 8 out of 11. Hmm. I have to do various things to get badges. Picking up certain items, putting certain things in places. I feel like I, I knocked over everything in the kitchen before. And that didn't give me badges. Maybe I gotta put something on the stove? Maybe there's- maybe there's something that's gotta go on the stove? Like, uh... Like, maybe this? Maybe... Hello? Oh, that lady's sleepy! She is. Maybe... Maybe... I put the turkey leg on the stove? Help, I can't get up here now? There we go. I don't understand. Small black hole. That's me! I'm getting ketchup all over the stove! Alright, is mom wearing a wig?
Uh, if she is, I can't do anything with it. Oh! I'm red again. Alright, I guess I needed to roll around in front of her. Okay, alright. Impressive belt buckle. <gasps> Pretty sure that was one of the wearable items. Yeah, it was! Her wig was one of the items, but I can't take it off her head. There's one more thing I'm missing in the kitchen. Is it this? No, that's just a cosmetic. That's just goat down cosmetic. The Uncle Uncle! Yeah, it's free! It's free on Steam! This is free game! Free game to terrorize rich people in their house! Bork. Ooh! Ooh, I made a white mess! The Uncle Uncle! L a letter! What? I don't know! I don't know what else I'm supposed to do in the kitchen. Maybe if I read the... the badge. Clogged pipe. Is there a pipe in the kitchen? Oops. 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 Is there a pipe in the kitchen? Oh, the sink! The sink! The sink! I'm so smart! I'm so smart! Yay! I'm nuts! Clever Foxu! Now we can call the pipe man! And he can work on my pipes! Alright, 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 alright. Uh, living room is done, wine cellar's done. Basement living room. Pome is in business and Pome delivery. Business and delivery. I'm gonna go get ketchup all over the living room. See Korsha in Benoit Bounce? Uh, Piba Supa reading? What does that mean? What did he mean by this? Palme is in business. Was there something in here? Was there something in here? I thought that I made this stuff all icky last time. Ah, oh, yes, the blessed pipe man. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing that. Maybe... Oh, I got the pomades in business! Hell yeah! So now I need pomade delivery. Pomade delivery. What would be... What would be a delivery? I can't knock over these boxes. I can't knock over... Maybe I just roll on the boxes? Get in the box? I was in the box last time, though. Oh, I was right! I was just making a mess of these boxes! I'm so fucking smart. I'm so fucking smart. Nursery. Big reversal. Attack plus 10 and mom? Big reversal, attack plus 10 and mom. Big reversal, attack plus 10, mom. Yeah! Help! What would those be? What would those be? Big. You're gonna need a bigger pipe. Big reversal. Attack plus 10. Oh, there's the crown. Where's the crown? Big reversal, attack plus 10. Mom. Big reversal and attack plus 10 are item badges. So those are items that I have to pick up, I'm guessing, is what you're saying. Attack plus 10 might be like a weapon, I guess. 
Oh, there's one of the ghost cats. Is there a weapon in here? I see a pirate hat. Can I can I put on the pirate hat? A um, pirate doggo. A um, pirate doggo. Okay. What about the robot? No, not that. I can't pick up the robot. Hmm. Cleaver on lower level upstairs? Cleaver on the lower level upstairs. There's a cleaver somewhere here? <gasps> Is that a cleaver? What am I holding? I don't know. I don't know what I'm holding. What is this? That's just like a metal pipe? <laughs> what? Yeah, on a table? On a table up here. Oh, here's another like weird, weird stick. Weird sticky pipe thing. She got a weapon. Where is Cleaver? That's all paint, and those are ink wells. Marine doggo, yeah. Oh, I see the cleaver. I see the cleaver. I got the cleaver! Attack plus ten. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I am now murder doggo! That's why there's ketchup everywhere. To signify the blood. How's you doing? Hello, you Gensha. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking up someone's house. Sarah, thank you for the three-month member. Hope you don't mind my support at Side Scroller Stream. It was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see you do more. Of course, support, big support. Half the big support, dude. Thank you. Daniel Sierra, thank you for the 199. Got a gift super reading game. It has the Corsha. <gasps> really? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see that one. I'm gonna have to see that one, dude. Ugandan knuckles looking ass. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Literally ATF's most wanted. Okay, so now I need... Now I need big reversal. I need big reversal. Twitter's a big minefield. Good day to ignore it all. Oh no, what happened? As a pipe? I don't think I can hold that pipe though. It's not letting me pick it up. Maybe someone will make a mod for this game where you play as the Korsha. Oh my god. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Big reversal sounds like something to do with, like, baseball? It's like, maybe there's a baseball bat somewhere, is what I'm thinking? It's always a good day to ignore Twitter. Reverse the train? Oh, that means I have to put the wheels on the train again, though. Icky! Icky! Help, I'm stuck! <laughs> I'm such a small doggo! Okay, so we pick up this button. One button. Alright, and we run downstairs. And then there's the button down here. Button. Twitter's a cesspool. Yeah, you gotta piss in the ocean of piss sometimes. How beautiful. Alright, one more button should be the one right here at mom. Should be should be the mom button. Mom is missing. Mom is missing. I like these black countertops, though. They look nice. You wanna know about the new model reveal I mentioned on Twitter? Tomorrow! Model reveal tomorrow! Um nom nom nom. Pen- Pen Crook, thank you! Thank you! Thank you for the heckin' five gift subbies, my dude. Thank you, thank you! Panya, same fox time for tomorrow's stream? Yeah, 3 p.m. Same normal time. Same normal time. 
Ah, no. How do I reverse the train, though? I had an interact button, but I don't think I hit it. No? No, no interact button? Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think I can reverse the train. Skipping class for the model reveal. Your priorities are where they should be. What the hell? Stand on it? I was standing on it before, though. Oh, look at the pink! I stood on the train before. Look for a lever? No, that's- that's another cat ghost. That's another cat ghost. Roll in front of the train? Well, that didn't do anything. Let's buy the table. Lever? 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 There's no table in there. Lever? This table? I don't see it. Try splashing on the board game? Fuck you, board game! Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what the reversal would be. Leave her, I hardly know her. Harmagird. What would the reversal be? What? What would the reversal be? Nursery. Big reversal. Don't have any other hints besides that. Try splashing on the face on the track in the little room. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. Eek! Eek! Try covering the board in black. I'm going. Big reversal. Wait, why did covering it in black work? Hold on, please explain to me, chat. Why did covering it in black work? Run up behind the train. Thank you, chat, but why did that work? <laughs> oh, that's not the one I wanted to click on. We want nursery, and the last one is mom? Othello board? Reversal is a game with white black tokens. Oh, I didn't know that. Andres the Northman, have a good have a good night. The board was all white, and now it's black. Oh, you guys are smart. You guys are smart. Okay, where's where's the mom? Now we gotta find the mom. I want a light blue. I'm gonna roll here. Thank you. Mom where? Mom question mark. There's nothing in the bedroom that would indicate mom. MILF time! Hello? Drawing on the triangular table of mom? Triangular table. This is a triangular table. Oh, oh, yeah, you right, you right? Did I get mom dirty enough? 
No. No. <laughs> Maybe down the escape sign? I went down the escape sign earlier. Can we expect Marshmallow Doggo as next emo? We have Marshmallow at home! We have the Korsha! Does mom come up here to sleep after downstairs? No, she goes to the bedroom. She goes to the bedroom. As a dad, the stream content is extremely offensive because I know you don't own carpet shampoo or... Well, hopefully the himbo dad bought some. What was this called? This is mom question mark that we're looking for? A mom question mark? I didn't see like any dolls or anything that would be like mom. This table's already covered. This is just a box. Can you pick up the picture of mom? I don't think so. Oops. Oops, oops, oops! That doesn't doesn't look like it lets me hold the picture. I can I can spl Ooh I'm splurting. Well, I can't get rid of my I can't get rid of my blue splotches. I wonder why. I look so goofy! I'm Marshmallow! This game is a uh, Dronko Wonko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I broke. I broke it. I broke it. We're making blue again. I want blue. I got blue. I like blue. Take the crown on the table bust? I mean, I can, but I don't think that has to do with any uh, mom stuff. Oh, there we go. My my crown. My crowning achievement. I blued myself. What a, where would the mom be? I covered the beds with paint last time. And I mean, they're, they're covered this time as well. I mean, maybe... How did I multicolor splurt? What the hell? I can't cover that poster. Can't cover that poster. There's nothing on this table that looks related to mom. Oops, I didn't mean to jump all the way down. I can pick up the dinosaur! I didn't know I could pick up the dinosaur! That's so cute! That's so cute! It's very wacky and random. Yeah, I wanted to- I wanted to get the last thing here, but I don't know what the mom would be. I don't know what the mom would be. It's a Bandai Namco game you're really surprised? Trash the Triceratops? I think trashing the Triceratops was an achievement that I got before. The big bear? I covered the big bear in, in Splurp earlier as well. I blacked him. I blacked the bear. Nothing, nothing here looks like the achievement. Get the color of her hair? True? Does the train make, like, brown brown? Uh, no. I don't think the train makes brown brown. I mean, the, the gun shoots brown. The gun shoots brown, but what would I make brown? There's no, like, people figurine up here. Eh? Eh? Gotta wait for her to sleep in there? Wait, really? That seems kinda stinky. That seems kinda stinky if I gotta just wait for mom to show up in here? That seems very silly. 
You have to shake around her when you find her in the upstairs play area by the slide? By the slide? So here? So yeah, I guess it is just you have to wait for her to appear here? That's stinky! That's stinky doo-doo! Why would they make it like that? Because I feel like I was in the in the other game for a very long time. And she just went from the kitchen to the bedroom. She just went from kitchen to bedroom. And she's still in here, even. She's still in here like a fucking idiot. I'm gonna piss on her face. I'm gonna piss on her face. Well, she's a white woman, so she might like that. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I sneezed on her, too, for good measure. Just for good measure. Well, that's, uh, that's the only thing I'm missing, then. Because I'm, I'm assuming the last memory unlocks when I get that. Hero landing? Hero landing? Actually, I don't know what hero landing would be from. I don't know what hero landing would be from. I guess the only thing I can think of is going through that hole upstairs? But Kirsha, you're a white woman. I'm a white fox woman! Jump from a high place. This one. Now this is the only thing I could think of, but I did this last time and I didn't get an achievement. Jump from the second floor? I don't know where else I would jump from. She isn't white, she's Italian. True. True. Bite. Does being a white fox woman make it better or worse? Better! No doggo! I do not know. I need to be dirty when I fall from a high place? Oh. Oh, that was a, that was a cool slide. I am dirty. I fall. <laughs> Perfect! Perfect! You need to put your doggo outside so we won't get any ideas. We already did get mom. The only one I'm missing is mom having to like RNG appear in the nursery. Which she hasn't. So we won't be able to get it. But this game was big cute. This game was big cute. I liked it. Is this what the Korsha is for? Yes, this is this is what the Korsha will do. It has no brain cells. Please keep your Korsha away from paint. So that it doesn't do this. You know? Don't let your Korsha access to paint. <laughs> I splashed her in the bed last time, because that gave me an achievement. You're gonna eat the Korsha? Hell yeah, emergency food. Well, I was gonna play Death Stranding today. I was gonna play Death Stranding today, but as you can see, we kind of got a little distracted. I think we kind of got a little bit of distractions. <laughs> War crimes with the Korsha. Yeah. Yeah. It was very cute. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to bring it up, so I'm, I'm glad I got to dude around in it. I didn't want to do a uh, till midnight stream tonight because I have the, the model reveal tomorrow. So I got to do, I got to do some tech, tech supporting before tomorrow. No Death Stranding! Death Stranding will be next Sunday and next Sunday will be a long stream since there's no Monday stream. So next Sunday will be Death Stranding until I beat it or midnight, whichever comes first. <laughs> Dragon Granter, thank you for the nine month resub. Congratulations on getting born. Congratulations on your birth. Death Stranding's very sleepy anyways. It hits my autism in all the right places, you know? I I really like Death Stranding. It was a very, very, very fun game. This was better. This was relaxing. I feel like this would be a good game uh, for people to just kind of, like, dude around in if they can split their attention between, like, super reading and doing this. I am not capable of split attentioning. <laughs> As a struggling homeowner, this whole thing gave you anxiety. Oh, no. Can't wait to see my new model. I am really excited for tomorrow. Big, big excited. Homestead is online right now. I don't want to hear my voice a second time. Homestead is online right now. Let's take a little look-see, Pixie. Oh, man. Yeah, that's that's right. Sunday, Sunday, not a lot of people. Not a lot of people hanging out on a Sunday. 
Not a fun gay. Big April model. Big April model! Death Stranding is not the artistic masterpiece Kojimba wanted it to be, but it's very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You miss Abby. We, did, we didn't even do anything we need to repent for today, at least. <gasps> You'll have the Korsha do this on purpose and sell it as a modern art masterpiece. True! True and real! True and real! Um... Let's see here... Nyana, Nyana is here. Nyana is here. Is she ending soon? I know she she raids me usually at the end of her streams, and I I wanna I would like to raid her her back if I can if she's not ending. If she's not gending. Watch Cyberpunk and Fifth Element. Oh, I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that actually. <laughs> that might that might be TOS. Pissed all over the house, and you have nothing to repent over. No. Nope. No, now your house smells like me! Congratulations! Congratulations! I think it's a long stream. Do I have a 3D model version of myself? What do you mean? I am 3D right now. What do you mean? <laughs> Actual fox behavior. Yeah, this was this was a good fox behavior. It was apt for the stream title. Apt to the stream title. Alright, let me let me go let me go dump you guys on the on the nyana. On the mm, she has followers only chat on too, and I really mm, I don't like it when people have followers only chat on. I don't like that. I feel like that's really weird. But we'll we'll repay we'll repay the raid chat. We'll go raid the banana woman. She's got an egg on her head that fits. I got the butter on my head. You put the you put the eggu on the on the cat. You put the butter on the the fox dog. You know the spicy cat. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I know, I know shit has been kind of fucking wild recently. I've been, I've been very, very often fucking streaming. All right, okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna go raid the, the Nyana. We're gonna go raid the Nyana. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thank you for spending sleepy Easter Sunday with me. And I will see you tomorrow for live 2D model. Get, get excited. Get excited! Have a great rest of your night. Give Nyana some love. Bye bye! Bye 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 bye!